Alrighty, let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. Good morning. Hello, Skiui, Emotion Lord, Coffee Dude, Kyer, Bunyip, Willie, Penguin Question Mark, Phoenix Link the First, Midnight Note, Tired Sloth, Spicy Box Tofu, Bird Teeth, Linux Max Mix, Phantom Gauss, Catsel, Little Baby Minx, Oh No, It's Mango Fett, Mooksy, Willie, I like to paint the 33rd, The Beans, Computerless Citizen, Welcome to Skeleton Hell, Draconite, Hope you're feeling frisky and powerful. I'm feeling like I'm in the sauna right now, dude. It's hot. I'm sweating. I'm, uh, whoo. Hello, Miyu Kuki, Microtonal Matt, Yabbies, 0202. I tried your pickle diet for two days. How did it go? Hello, Robot Mom, Onyamable, Martyr, Empty Perspective, Abyssal Spear, Zerus the 19th. It's me, your dog, Oregon Death Race, Gasiaka, Woodkin, Charizard, Monochrome, Avin, Clo Erba. My butt hurts? Why? Uh, thank you, Shoot Riskum, for the 44 month resub. I appreciate it. Hello, Selison, Evolved, Subluminous, VI Pizza, uh, the Dodeca Sladrin herself, Galactic Anthropologist. Thank you for the 59 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Hello, Raw Bagel Leader, Splitting Underscore. I'm ill. Should I drive three minutes to get a checkup so I can get antibiotics or just nap? I. It, it depends on the circumstance. I don't know enough to give you an answer and feel good about it. Hello, Jiggly. What's up? Hello, Listen Angelic. Growlex. The Acid? Are you not used to Acidic? Hello, Golden Plato. Regular Matt. Scully Sully. Torpal Duck. Catch up off stream? Yes, I did. I did uh, yesterday, actually. And I was going to stream it yesterday. But Autumn had to go to bed early, and I know she wants to see this. So, I, you know, me being the best ever at everything I do, I wait, I simply waited one day so she could watch it. Hello, Slam Dunk Wizard, Leighton. Sorry I wasn't Sans for Halloween. I could obtain a wheelchair in time. The problem is, if it feels really bad, I just want to lay naked in bed. Well, I mean... It's the reason it's tough is because you shouldn't just take antibiotics for everything because it does fuck up your gut health. But there, like, you can get really, really, really fucked and even die surprisingly quickly with certain types of infections. So it really depends on what we're working with here. Uh, hello, sushi fish, literal trash, the fifth kid, pro quo, Zeta death. Thank you for the 52 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Yasami, cynical dupe going to intentionally get cancer so I can cosplay Sans accurately. That's, uh, I mean, I don't think he has cancer in the canon, just, just in that one Squidward video, unless you consider that a canonical addition to the Undertale universe, which I kind of want to. I feel like I'm missing out. I've never had antibiotics. After a full course of antibiotics, I usually need a little while of probiotics so I can properly again. Now, normally I would grill someone for accidentally forgetting a word, but I think it's probably best. E okay, okay. I was, <laughs> I wasn't sure where you were going with that one. Hello, Ron M. U. Hello, Andrew, two thousand three hundred and twenty-seven. Hello, Blaze, nine hundred and seventy. Thank you for the seventy-one month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Chicken Kai Cho, Pop Tart, the King, a third world weeb. Man, I have done absolutely nothing. I, 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 I made the mistake of... I let Banjo sleep on the bed with me, and he was performing WWE wrestling moves on me, like, all night, basically. So I didn't sleep for shit and woke up at 4 in the afternoon, despite going to bed a couple hours earlier than I normally would. So, shout out to Banjo. I love that dude. <laughs> I, I would try to swaddle him in a blanket and, like, deport him to the other side of the bed, but he would always end up, like, half on my back uh, trying to snuggle me. Hello, Gravedigger Dampy. Hello, Avil. Uh, hello, Cheese and Tea and Hay Specs. Dr. B. Bones, Nose Neighbor. Only had antibiotics once. It was, like, 10 years ago. I should just go since the symptoms started less than... Yeah, I mean, it probably doesn't hurt to go, but... I just, you don't want to take antibiotics for absolutely everything, but if you're not sure, you should take them. Hello, Lemmy7. 
Helomeo and Toloma by for about half an hour. Make sure you don't die. I've heard specifically, like, if you get a nasty infection on your hand, it can go south really quickly. Like, if you see red lines going up your forearm, then you need to see a doctor immediately. Uh, but I'm not super knowledgeable about, like, the various types of infections and how serious they are. Hello, Ark. Just, uh... Don't want to disturb my immaculate gut health. If you eat a lot of meat, then you've taken antibiotics via bio upcycling. I saw the picture of Olivia in a swimsuit, and I hope you stream it again because the Gator Russie is strong. You really, you really want me to play the Gator dating? I mean, if people want me to, I will. But I, I just don't, I don't know how much like we really want to do that. <laughs> like. I don't know. Hello, Poe the Cow. I hope you and your husband are feeling better. My day more or less just started. It's way too slow. I've watched a lot of it. Yeah, that was the impression I'm, I was getting. Like, there's probably like 10 to 15 minutes of really good content in there. But you got to go through like... And then I walked outside and noticed that the leaves were blowing. But they weren't just blowing in a general sense of the word. They were blowing in towards the west <laughs> i i took this to be a sign a sign of what i'm not sure but i need to go back to my home and contemplate it further maybe watch a western or two some of my favorite westerns are the attack on spaghetti village and no country for told men the former was written and directed and i like it you know what i mean it's just it's it's not all that interesting most of the time. So it's like miles of... It's like a... It's like a salad with only lettuce and two croutons. I think that is the most succinct way to explain that game and my impression of it. What the fuck are you doing only putting two croutons in here? And they're hidden really well, so you gotta dig through all the lettuce. You can't just you can't just like find the croutons and go about your merry way. You have to eat all the lettuce. Hello, half talon. Hark, the wind blows west. Sorry, I'm not very good at the uh, the whole flowery writing style, linguistic flourishes. I am just a uh, redneck in Texas, after all. I'm not. I'm. I, it's a miracle that I'm as literate as I am. Hello, Duckworth. I can't afford stale bread to make croutons. Okay, are you happy to know my shameful situation? Well, I can get... You know what, dog? I can get you like an airdrop of like 50 croutons. Maybe like 50 loaves of stale bread. So you can have croutons for at least a month. Is your neck actually red though? Not in the way that it is normally uh, considered a red neck. Like I don't have sunburn there. When I do go outside, I do get sunburn pretty bad on my neck but it gets red when i'm i get like really bad heat flushes like i don't know what the fuck you would call them like when it's really hot my chest gets red i start getting like a heat rash on my chest and on my neck and i start turning into like this weird little cherry oompa loompa thing it's pretty fucking nasty honestly and then i start getting really pissed i'm like a hundred times more irritable when i when i start having this uh and it, it, it's like a positive feedback loop where it's like, uh, you know, if the heat rash is there, I'm more irritated. If I'm more irritated, I feel the effects of the heat rash more and I just have to go and cool down. You're activating like a Call of Duty bread attack on me. Well, only if you want it. It's, it's like a consensual Call of Duty bread attack. I wouldn't do that if you were uncomfortable with it. Hello, salty macaroni. Hot flashes, tea dog menopause. Yeah, maybe I'm just, I'm pretty old. So maybe it's uh, time for me to enter menopause. It happens, right? <sighs> At least the feedback loop is positive. Well, that's not necessarily a good thing. Like, the feedback loop shit... Like, feedback loop being positive... Like, I'm pretty sure you know this, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a, like an overall positive reaction. It's just the mechanism and how it works. Hello, Steven. What's good, bro? Not a whole hell of a lot. I was just informed that there's new King Cobra JFS drama that I that needs my urgent attention, but I have not seen it. 
So I have no fucking idea what that's about. No clue. Not the faintest fucking idea, but I am interested in it. So probably watch that after the stream. But I have to beat Undertale too. It is my destiny. It is why God put me on this earth. Hello, Puzzle. Hello, the Dibs. First time ch catching a live stream in a while because I fucked up my sleep schedule. I know how it goes. I know how it goes. I think this is the longest I have had a relatively stable sleep schedule in years, personally. It's teetering on the edge. I'm waking up at 4 now, but like it's been a long time since I was waking up at like 3 in the fucking morning. So... The, I guess maybe you could attribute that to the binding chains of marriage, but I don't. I don't think that's it. I got sick and took a casual four-hour nap yesterday. So tee hee, yeah, yeah. The naps get me too. Like it's fucked because sometimes it'll be like two or three, maybe four hours before I would usually go to bed, and I think, oh, I'm feeling pretty tired right now. Maybe I can, you know, tuck in a little bit early get some extra sleep, catch up on my ugly sleep. And it always turns into like a 30 minute to an hour long nap. And then I'm like wired and I stay up like way the fuck past when I wanted to go to bed and it's just ruined. So the nap is, it's tempting, but naps are the devil. Took a three hour nap today after ending up in a different city by accident. How the fuck did you do that JFC? Hello, I ate apples XD. Valkyries. I hope you feel better, though, Apostle. Everyone's getting sick now. I feel like yesterday, everyone was talking about being sick. Now you're sick. I'm having issues getting up. I've been waking up so completely exhausted that I can't get up. It's been getting harder for me to wake up as well. I'm not sure. Like I don't know if I could say that I'm completely exhausted, but I've just been kind of reverting to the teenage habit of, oh, fuck, I don't want to get out of bed. Hello, Rumbles. Hello, Ranma. Hello, Studwell. Just, it's too comfortable, I guess. Hello, Whisper. I think part of it is knowing that I'm going to have to wake up and contend with the beast known as Banjo. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, fuck. I have to wake up and, and let this little fucker out. I know I need to get up and grind some necromancy, man. I don't have time to sleep. It's RuneScape 3 isn't going anywhere. It's not like Leagues. There's no rush. I think only playing Leagues the past few years of RuneScape has conditioned me to feel like pressured for time and to do things quickly. Uh, it's I need to break out of that habit. Hello, Moonwatching. Hello, Matt Mank. Hello, Desert Rose. My bed is too warm and the world is too ass. I try not to just like sit there in bed. Like I don't watch videos in bed. I don't do things in bed. I try to maintain a good sleep hygiene thing in terms of what I do and don't do on the bed. Because I feel like I know a certain someone who watches videos like, like ASMR and shit in bed for hours and then they have trouble going to bed when it's time to go to bed <laughs> so i don't want a situation like that hello milk brain wet pet it's so healthy well it's also just because i don't really like dicking around on the phone either i don't really find phones to be that appealing i like having my big old leather throne uh you know leaning back watching king cobra like i need my i need to watch it with my 1440p monitor so i can see every pixel of the fucked up mead that he makes. Time to get back to Eidolon, bro. World 6 is fun. I don't think I'll ever get back to Eidolon. Like, it was, I had a lot of fun with it, and I, I'm still going to hold it over everyone who played with me's head that I caught like eight Megalodons or nine or ho however many maximum characters there were. All of them had the Megalodon trophy, and I think that, like, there's something to be said for quitting while you're ahead. You know, I ended that, that game on a good note, and if I started playing now, I would be playing catch-up for like 100 years. I don't really want to do that. And it's also a game that is complex to the point of... I feel like it would be really frustrating picking up where I left off, having forgotten all of the minutiae, all of the mechanics, all of the details, what I was doing, 
it's kind of like a more exaggerated version of when you play a really long single player RPG like Morrowind or Baldur's Gate and you for one reason or another you don't play for a week and then a week becomes two then it's a month and then you are ready to play again but you don't even fucking remember what you were doing and you feel like you may as well start over because how could you be expected to keep track of everything that was happening and it's just it's kind of uh kind of frustrating going back into a uh, campaign in progress, I suppose. Is the new Cobra drama the end of the dry spell? Apparently, like, a second woman has hit the gothic bad boy, which is impressive. I know about the naked and laughing stuff. I know about the possibility of naked and laughing being pregnant. But <laughs> apparently, the, you know, it's like it's like a good old beer piss. Uh, you know, once you start pissing, the seal's broken and you just can't stop. Once you get one lady, you know, you're just swimming in ladies. If you're a goth bad boy, maybe it's just the effects of tactical soap. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know what the fuck it's about. Like, I only, someone in my Discord told me and I haven't seen it yet, so. Can't believe making mead had this effect. The lady swimmer. Play Baldur's Gideon. Well, I... Personally, I haven't even played Baldur's Gate 3 once. I've never gotten around to playing that one. Heard nothing but good things about it. I don't think I would be able to assemble a crew of people to play it with on a consistent basis. And even if I could, I own the game because a friend of mine bought it for me with the expectation that I would play with him. And I told him I would, but he still, he like drops off the face of the motherfucking planet and like stops talking to me. So I don't know... I, I'm assuming that's not happening anymore because it's been like half a year, but I, it, I'd i feel kind of bad if I was just like, oh, hey, you know, the game you you bought me, I played it like a bunch of hours and now I know everything, lol. Because I hate it when people do that to me. Hello, Vincent. So I'm, I'm not going to play it until I know for an absolute fact that that's not something I have to consider anymore. But I'm really addicted to RuneScape right now. Like, I'm back in the RuneScape mines. I'm running. I'm escaping. I'm mining the, the ore. It's bad. It's bad. I'm... Every day I play it, the addiction grows deeper. It's like I'm a fucking 13-year-old again. I've fallen. And I don't have life alert. I can't get up. But maybe it's not a bad thing. Like, I don't know. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm, I'm perfectly content for now. The rats yearn for the mines. RS3 is fun. It's hooking me. Yeah, it's tough. Like, you really have to give it, like, a like a solid chance because it is not fun at first. I remember I tried playing it years ago, and I played for a while, and I got bored. Uh, but the boredom might have stemmed from me rushing level 80 runecrafting as my first skill. I think I was wearing, like, steel armor and had 80 runecrafting. <laughs> so... Could have been probably a little bit of my own fault there, admittedly. Not exactly the best way to play that game. Nobody likes that skill in particular. That's psychotic. Well, I wanted to get it out of the way. I wanted to do the annoying shit first, and it's paying absolute fucking dividends now because I've decided that I want to be a mage. And I, I have, like, this thing that lets me teleport directly to altars three times a day and craft a shit ton of, like, blood runes. So... It's, it's definitely paying off. But I'll stop prattling on about RuneScape. Um, I'm just really bad in general about getting, like, playing new games. I, I have genuinely wanted to play... What was the new one called? Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, I've been meaning to, like, get into that and play that forever. <laughs> but I haven't I still haven't played that and another one has come out since then Tears, no no Breath of the Wild that's the new one to me like they're both new to me so does it happen to anyone that your water gets ants on it and you don't know if you should drink it or replace it it's been seven years yeah yeah, I it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a very long time. Just means the water is tasty. 
it took me like three or four or five years to finish Bloodstained. So maybe one day. Tears of the Kingdom is Breath of the Wild, but better. See, I've heard it. See, it, thank you. Convenient half talent comment. I've heard people say that, but I've also heard it's like Tears is just a glorified DLC and you may as well just play the original. But I would, I would like to form my own opinions if I ever get around to playing them. I bought Breath of the Wild for my sister, so I have it on one of the Switches. Like, I can play it right now without paying a dime. It's, it's around somewhere. <laughs> but I just... I get... I'm, I'm. It's like I was saying the other day. Like, I am a golem of a human being. I am just like a, a crudely assembled biological golem that just takes the path of least resistance to get the dopamine every single time utterly and completely predictable like that's why i get into these brain locks with runescape mech warrior 5 uh, monster hunter i just like the the easy games where you just go in and you just you get the the dopamine for an extended period of time play breath while chilling afk on rs so what I've been doing when I AFK in RuneScape is building my Gundam models. I've made some pretty good progress. Need to get back to that. I, I got the cyano acrylic that I need to fix the one that I'm working on. So that'll probably be what I do after this stream. Watch the King Cobra video and glue shit back together. Maybe. Because I, I want to show it. Like, I think it looks pretty cool. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know. I'm not really an artistic kind of person i don't know if this is like a commonly held feeling with people who do art and things of that nature but i feel like it's one of the best things i've ever done and absolutely 100 percent one of the worst things i've ever done at the same time like the end result looks pretty good but just like the amount of fuck-ups and mistakes like it was like it's like getting okay imagine you're with a girl you're really excited to have sexual relations with the girl and you can't get it up for like three hours and you know when you do get it up like you slip on a banana peel in the in the hotel room and you lose your boner again and then you have to wait another two hours and when you finally get there and you fuck her it's like she comes like a hundred times and it's the best sex ever but like you can you feel good about it like yeah i guess the the ends justify the means but <laughs> it's there was a lot of strife and struggle to get to that point useful to remember that others only see the end result when you only the process i hope so i don't know pretty common to hate things about something you made even if it's really good especially right after you make it you'll be hyper aware of every little thing you don't like Definitely am a victim of the letting perfect be the enemy of good thing. Is there a scholar of the first sin edition for Undertale 2? Maybe something like Dragon Ride or Trio Fight? Well, the last time we played this, there was a mechanical gnome that would go like, and then come on my face. So, well, that's not exactly like Dragon Ride or Trio Fight. I think the spirit is the same kind of sounds like how awkward sex already is it's uh just try to no i don't dude like i'm not gonna point that shit out <laughs> like hell no hell no you would have to be you would have to be really paying attention i think but did you get ass blasted by the knife on the rerun no the rerun was pretty smooth i got walled trying to catch the cum buddy again but it took about an hour and 10 minutes to, to catch up. Because if you if you haven't uh, heard, the last time I played this was on Sunday. And after I ended the stream on Sunday, the save of all of the progress I had made got fucked. And so I had to replay everything I did on Sunday on my own. So I had to fill the aquarium up, catch the fish, do the little boss gauntlet, but it's all good. I think uh, everything is more or less where it was. On my playthrough, the metal gnome knife fucked me. I think all of the fish gear is just way too powerful. Did you see Mia Zucko say Elden Ring couldn't have existed without Dark Souls 2, Checkmate, Bloodborne, DS3, Brainlets? I mean... 
that you got to make mistakes before you you get a like a wonderful success, right? I think that's what the quiverful people are all about. Like they have 11 kids because like the first 8 or 9 are stupid or something and they're hoping that like they'll learn from the mistakes of the first 9 and on the 10th or 11th attempt it'll, they'll have like a genuinely really good child. Sometimes you've got to make really, really fucking bad mistakes before you can realize what works and what doesn't work. And Dark Souls 2 is a learning experience. Dark Souls 2 is like uh, accidentally sticking it in the ass instead of the proper area. And then you realize, I never, I'm never going to do that again. What's up? I'm orange. Very nice. Do you like my hair? I can't really see it. You have like a little plastic thing on it and it's dark. Do you like my eyebrows? They look very strong. <laughs> very strong. She's doing like henna dye on her hair right now. Yeah. My hair is gonna be orange. Mistakes into miracles? Fuck yeah, dude. Can't make an omelet without burning a few almonds? Exactly. Exactly. You know, we've all made mistakes, and sometimes those mistakes aren't great like it's not good that they happen but one of you got to learn how to turn a mistake into a miracle like spongebob in 9 11 you know redhead bug era otter cultural appropriation whose culture is she appropriating her dad is irish no they're talking about henna what's what is oh is that like it's a it's used to um uh i think it's hindus I think they, I mean, they use it um, to decorate their arms with certain patterns and such. Um, well, I'm going to have to divorce you now. I can't be with a cultural appropriator. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think, you think that like an actual Indian person has ever been like, fuck oh, these I white people it. using henna? It. I'm just using it in my hair. I feel like it's always weird white Twitter busybodies who get burnt up over that sort of shit culturally appropriate this who cares i mean don't get me wrong i think there is some examples of cultural appropriation that are not great but i think that i think that in general it's mostly just people enjoying what the other cultures have to offer yeah, and it's not yeah. men as like an offensive thing it's actually just appreciation of savage people. I agree for the most part, unless you're doing like racist Halloween costume yeah. caricatures or something, uh, then I would agree with you. People have soured the word to be a buzzword. Well, that's just internet uh, 101. Everything gets turned into like a fucked up buzzword where you see arguments between two people just throwing the latest buzzwords. Oh, you're toxic. Oh, you're throwing up a lot of the yellow flags, red flags, it's just, and it's it's not that those things aren't real it's not that there aren't toxic people or red flags or yellow flags but a lot of people just don't really understand what they're saying half of the time i feel like gaslighting is a really good example a lot of people do not really know what gaslighting means so or projecting or projecting that's another one and it's frustrating because there are absolutely people who gaslight and project all of the fucking time but now that everything is gaslighting and projecting, it's it's just a buzzword and it gets watered down and it doesn't mean anything to a lot of people. I like the word goon and they ruined it. I'm hungry. You'll get some food. I'm not going anywhere like this. I look like an Oompa Loompa. Ask Ashley. No, I'm going to go make myself some rice. Here, I have like emergency salt and crackers. <laughs> I have rice. I have rice I can make. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know someone that got yelled at for wearing an Akasuki kimono at Halloween. A cat ski. Whatever. You know, the the bad guys in Naruto Shippuden. Totally. Any goon coated plap cells. It's a good night to like I don't know. Like, imagine playing a board game where you have to find, you know, reasons. Maybe there could be 13 of them, and I'm not sure exactly what the uh, the board game's ultimate goal would be, but I'm feeling board game night right now after reading that message. They actually first appear in Naruto Part 1, not Shippuden. Whatever. 
It's been 700 gajillion years since I watched Naruto. Legitimately questioning your sanity and perception reality is awful and I don't wish it on anyone. Itachi will come to your house and perform Sukuyomi on you if you steal his drip. How? He's dead. Spoilers, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? I was going to watch Naruto. <laughs> Hello, Genso Kaizo. God damn it. I just got spoiled on, on fucking the best anime besides One Piece. I've heard One Piece is everybody's favorite right now. No. Russian kid is about to commit suicide now, Otter. <laughs> what did I Don't do? laugh. What That's did fucked I do? up. No, I'm laughing at the absurdity. It's fucked up. Come on. Hello, gotcha's garbage. One Piece isn't real. You know, there's One Piece is real. Like, when are we going to get One Piece Palestine? That's what I would want to fucking watch. <laughs> stretching like i can we get that like can we get one of these animator freaks on youtube to to get to work on that one a russian kid killed himself because itachi died oh that's not a very good reason to kill yourself i'm gonna be honest um like maybe if uh maybe if that one chick died but not not a uh, itachi one chick yeah. What? I already know who you're talking about. Yeah, the the blind one. She's not blind! Whatever. She's got blind eyes. Damn, Darwin was right. Itachi came back, too. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> Dude, do you think that, like, they brought him back because of that? No. Like, <laughs> they found out someone killed themselves over the death of the character and they like brought him back specifically like he altered the course of the naruto manga by killing He's himself like, oh, in shit, protest right, damn. bring him back shit no he was only temporarily revived oh okay kid probably had a lot going on yeah it's never the last straw that's the that's the full story yeah it's always there's always more to it than that um yes i guess it it face value it's kind of a ridiculous reason to kill yourself but you know what was his home like life if he, he was uh feeling that way to begin with they can use edo tensi to revive that russian kid people did that for real world politics i'm sure dumb fans did it over their favorite shonen character dying my balls itch jenna i don't think you have those the Eva rebuilds made me want to... Okay, okay. We're talking way too much about killing ourselves right now. We need to talk about something a little bit more... More wholesome. Perhaps Midwest Fur Fest. Wholesome. wholesome. Talk about killing someone else. You can bring anything back to life from the pet cemetery. Killing other people. I don't think that's a great topic either. But why not treat yourself... What, what does that mean? Are you telling me to kill myself? What? <laughs> God damn! What? <laughs> Treat yourself now? <laughs> Treat yourself now! <laughs> uh huh? What did I do? I think we may have missed a beat in the I, I th Yeah, I think so. I think I meant Treat yourself to nice things, weirdo? Oh, okay. Hey, don't call me a weirdo. What the hell? I've heard phantom ball itching is worse because you can't scratch them for a leave. All of my fellas know that the pinch and drag is one of the uh, the finest simple pleasures in life. My phantom balls itch all the time. There are people in Discord who would go to Fur Fest with you. Oh, absolutely. I'm pretty sure I've been invited once or twice. You should go. No. Just for the fun. Nope. Mm -mm. Why? He's scared I'm going to be indoctrinated. I think that... uh. There's something to be said about, like, irony and staring into the abyss. <laughs> Throw me to the wolves and I'll come you're back pregnant. You're just scared to unlock your inner self. You're, you're two wolves. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't. <laughs> Tolo already plays mostly furry games. He's already too deep and can't add more of that. You gotta be able to handle seeing a lot of weird shit. Like, I don't mind seeing it, but I don't want to be, like, out there in, like, a potential, like, 
unwitting participant in any furry shenanigans. Dude, we should do, like, um, investigative journalism and just, like, infiltrate. You just want to wear dog paws. No, I don't! I don't, I don't, listen. I'm listening. If I was going to be a furry, it would probably be, like, a dragon. I got a dragon for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's Where nuts over your face. Go make me some food now. Alright. <laughs> What's up, so <Zozo? laughs> Oh, so you're XDing, but like fucking evil spirit banished. 100. Uh, okay, emoji. Literally, none of the artists that I fall, I mean, that I've been told about live in my country. I would unironically eat Montgomery Gator's ass. Well, he would probably have a cloaca, which is the multi-hole. Like, it's a, like a multi-pass hole. Hello, doofus. Who cares about Furfest when we could be making mead instead? I really want to drink Cobra's mead. I want to try his food. I feel like me and Cooler Matt need to show up at his house one day and try the Cobra cuisine. Don't say... No, I'm being dead serious. Because... Okay, think about it this way. I, I had an epiphany. A realization when we, me and Autumn were watching the last video. How... Have you ever, like, been in a conversation where someone's like, I wonder how they found out cow milk is tasty. I wonder how they found out insert bizarre food item here was delicious. It's because of people like King Cobra. Who just do, like, mix all of this stupid shit all fucking day. And just make, like, the dumbest combinations ever. And one day he's gonna strike gold. Like, if you think about it, people like Cobra, we're laughing at him, but he is a trailblazer. He might not end up making a, an individual contribution, but it's people like him that we have to thank for a variety of strange food items that are delicious. Wonder how people found out these 2,000 mushrooms kill you? I don't know about that. Do you think he will mix something that cures cancer? Probably not. That chocolate cherry mead concoction? Yeah, it looked like diarrhea. It looked horrible. It looked awful. That's why it would be funny to drink it. Have you seen the guy making wine from Mountain Dew? I think that's King Cobra. He makes wine and mead out of Mountain Dew, chocolate turtles cherries like the one that we're talking about right now it's a mead specifically and i think it is like two cups of sugar some water queen anne's chocolate cherries or something like that i don't remember exactly what they're called regular cherries um like the rest of the mead ingredients and he mixes this and let it blend for like 12 days and it was really fucking gross but the funniest fucking thing i don't i don't i want to watch this video on stream maybe we should just watch the fucking video on stream maybe we should just say fuck it because i don't want to spoil it watching it first time actually made me gag a little oh let's go yeah let's just fucking watch it dude i think you'll like it so let me let me find it please god no I, I gotta I gotta meander through these videos. I've watched most of them. Okay, this is an eight minute video, so if you're not interested in watching a video, it's probably gonna be roughly ten minutes, and this is definitely not something you wanna watch if you are currently eating dinner or getting ready to eat dinner. Okay. OBS doesn't have ad blocker, I'm sorry. All right, let me know if the if the audio is good. Check it out. The new mead that I made is officially <laughs> ready to go. We're going to strain it. This is the mead I made with that pineapple, orange, banana, dole, 100% juice. And there was Queen Anne chocolate covered cherries, vanilla, and just regular... So what we're going to do, YouTube, is 
We're not going in here to make it. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're going in here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. All the shirts are turned white. That's a good sign. The color blends. The it looks people. like fermented yeah, like piss, dude. Piss and shit potion. So you know what happens next. Oh, my God. That looks vile. After 12 days. It doesn't look that bad. You're trolling. You you are trolling, Linux. Come on, dude. Oh, fuck off with it. Is this guy on meth? After 12 I don't days, know. Probably just really drunk. And our mead is ready to be strange. Hell yeah. I'm not sure how this one's going to turn out, but I do enjoy making my own homemade mead. Smell Thank you, VI Pizza. Oh, you get to yeah, sub to cry vodka. Smells like some uh, boozy good times. Boozy good and you times. Can, like, see the cherries on the inside. Watch the color. So nasty, and to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna grab a fork. Oh. And just spit the cherries out. Real quick. Oh, look at that. I'm examining it with the fork. <laughs> Those aren't cherries, my friends. Those are the chocolates. The chocolate has not completely dissolved into the uh, mead. I fucking love I Cobra, the cherries, dude. But check. Okay, hold up. I gotta show you. This right here. Look at that. It's the shells from the Queen Anne's. Could be worse. Well, let's let's watch the end of the video. Let's let's watch it to the end. Ugh. I was hoping the chocolate would dissolve in that, but I digress. If I try to pick it up, it just falls apart. See right here, we got the cherries that they bled their color. And these right here, like I said, are the chocolate shells. Look at that. Why do you do Because it's funny as fuck. What do you mean, why do I do this? <laughs> Never mind, you can see the cherries, but it's also got these Queen Anne chocolate shells. I, I genuinely like this guy. I think he's funny as fuck. Got the strainer, so it's... I'm not going to try to fish that out now because that, that just looks like a pain in the arse. Maybe we could break some of that chocolate up just by kind of doing this. Ugh. Who opens the divorce dad card packs? I don't the think so. I've never heard of that in my that. life. Pretty. The smell must be rancid as fuck. I have to mute Jenna's a bitch. Try just pouring that into there through the strainer. I think feel my can. Hershey bar coming. Well, well now I feel bad. Everyone's saying they're grossed out. Oh, see, this was literally. Oh god, this is the worst, grossest part. Like, it's literally like POV, you're a snake in the toilet, and someone is fucking diarrhea dumping in the bowl. Ugh. At the point it's in there, you can see the chocolates on the filter, so we'll just, uh... I'm alt-tabbing. Wait, wait, the, the best we'll part is about to happen. Flavor. And then, uh... What would you t it, dude? If I could get it on stream, I would drink it for free. <laughs> Monochrome, don't question his process. He's an expert mead maker. Take a little bit of that off in there. Not all of it. No, you won't. I would. I would. It should be enough. I promise you, I would. I didn't pour a whole lot of chocolate. I would probably there. throw up right flavor. after, but I would try it. Uh, happy diarrhea day what a name wow you're in the right place tonight you're in the right place tonight holy shit is that a bomb next to him probably to just for flavor normally i don't do that but hopefully that only gets don't question tasty. it move patronics just pour that liquid through the strainer. okay hold on hold on Let's do a quick intermission. If you've seen this video, don't spoil it. 
This is for the people who are there. It's their first time seeing this. I will tell you there is something that happens in the next couple of minutes that makes this about a thousand times worse. I, I want you to imagine like what you would do to make this worse. Uh, you don't have to say it in chat, but just think about like how this situation can get worse for a moment. Muting now. It's not like throwing up or anything. It's nothing to do with bodily fluids. Dawn dish soap to our empty jars of hot water. And I, I like to let the uh, jars soak for a couple days before I put them in the. Uh, He's doing it in the empty one. He's not putting the soap in the mead. Don't worry. Look at that beautiful mead. That's looking delicious. He's just cleaning the other one that it was in. I'm going to add a uh, yellow edition Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, that smells intense. And I'll give you half a can of sun kissed mango. <laughs> Top her off, missus. There's a crack in the lid right there, that's why I had the tape. It should poop out to like 20% AVB. Beautiful. Let's put that jar in the fermenting closet. <laughs> I'm going to let that age for a couple more days, tubes. That's so fucking funny, dude. Imagine breaking into some motherfucker's house and you're going through their shit. And you see this piece of shit jar in the fucking closet. Oh my god. Dude, that is the funniest shit. I fucking love King Cobra. He is the best. I would try that fucking mead. There's no way it tastes good, but I would try it. Whatever that was, I hated it. Do you know what a tea mushroom is? No, I do not. Maybe my life isn't so bad. <laughs> He doesn't drink it. He's got to wait for it to ferment more, which means that we actually probably have not seen the final form of this mead. There will probably at some point be another video involving that specific jar of shit. This needs a better filtering method and probably better sanitation. How recent was that? That was three days ago. So... That is the latest video I can see that is on this channel. Imagine the smell of his house. No longer feel like having a beer. I'm sorry, but we I ha I talk about Cobra so much that we have to watch some of his shit so you guys know that it, I'm not just talking about some bullshit that doesn't exist. You know, like at least now maybe you understand what my fascination with this guy is. Because <laughs> he's always doing shit like this. It's funny as fuck. And it, it's like... The, the reason I like Cobra is he minds his own fucking business. He doesn't like... He's not like some of these other people that go and, and do fucked up things to, to his fellow man, his fellow woman. He just minds his own business in his apartment making mead. And it's funny as fuck. I like him. Uh, hello, gum jar. Trying to pull us into his delirium. Proof is in the cherry pudding? Exactly. Hello, Mark Anthony. I'm alcohol-free thanks to Tolomeo showing me King Cobra. Hello, whatever. Definitely the kind of guy we see in the ER with 0.45% back. He seems like an honorable... I wouldn't go that far. But he... he I mean... He's not operating with a full, a full deck of cards. And he does the best he can. And he's funny. I'm over here wondering what type of brewing yeast he uses. Do you think he'd ever make pina coladas? Now a video with him and his GF. No, I... I'm going to be honest with you. I think all of the videos with him and the, that woman involve, like, them kissing. And I'm worried Cool 109 Love would come in and get really horny. 
so I don't want to watch that on stream. When's he making his own Mountain Dew? I don't know. He's, he makes all sorts of fucked up drink combos all the time. That woman? Well, well, she's weird. You know, honestly, a month or two ago, if you had told me King Cobra would get into some sort of relationship with a woman who was stranger and more unhinged than he was, I wouldn't have believed you. But he has managed to do just that. She did a, uh, like, she kind of took over his stream, and he left the room, and she started playing music that nobody could hear and stopped saying anything, like, muted the stream and dancing on video for, like, an hour. It's some weird shit. <laughs> it's some weird shit, dude. What's up, Rutari? I mean, I guess, I guess she was feeling herself, like, you know, you can dance, but just doing it on, on stream is a little strange. Looks completely uninterested in her. Well, no, I actually think that that's not the case. You know, King Cobra, he does have autism. He does have Asperger's. He loves to fart and say, oh, smells like Asperger's. People who are on the spectrum have issues with being overstimulated. So I imagine in his situation where he's kind of been like a hermit for years and years, having like an extremely extroverted woman constantly demanding his attention for seven days straight would legitimately like stress him out to an extreme degree. I think personally that he handled it pretty well. Yes, he looked disinterested, but from what we've seen, he wasn't mean or like getting uh, really upset or like yelling. He was just stressed. Uh, so I don't think that's necessarily uh, tell. Like, you got to remember, like, when we're talking about people who have autism and Asperger's, like, you can't apply neurotypical body language standards to them, right? Uh, he did look irritated, yes, but I don't think it's because he, like, doesn't like her or anything. I just think he, he needs his space and he wasn't allowed to have his space. But I have no idea. That's just, that's just what I think. There's speculation that she, yeah, yeah. Uh, we that's that's my favorite YouTuber. I love King Cobra, but I also don't want to have like a King Cobra stream where we sit here and dissect the details of his life. Um, so we don't have to get more into it. Uh, fuck. What else do I have to talk about then? Should I have a second packet of rice? Do it. I still I, I must have missed the message on what a tea mushroom is. Sorry if I if I missed that one. I am curious what this tea mushroom thing is about. Make a game theory video about him? Nah, nah. I don't really know. Not like a very great at psychoanalyzing people. Show my Oompa Loompa picture. What the fuck? Hold on. Is this what they call kombucha in Russia? Oh, I got you. I've never tried kombucha. I might like it, though. That's like the coffee alcohol, right? Or is there more to it than just that? This is this is Autumn on her cultural appropriation henna journey. Hello, Dan PMK. I'm not sure why she wants me to show you this, but those are some strong-ass uh, eyebrows. Fermented tea. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, I'm thinking Kahlua. I'm thinking Kahlua. Kahlua is the coffee one, right? Yeah, I don't know. I've never tasted kombucha. It's a walrus, not a seal. Is that Walter Walrus? That's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a manatee that we got from the Dallas World Aquarium. I don't know why, why everyone's saying it's a walrus or a seal. I'm pretty sure it's a manatee. <laughs> One of the beautiful uh, BBWs of the sea. What's good, Bobby? We're chilling. How are you? I need to try Kahlua, though, because I don't like coffee. But for some reason, I guess I really like tiramisu. When we were at dinner for Valentine's Day, we got a tiramisu cheesecake, and I fucking loved it, dude. It was so delicious. But I don't like coffee, so it's weird. Because I think uh, tiramisu has some... It's at least similar to coffee. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it. So maybe I'd like Kahlua as well. 
otter's hand looking like it's about to say small loan of a million dollars doesn't taste much like coffee that's why i was surprised because like when we tried it at the texas state fair both of them were saying them being autumn and my sister that it's like a uh, you won't like it because you don't like coffee i really liked it i was the only one who liked it it was delicious cheesecakes are awesome they give me the shits every time even though i'm not lactose racist cheesecakes are like one of the only desserts i will readily eat no matter what i'm not a big dessert person don't really like cake or pie or or it, it's not really that i don't like them i do but i have a very like i get it's usually too rich for me to eat a lot of it like a bite or two of a birthday cake is all i can stomach for example like i, I like to have one donut i can't eat like six in a fucking row but cheesecake those rules don't apply i will i will engorge myself on cheesecake coffee dessert but honestly the coffee part is negligible in the way most places make it do you prefer your cheesecake plain or with some fruit i honestly just like it plain I, I don't dislike the other shit i'll still eat it regardless but i just like a really rich plain cheesecake like i think they call it new york cheesecake none of the extra bullshit on it just me and the cheese thank you lathe j1 for the 22 month resub i appreciate it thank you very much Raspberry or blueberry is good. They are good, but it's like, this is going to sound silly, but I feel like cheesecake is such a rich and unique flavor that I don't want anything else distracting from that specific flavor. I would rather just have the cheesecake itself isolated. VOD viewers skip one hour is me, so you've chosen death. It's a big... JFC, what the fuck is this? Time with nuts. I love unsalted nuts. The cheesecake is sort of too much for me on its own. It's like eating straight butter. So about that, I could probably eat straight butter. I do love my fucking butter. One of my favorite things... Like, this is legitimately... When we go to a new steakhouse, we judge harshly the quality of the bread and butter. Like, it, it's legitimately a huge consideration how good the bread and butter is. Because uh, we are both really, really big on our butter. <laughs> so, everything else could be great, but if the bread and butter is shitty, it's not a deal breaker necessarily, but it's, a, it's something that we take into consideration. And the last place we went to, it was legitimately amazing. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like some weird, strange like salted butter and it was unbelievably delicious it was so fucking good eat butter with just a spoon i didn't i don't think i've said that i don't eat butter on on its own but i could it's very creamy butter with sea salt sprinkled on top one of the gross things i do is i don't like milk and i don't like coffee but coffee creamer Mm. I'm dangerous. Like, if we go to a, a restaurant and they bring out, like, the little cups, like, uh, of coffee creamer, I will tax those. I will just steal them and drink them like they're shots, dude. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. I don't know what it is, but I won't drink the coffee and I won't drink milk, but I'll take the little shots of, of your creamer. Little, little cum shot guzzler. Tolo's toxic trait. That is such a unique experience. Straight syrup, some of them. I don't like the French vanilla ones, though. The French vanilla ones are nasty. Do you like yogurt? Yes. Yes, There, I had a bit of a yogurt stint for a while. Um, like the Greek yogurt shit. I just can't eat it regularly. I like it, but it's not something I can really force myself to eat multiple times a week. Coffee creamers is cream with sugar and flavored syrup, so that's not too surprising. Wonder if you would like cortados. I don't even know what those are. Excuse me. Hazelnut is disgusting and French vanilla contains its cursed taste. Do you like yogurt? Oh, someone already asked that. I'm so hungry. Go get some food. Dude, do you want me to message Ashley to see if she wants to go get food with you? I just ate some rice. All right. 
I'm just eating plain rice for dinner. I want fast food. You don't. It doesn't have to be fast food. If you hurry, there's still places open. Maybe you could do like an Olive Garden speed run. There's roasted chicken. Slow food. I mean, Whataburger is pretty slow. Usually end up waiting in line for a while there. I think it's been a long time since it's taken less than 15 minutes. Six month change for the sub emote prefix I've wanted. This is my old name. I love those Chobani flips with the flavored Greek yogurt and toppings. Applebee's half off apps is 9 p.m. I... So I'm a consumer. Uh, I am a, a soy face consumer that enjoys chain restaurants such as Chili's. But I hate Applebee's with every fiber of my being. I think usually when people are saying like, I can make food better than any restaurant, it's all just microwave food. I think a lot of the time that's not entirely the truth. But with Applebee's, I 100% believe that they microwave their food and it's just dog shit and nobody should ever eat there. <laughs> like, I do not like Applebee's, dude. I do not like Applebee's. Chili's? Well, I, I'm kind of pissed at Chili's, too, because they changed the recipe for their chicken tenders, which were really good, and now they kind of suck. So I don't really like Chili's anymore, either, because one of the things I liked about them is their old chicken crispers had, like, a unique sort of, like, batter. It's hard to explain. If you've eaten them, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's almost like this weird beer batter shit that is not in any way typical for chicken strips. I have no, I've never seen anything like it anywhere else. Genuinely pretty fucking good. But they changed it and now they suck. So I don't really have any burning reason to go there because that was more or less the only thing I ate at Chili's. And I'm not a chicken strip guy. That is the only place I ate chicken strips at because they were so different. On a scale of Chili's to Applebee's, how would you rank TGI Fridays? I haven't been there, honestly. I have no clue. Applebee's $5 giant alcoholic cocktails are pretty great. I remember when we were in Florida to visit Autumn's family last year. We were going to like mini golf or something. And I don't know what the fuck happened. But we got there early and we had time to kill. So we just kind of sat there and drank at Applebee's. The drinks were fine. But I didn't order any food. Chicken strips are nice. They are. But I like I said... I've talked about it a few times. There are some things I agree that you could just make them at home and it would be virtually the same thing when getting at a restaurant. I think chicken strips broadly fall into that category. I do not agree when we're talking about nice steakhouses or other types of places like seafood. But with chicken strips, I don't really see the point of eating chicken strips at a restaurant. Uh, you really can just make that shit at home and it'll be basically the same thing. So, what about favorite steak place? Dakota's. If we're talking relatively cheap franchise place, Longhorn Steakhouse, if we're talking nicer steaks, uh, Dakota's. Steak isn't really that hard. You can make a good one at home. So, I'm not... I have to clarify, I'm not trying to dog on anyone's like uh, ability or perceived ability to cook steak. It's all about the quality of the meat they use. Like, the thing that frustrates me is, yes, if you buy the really expensive meat, you can make steak that's really good. But there are some people who seem to genuinely believe with every fiber of their being that they're alchemists who can get like a $5 frozen Walmart sirloin and make it as good as like a nice steakhouse, is what I mean. Um, a lot of the people just do not really appreciate how much of a difference the actual cut of meat makes. <laughs> it really is. a. Even if we're talking from like restaurant to restaurant, the difference is substantial. So, yeah, if you know what to buy, like the right cut of meat, I agree with you, Sozoy. But in my experience, and it's anecdotal, so maybe I've just had bad luck. The, a lot of the people who say things like that do not acknowledge that tidbit and expect you to eat, like, fucking Walmart <laughs> sirloin medallions and act like it's, like, a fine dining. 
You can make a nice pot roast from cheaper cuts, but you can't get a nice sear traditional steak out of it. Yeah, you can make like low quality cuts of meat into something good. I'm not disputing that at all. Can I tell you something weird? Yes. My parents own a small beef farm. I'm so spoiled on steak quality. Decided I'm making steaks for dinner tomorrow. Maybe I should start, like, I'm 31 years old. I'm going to be 32. I'm not a dad, but maybe I could start becoming, like, an archetypical white middle-aged man and start getting on that grilling. <laughs> it's just, I just want to grill, man. I just want to make my steaks. I'm going to ask everyone how they want their steaks and cook them all the same. If you don't have a good butcher shop nearby, why even try? You can still be daddy. Hank Hillark, we all got a grill for God's sake. Started that in the last two years total. Let me tell you, it's so worth it. Do it. You have to wear shorts and flip. Oh, dude, I always wear shorts and flip flops. I look stupid with hats, but I've got you covered on the shorts and flip flops. That is my uniform, bro. I made steak one time for me and friends, and it turned out surprisingly good. Before living here, I didn't eat like a normal person. I'm kind of dumb with chicken. It feels so shitty because I've never had anyone actually make me breakfast. I'm a ungrateful little shit. Do you use the volcano strat? I did when I was a kid. I, I, I think I legitimately have some... I'm somewhere on the spectrum because every time I tell one of these stories, it sounds like I'm describing like the chronicles of a, a mentally stunted child. I would insist that my mom made me a volcano of mashed potatoes with gravy so I could break one side and have it flow all around the mashed potatoes. And you might be thinking, that's normal. That's not that weird. I don't like gravy. <laughs> so I just wanted the spectacle, and then I would eat around the gravy, and all of the gravy-molested mashed potatoes I would just ignore. So... Yeah. Yeah. The champion, basically. Sometimes go to Red Lobster specifically for the chicken tenders. It's really weird. It's very strange. Point is, I may be secretly vegetarian. What even is stopping you from becoming one besides the Whataburger and the few times a year you eat steak? Um, the Whataburger and the several times a year I eat steak would be my answer to that question. And the chicken I eat eat a lot of fucking chicken sometimes it's unhealthier versions like chicken sandwiches sometimes my sister makes me like grilled chicken that's really good sometimes autumn makes me grilled chicken that's really good i mean fuck i've made chicken once or twice myself and that wasn't really good but it's more than just what a burger and steak undertale 2 is a fan game and it was a real it's a real drug trip yeah this is like the 17th time i played this game so this is going to be a weird stream because I've played a lot of it, but it's been tucked away in various corners of Sunday streams. Only thing I would grab from Red Lobster was cheddar biscuits because they... Fuck, they're also like 150, 200 calories each. They're delicious. They're delicious. I didn't believe that they were as good as people made them out to be, but they are. Love really dry, overcooked, grilled chicken? No, dude, we don't do that and we season our chicken. But like, I... I kind of had some food hangups for because my parents were like when people talk about how white people don't know how to cook my parents were definitive examples of this phenomenon my mom was a all meat is unseasoned and well done very dry and nasty i thought i didn't like steak for the longest time because it was like wall not just like the walmart shitty ones but well done so the first time i, I like i was apprehensive the first time i went like I had to have people convince me to go to a steak restaurant and try like a medium rare one because I didn't believe that steak was good. And then I tried medium rare and I'm like, oh my god, my mom's a fucking idiot. <laughs> what is this shit? This is what it's supposed to taste like? Fuck. Uh, so. Did your parents think they were good cooks? It's worse. They did. And to be fair, my mom was good at certain things. Like her spaghetti was pretty good. She made really good homemade bread. I remember getting like liking her homemade bread so much, I ate myself sick and started vomiting because it was so tasty that I kept eating it even though I was no longer hungry. Was your mom making not even well done, but yes, yes. Like the end of Evangelion, 
Uh, everyone's clapping. Hospital scene steak. Thank you for the 46 months. My mom thought she was a good cook until I gave her some weird-ass lemon chicken foil packs I made. My dad was definitively not a good cook, though. He just kind of threw in fish sticks for five minutes and gave me uncooked fish sticks for dinner. So I'm still kind of grossed out by fish sticks to this day, even though I love seafood. Seafood is so good. I love fish. I love uh, crab, lobster, all types of shrimp. Calamari steak is delicious. I love sushi. So fucking good. But fish sticks? Morning bells start going off in my head like 20 years later. I know how to marinate and season meat. And that's my crutch as a cook. Yeah, we like spicy. Autumn always puts like spicy shit on her chicken. It's bomb. It's really good. We are we very much enjoy seasoning our food. So your opinion on goose? I haven't tried it, Royland, but I want to. Some people think I'm a picky eater because I don't like onions, but I will try anything once. That's and so when I say that I would try King Cobra JFS's meat, I am being 100 percent entirely true and honest as CWC would say. I would try it once. I would probably throw up. Whether that comes after smelling it or drinking it, I'm not sure, but I would make an honest attempt at trying it. And the same thing with the food. Would you try eating ass? That's not food. Thought it fit in the category of bivalves? Well, yeah, that's like... I don't like scallops, oysters, clams... But I've tried all of them. I've tried them fried. Tried them other ways. Not a big fan. I would try goo duck. I mean, to be honest with you, I like some pretty disgusting shit. Let me show you. Get, let me Give me a second to pull up an image here. Gouda's excellent. Gouda cheese is good, but we're talking like goo duck. Uh, it, it's... It's spelled geoduck, but it's pronounced gouda. It's weird. It's not cheese. <laughs> it's not cheese. It's not what you think it is. It's really fucking strange. It it honestly is a creature that looks like a penis and squirts shit. Um This is calamari steak. It's like bug food. It's slimy. It's slippery and it's gross. And I love this shit. It is so fucking good. Um, I think it is delicious. And if it doesn't look immediately unappealing to you, you should try it. It tastes kind of like egg meat. It's meat. It's like... <sighs> very, very light chicken taste with a little bit of egg. Is how I would describe it. It's its own unique taste, but the closest thing I can think of to comparing it to anything else is the taste of eggs. No fishy taste? I don't remember, but I don't recall it. I don't really care about fishy taste, though, so maybe it did, and I'm just conveniently leaving that out. Prepare for dog noise? Okay. Now, let's go back to what we were talking about previously, this goo duck thing. Fishy tastes good. Yeah, I don't mind fishy taste. This is what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> it looks like, it looks like a bad dragon. Like, it does. It does. It, it literally looks like a bad dragon. It's not. It's a living organism in the ocean. But, it's. It looks nasty. I would try it. I'm not sure I would like it. But, vertebrates never taste that fishy. I don't know. I feel like sometimes lobster can taste a little fishy, weirdly enough. But more more not, maybe not fishy, but just kind of like the taste of being in the ocean. Like a like vague salt water taste. I think I've tried these. They're quite delicious. Yeah. I want to I want to try them at some point, but I've never seen them anywhere I've I've been to. I hate ocean taste. I like, I love salt. Like, I don't really like sugar, but salt is my fucking jam. I love salt. How do you eat it? I have no idea. Um, maybe you got to give it the good old gluck gluck and fucking, you know, it's like some weird vor thing. 
Is that what people mean by fishy taste? I thought it was like tuna taste. I think so. Like a general taste of the ocean. Um, if you're someone who doesn't like that, the seafood recommendations I would have for you, and they are fish, but I, in my experience, they haven't tasted even... If you're one of those people, for example, that likes salmon because it doesn't taste fishy, Chilean sea bass and redfish are like improved versions of salmon in my opinion i think both of them are similar to the the way salmon is prepared and in taste but it's better so if you haven't tried those and i think redfish is a regional thing i'm not sure if you can get that at just anywhere they're both really good seasoned fish is unmatched because all of it can be good well normal meat fluctuates too much in quality even if the cook tries I see what you mean, but I don't necessarily agree. Will any redfish do? <laughs> it, it's it's the red drum specifically. I think this is the, the the insane part of me is thinking people are taunting me about one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. But if it's a genuine question, it is red drum is the species of fish in question and the chilean sea bass is also known as the patagonian toothfish uh the sea bass one is like a rebranding because patagonian toothfish sounds like a like a jrpg item not something you'd order at a nice restaurant so they they kind of they changed the name so it doesn't sound quite as intimidating have you had snapper I think I've had it once or twice, but it didn't stand out to me one way or another. Have you had marlin? No. No, I haven't had marlin. I haven't had swordfish. I'm worried that... Because one of the things that everyone has to consider if you are eating seafood is mercury contamination. And the basic idea is that the ocean has been thoroughly polluted with mercury and bioaccumulation by large predators means they have a lot of mercury in their meat so like if a tuna eats a bunch of smaller fish that have mercury then it absorbs all of that mercury into their system so eating a lot of like apex predator fish such as swordfish or shark or tuna can have detrimental effects on one's health especially if you're pregnant and i always think what if i'm man pregnant and i don't know it I've got a tummy, so you, I've heard stories of especially fat people being pregnant and not realizing, and one day it just kind of slides on out. So it's worrisome to me. And why you got to open a fish farm total no mercury and you could have huge fish in your plate? Just invest in your fish farm. No, I wouldn't have the heart to kill them. I like fish. But the mercury poison thing is for real. Like, you're not... Especially if you're an expecting mother, you should very much limit, like, tuna consumption. Uh, there aren't a lot of people who just go out and eat shark and swordfish on the rag, but just be be mindful of it, because it's a real thing. Usually very expensive. Yeah, it's not something most people eat in abundance, so it's never going to be... The only one I can think of that might be eaten a lot is tuna. Um... But I'm not sure. I, you just got to look it up. I'm telling the truth. Uh, fact check me. See what the recommended amounts for people are. If it's something you're worried about. Tuna or I on the food chain. Tuna are insane. I think a lot of people have this idea. And there are different species of tuna. So it depends. I think if we're talking canned tuna. It's not as big of a deal as if you're eating bluefin tuna sushi. But tuna are fucked up. Like, every single day, if we believe in a god, you should thank them every single day that tuna are peaceful towards human beings because they are some of the fastest fish. They're very, very uh, big. Like, people underestimate just how big these things can get. A particularly large bluefin tuna can sell in excess of $100,000 for one fish because of the amount of sushi you can get from it they're very scary there are videos of of them like stealing people's fish and it's like a it's like a fucking stealth bomber like they don't disturb the surface of the water at all they're legitimately fucking scary 
<laughs> but they don't they don't they don't hurt people so thank god right cows of the sea well no no cows of the sea the sea were the stellar sea cow it was a much larger manatee that got to a maximum length of 30 feet and they were called stellar sea cow um they uh, we drove them to extinction because they were remarkably placid and peaceful and they were good targets for eating apparently they were very caring and considerate creatures who they thought mated for life and if you were to take like a male sea cow's mate onto a boat it would get mad and start trying to like you know follow the boat and attack it so but those are gone but a 30 foot long manatee is in fucking sane like that is so goddamn big dude i can't because regular manatees i think get to like less than 20 feet i don't know off the top of my head and they're already massive they're already like super impressive to see in person how big they are so like a super manatee that's like 50 percent longer and much much heavier is hard to picture a little zero tb but they're all gone we killed them I think we killed them in the 1800s. Shovel-shaped tuna knives. They use to fillet them are super cool, and I want one. Also, once again, there are different species of tuna. Like, I think the tuna you get in the cans is not made from the really big, expensive ones. I think that may, it might be yellowfin tuna. So let me... Oh, this is, this is a very helpful image. Let me see if I can get this up on the screen. Google Images saved it as tunasgraphic.jpg.webp, which is extraordinary. So thank you, Google. Thank you for your search engine that gets worse and worse every single day. So yeah, the Atlantic bluefin tuna can get a maximum length of 15 feet and 1,500 pounds. But if we're looking at yellowfin, that's like a much more tame fish. It's 8 feet, 400 pounds. That's still pretty fucking big. But it's not, like, monstrous like the bluefin. So there's a, there's a lot of different types of tuna. It doesn't all come from the same fish. Like, the really expensive, really good sushi, I believe, is bluefin almost always. So if you've ever had, like, uh, the really nice shit that has the, the same sort of look as a steak, it comes from the big boys. Didn't know albacore was tuna. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah, the little the little fuckers. I think a lot of canned tuna is albacore, which makes sense looking at this image. So yeah, if that's true, like I said, I don't know what what's in canned tuna, but if it comes from albacore, you can see that the consideration of mercury would be a lot less because that's not exactly an apex predator. That's still a respectable fish, 4.5 feet, 130 pounds, but the blue fin is eating those little fuckers for breakfast. <laughs> so that thing's got a lot of mercury in it that thing is bigger than some species of shark it's the size of my mom well it's little in comparison to 15 feet my nephew's caught a couple 800 pound atlantic blue fins it's a hike to get them i can't imagine they're so strong they're so powerful that they can exert their selves so much that they can produce enough lactic acid to cook their meat and kill themselves <laughs> by, by by overexertion of of their very powerful tuna bodies so you know i'm i'm honestly i know this is a strange tangent but i i think and i'm not trying to be mean like uh, it's an opportunity to to show you something that maybe you didn't know that i think is interesting that tuna are very respectable predators they are i think some people have this idea that they're little piss baby fish but they are they are apex predators they are like you do not have a lot of things in the ocean that can fuck with a fully grown bluefin tuna uh, hello takamatsu maybe not literal apex predators i guess faster sharks could probably catch them but they don't have that many things that threaten them imagine dying by fucking so fast you cook yourself alive Next Tower Unite stream, you should watch a halibut headshot compilation. You'll have to suggest that. I trust that you'll you'll hold my feet to the fire on it. All right, 
So that's enough of fish facts, right? We're ready to play Undertale 2 now, yeah? Wait, Cool is here? Cool 109 Love is here? Most species of shark, I bet. I mean, there's some pretty big fucking sharks, but there's a lot of little ones, too. The majority of them are probably smaller, yeah. Undertale Tuna. We gotta finish this game, dude. Like, we just gotta finish this. Fishing in Undertale 2 again. Viewer list says no. I don't know what that means. I want to subscribe to more fish facts. Apex Tuna for Monhan Wilds. Do you have a save? Yeah, I played it off stream yesterday. I woke up and immediately got to it. Never seen the other guys total. There's a scene where a person says they're a lion and the person they're talking to is a tuna and that guy breaks out some tuna facts. I have not. That sounds interesting though. What's been your favorite aquarium? The Georgia Aquarium because it has manta rays and whale sharks. I believe it's the only aquarium in the United States that has whale sharks. I've always wanted to go out to the ocean to swim with said whale sharks. I want to do that one day, but that is a lot harder than, you know, just going to an aquarium. Maybe now that I'm losing weight, I can start doing cardio. Like, I don't want to get ripped, but maybe I could start swimming or, or like, walking and jogging and getting cardio so I can swim out in the ocean with big fish. Some orcas know that you can hold their shark upside down to use tonic immobility to keep them from moving. And know that they need to circulate water through their gills to breathe so they choke them out by waiting for them to drown. Orcas are really smart. They could be smarter than us, but they don't have the ability to write down information. They don't have hands that they can use to manipulate their environment and build things. I think it... It's... It, I, it, it's not 100%. It's definitely not 100%. I know there are a lot of people who have like a, a, a really negative reaction to the idea that another animal could rival our intelligence. It's hard to say for sure because there's not a concrete objective way to measure such things. But orcas are pretty smart and you got to wonder how smart humans would appear if they didn't have like generations upon generations upon generations upon generations of knowledge uh, ready for them the moment they're born basically like if you had humans who didn't have any of those advantages and compared them to the two orcas i wonder how it would appear like which one would appear smarter still probably the humans but people underestimate the advantage being able to chronicle information uh gives us maybe not underestimate but take it for granted and then we wouldn't be humans that's a nonsense statement. So you're saying that, like, feral children aren't humans. I'm not saying you rob us of the ability to gather knowledge. I'm saying that if you had an isolated group of people who couldn't, like, you know, sit there and pretend they're the, the smartest shit ever because they can read Wikipedia, they, they actually had to figure most of the stuff out themselves, they probably wouldn't appear all that smart compared to the average human today. Um, we, we definitely have the ability to use our phones, which are more or less the total sum of human knowledge that has taken thousands of years uh, to gain. What if orcas could do that? <laughs> it's just, it's, all I'm saying is they just don't have the tools that we do. They could be innately smarter than us, but it wouldn't matter because they don't have all of the other advantages we do. Information has been given to us by aliens since the dawn of mankind. How else could we progress so rapidly? Like, I don't know about you. Let me put it this way. Not the smartest guy in the world. If I had to figure out, like, how to create a fire, is this water uh, going to infect me with parasites? What, like, I would never have figured out what a germ is. No human being would ever figure out what a germ is without building upon the knowledge that people prior to them have made, right? Have no fucking idea. And that's just something everybody knows and takes for granted now. Uh, so you got to wonder what other animals would be like if they could. Octopus are also extraordinarily intelligent, but they're short-lived and cannot pass down information. I think octopus 
in particular are fascinating because every other animal that you can compare to humans, like whales, corvids, uh, etc., not an all-inclusive list, they're all vertebrates. They all have a spinal column. They're different, but they are made of the same fundamental building blocks. But uh, octopus doesn't have that. It's the only example that I'm aware of of a very intelligent animal that is not a vertebrate. And I think that's interesting. Miasma theory was still widely believed until nearly World War One. Yeah, yeah. And the knowledge thing is, it's exponential. Like, the improvements you can make come faster and faster. I imagine, I don't know, I'm not an anthropologist. I don't know exactly how long it took from humans to go from hunter-gatherers to agricultural um but i think it took a long fucking time and the amount of progress we've made in 200 years is absolutely insane but it took thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years and passing knowledge from one generation to another to get anywhere and we look at people from just a hundred years ago as kind of barbaric sometimes like holy shit uh they really didn't know a lot like the miasma thing fafman pointed out but it took a long time to entertain the idea of germs. Hello, Lululand. Sorry. Video games. Thank you, Lululand, for the 65 months. Hope you're doing well. This has been a long pre-stream. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for humoring me. Let me go pee, and we can start the video game. Okie dokie. Now that we've gotten the serious uh, stuff out of the way, we can go back to Poo Poo Pee Pee 69 Undertale Fuck Me in the Ass for Jesus Mommy. <laughs> Biggest strength aside from our opposable thumbs is the ability to pass down knowledge. There's a lot of things. We're like a perfect hybrid. We are intelligent. I'm not saying human beings are unintelligent animals by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we still very well could be way smarter than whales. I just don't know. I'm not necessarily comfortable saying that for a fact. We are endurance hunters that can wear out animals by chasing them down and being really annoying. We have opposable thumbs, so we're masters of the utilization of tools. And that allows us to pass on knowledge from generation to generation. So the being able to use tools and the written knowledge are kind of, you know joined at the hip when it comes to progressing as a species a lot of good th yeah yeah we have we're the best don't get me wrong like i love whales but fuck them whales like whales are not as good as us but if i didn't know all of the things my parents taught me and their parents taught them and so on and so forth how far would i get in life <laughs> like how many people in here do you think you think you would get to the point where you discovered fire before you were you were dead i don't think i would i think i would have been fucked um and that's just fire that's like the most basic thing in the world and then even if you did would you think of cooking meat oh i just hunted down an animal and have its food let me throw it into a fire <laughs> like, if you don't have the prior knowledge, you can understand how that would seem kind of like, oh shit, I'm wasting my food, why would you do this? Because you don't have an innate knowledge of what that's going to result in. You would just kind of have to be fucking around and stumble upon it, I think. Alright. 
Here we are at the Burger King. In my superstition, I made sure to eat Burger King today. So I could be... It's like it's kind of like method acting. Imagine that happened accidentally too from her... True, true. But what, you'd also kind of... They couldn't be burnt too much. There's a lot of different ways it could have happened. I don't think you're disagreeing with that, Fafman. Just that it's kind of incredible how much it took for us to get to this point. It's scary to think about. And that's why I think people like King Cobra JFS should be cherished and protected. Because who else? Like, you need an UG in the fucking tribe to make chocolate mead. Like, you need someone who's got a strong constitution, who's durable, who has a winner's spirit and a winner's mind to make these things and try them and to make sure that the mushrooms are okay. Because I might eat a poisonous mushroom and die. But Cobra, he just gets sick for a little bit. Yeah, like I was saying, like, the last 200 years, more progress has been made in, like, the last million, basically. Or really, like, the entire, however long human beings have been around. And it's only getting faster. Okay, is the volume good now? And, you know, I've seen some people regret that they were born too late to explore the world too early to explore the stars, but we are born at the perfect time in my opinion. We were born at the perfect time to explore deviant internet pornography and Undertale fan games. Marco Polo would have died for this shit. I was born just in time for Home Run Derby? Yeah! I love Brent Coco. Hear faint music from coming inside that door, vocal key, or concert ticket. Okay. Think I'll be able to pick up some cute babes. I've been flashing my muscles to everyone for the past few days, but no cute girl has talked to me yet. Terrible news, I've heard of a big robot woman that plans to rule over the archives. Truly terrible. I'm sure everyone in the stream disagrees and thinks this is a good thing. That already happened. Buzz, buzz, ah, uh, fucky. Deep blue sea. My little sister sailed out a few years ago with a party of three friends and never came back. Still hope in her return. Wasn't the last time you... Yeah, yeah. I have read these guys' dialogue before, but it's been a bit, so I'm getting a refresher. Okay, sorry. I needed to readjust my window. Defector speedrun spook. Do you know what do you know about battles? Okay, yeah, he is just telling me easy shit. There's a hot robot mommy. Not really, in my opinion. Shit. Okay, let's fuck this dude in the ass. I've dedicated all my waking hours to training in rules garage. Wax on, wax off. This dude is going to get e fucked. Like I'm telling you. <laughs> the dude's getting fucked up. Easy, baby. What about instinct without info sharing? I imagine we would rely much more by instinct. Yeah, I mean, there's something to be said for instinct for sure. I'm not trying to make the argument that humans are just worthless. But... There's... How do I put this? How do I put this? I know that if I go into an anime store and there is a short minority in the anime store and I make fun of like Naruto or something, I'm going to get my ass beat. 
He's gonna throw like Naruto Jujitsu gang signs at me and use his Sangria Eye to kick my ass. That is not a natural instinct that human beings have. I know that because of reading stories on the internet. And seeing how people react when you insult One Piece. That's not something innate to human beings. And there's a lot of things like that where you don't really... You do have instincts towards danger in a general sense. But you really only need to fuck up once and you're dead and gone forever. It's a lot safer in the modern world. If you fuck up once in like a gatherer society and eat the wrong berry, you might just die. <laughs> you might just be fucked. Whoa, 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 where is it? Where'd it go? Hi there, I'm Eclair. World-renowned wizard school dropout. I'm here on a side quest I got from some filthy villager guy gather 10 fish. I found the 10 fish but lost one of them. A Tayaki. How do you lose a fish? Look, I hate to pass on the side quest, but can you give me a hand here? I'm all out of cash and worms. I can't fish anymore. If you bring me a Tayaki, I'll show you something really cool. I already have one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Now for my cool thing. Runes. Think you could use- it all comes back to fucking runescape. Hello, Catfish. Thank you for the 47-month recent- Wait! It's a new party member? Okay. Torpal Dook. But no, Torpal's a real wizard, not a dropout. So this wouldn't be Torpal. Hmm. Follow your heart. D Torpal. But, okay. Let's go look at the stats. Can we really bench Jenna or Joelle, our gay buddies, for Torpal Duck? He's got a Wizard Rod 44. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What kind of skills are we working with here? Shed yourself to find yourself. Give up health to restore all MP. Health and security. Bubble up. Gummy love. Cloakify. Strike down foes. Thornaga. Filetificate. Tesla grip. Let's try him out. Let's try him out. We're gonna give Torpal his favorite thing. That Hatsune Miku dice. We could give him a gun. But that would lower his magic, and that doesn't seem right. Yeah. No, we're gonna go back to this. I think he should be a little faster. Holy fuck, look at that neck! Jesus Christ! Look at this fucking thing! All right, we got a squad now. We're, we're fucking gaming. The ultimate in hot dog eating technology is here. Okay. We can finally... What? Is that a baby Samoyed? Dreaming of running. Hey everyone, sorry to interrupt your video game session. It's me, Toby Fox, creator of Undertale 1. Oh. Yay, yay. Crowd cheering, crowd cheering, uproarious happy screaming. You know, when I made Undertale 1, I never thought of the existence of an Undertale 2. An Undertale 2 spawn not from my own two paws, but from those of another creature. Oh. An armless little girl named M, and then it was cut off. Ah, fuck, sorry, spoilers. Laughs. Ah, crap. I shouldn't say any bad words, should I? I almost forgot to say what I wanted to say. Undertale 2 is canon! Yay! 
Yay! Legal note, Undertale 2 is not actually canon. Toby Fox is not actually saying these words. The Toby Fox in front of you is merely a holographic parody of the real Toby Fox, and all that is said by this Toby Fox is to be taken with the biggest grain of salt imaginable. Do not believe his lies. Undertale 2 real. Under two, Undertale 2 canon. All that is said by this fake Toby Fox is to be ignored. Look at this tweet that I wrote. Hello, fans. This is the real Toby Fox Twitter.com account saying that the hit indie game Undertale 2 is canon and real. Also, Rao says goat penis is like 14 inches long. He folds it to fit under his robe. Laughs. A thank you, Max was already taken for the 56 month resub. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Not a real tweet, he wrote. I wrote this. This is a facsimile tweet fabricated through Google Chrome's inspect element function. There's a, someone named Temi in the comments saying, that's awesome, bro. Ha 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 ha. What about Asgore's penis microphone emoji? All real. No. Even the penis part. Especially not the penis part. Okay, guys. Sorry for the interruption. I'm just so excited about saying the truth. It wasn't the truth. Just funny, legal, parody. Very legal and funny. Don't sue me, real Toby Fox. Bye! What the fuck was that at the end? Is this a friend? I'm gonna whoop this little fucker's ass. You ready to get that, that ass whoop, bitch? Alright, let's see. Uh, Torpal Duck. Hit him with the thorns. Oh, you're not gonna get the opportunity. Crosspatch grumbles about something or the other. Okay. Works for me. Rain needle death on your enemies. A big ass slap of raw fish damage. I like the sound of that. So, does he mean, like, a big ass slap or a big ass slap? Is it, like, a... Actual slap on the ass? I don't like this little fucker. A bait master. Hmm? Okay, well, let's try talking to him. Maybe, maybe he's cool. Wraps the enemy in thick purple tentacles. Uh. Wee hee hee, wee hee hee. It's time for the bonus round. Will your answer be correct? Let's bait and see. Which of these is not a tree? I don't know shit about trees. There's no such thing as a broom tree, right? What you doing there, bait master? Ma I'm not, I'm not, goodbye. Okay, so if you make a joke about him being a masturbator, he leaves. Perhaps a sign of a guilty conscience? I think we caught him in the act, guys. Let's talk to this freak. Eggs and bacon, bacon and eggs, party mana, party mana. Hey, Scrambler, I'm gonna tell you a joke that's gonna make you crack up. Hum, hum, ha, ha, okay, what's the joke? I think he's stupid. Kinda like the idea of a combat system based on trivia. I hate that I can't kill this thing for real. Like, the egg part. Like, I always have to go through this hashing and getting his health back thing, is what I mean. What is it about this game that keeps you coming back? I don't know. I hate myself. And I feel like whenever I play it, people do really like it. So I feel like I'm... I'm... I'm too far in. Like, I have to. Wait, 
makes attacks better and grants access to jump slap. What is the name of the tree in front of the archives? Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna whoop that ass. Oh, fuck. How many seashells are on the wall of honey? Oh my god. Uh, three. I know this. Easy. And then I fucked him in the ass. You ever play Space Funeral or Shut Up and Slam Guide? And I played the former, but not the latter. Space Funeral was pretty awesome. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a tumultuous encounter. Hello, J Left W. Hey, Jinx, who's this little guy? I don't know, Punch Buggy, who is it? I'm Kyle. You look buff. Seems like a fun opponent. You up? Yeah, okay, we're gonna get clobbered. I'm gonna fuck these guys up. This is about to be a whole new world of ass whooping. Oh. Um. We're gonna completely dick him here. There is literally no way this can go tits up. <laughs> that fucking attack. God, you ever wish you had cat boy form in real life? Probably not, huh? Absolutely not. New Year's Eve bomb. Okay. Alright, I think we won. You don't want to go to Fur Fest? I just realized I'm max level on two of my characters. We must be getting close to the end. I guess we can move now. Yup, yup. Have a nice one. And have this full party heal on me. Y'all deserve it. There's no way this game's gonna last for like a hundred years, right? I think I've played it for over ten hours at this point when everything's said and done. What is my name? Idiot. Holy shit. The amount of damage that I do now is, is a little bit unreasonable. Herm! Hmm. No, no, no. Why are they even there in the first place? Why are they just standing there? Are they a couple or not? I haven't really said anything. That's not really actual representation. Da Z. Og. This is so annoying. I can't just make the beach connect directly to the archives. This sucks. Whatever, whatever. They're staying in. They're an okay roadblock of sorts. Z. Undertale's gay reps were cool. It shouldn't have to be that hard to write this stuff. Ugh. Oh, wait. Someone's watching me. Hey. I'm Marissa. Marissa Kirasami. I made this place, Z. It wasn't easy, because I don't have any arms. I lost them in a wood chipper accident. I don't need arms though. I have friends to help me. Big scary friends. It's amazing the sort of stuff you can get away with if you have an angel on your shoulder. I wish I had a mind's eye though. And now I'm getting attacked by this little Egbert son of a bitch.
This is a different one. Okay. Thanks for putting Homestuck symbols in the title. So, uh, no, those are Wingdings. Those have been around since before you were born. Are these Egg Freaks a reference to something? I feel like everything in this game is some manner a reference to some weird internet pervert shit. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, this little dude wants an ass whooping again? Watch out, Kyle. I leveled up. I'm a multi-class necrolancer now. I can't wait to turn you into an epic skeletal minion. Answer, if you drove an armored vehicle, would it be a panzer? I tried doing that once and I got grounded for 38 years. Shit! These guys look ferocious. I'm intimidated in real life. I think I'm too scared to keep playing. You know what will make me feel better? did I miss? I feel better now. Okay, he's fucked now. There's no way this can go tits up. Sharp nails, sharp wit, sharp tongue. Okay, so she got speed craft and some other bullshit. Did that say Sneedle? This move used to be called the Snuckle. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. The what? It's a sneed and feed thing. Hey. How's your card collection going? If you're going for a full album, I suggest you ask your little mousy friend to help you. Hey, you little shrimp. Welcome to the egg zone. Don't step on our eggs, please. Oh, it's my Discord. Good. Thank God. Welcome to the egg shop. Okay, let's buy some eggs. I thought we were gonna get, like, programmer socks. Hi, I've heard there's certain rooms where a cer certain gilded bingus may spawn. Hello, Kilogen. Lots of money and XP on that guy. A gilded bingus. Maybe in the wiggler room. What the fuck is the wiggler room? Okay, we gotta be careful of ramen. What? Invading the raw man's turf? Oh shit, are they gonna curse of raw me? Fuck. Prepare to die. Holy shit, they literally are. Oh my god. We hope you're prepared. May all the pantheons be with you. Are they all separate? Okay, no, they they count as one. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta... Let's do a joke. This is a sick remix. Hey, Raw Man, are you Superman or Batman or Spider Man? Or Aquaman or Merman or Wolfman? Or Bra Man, Come On, Raw Man, K Man? We're Raw Man, yes. Holy shit! Holy shit! This is serious. Okay.
Holy shit, stop! I need an adult! No, no infinite poke maelstrom! Fuck off! Is this the curse of Ra? Wait. Okay, I, th I'm not gonna lose. I refuse to lose. I will not lose to these fucks. Jenna is carrying so fucking hard right now, it's unbelievable. We need... What we need right now is the fire ant firecracker. There's no doubt about it. And we... Oh, fuck. I need to be a, a goddamn cat boy, too. Okay, Torpal Duck. Heh. <laughs> We're surprised you're still alive. We still have plenty of tricks up our raw sleeves. Oh, no. She's already dead! The Leviathan, dude! The Leviathan! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Let's do another Leviathan and, um... God, what do I fucking do? Brightly explodes and leaves your enemy with one HP. Jenna, please. Jenna. Blessing of Jenna. Please. Please. Blessing of Jenna. Blessing of Jenna. It missed. God damn it. Very interesting. Seems like you whittled us halfway through our collective health. But halfway is still halfway. Okay, we, we inflicted them with Eat Sleep Fortnite. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, we, we need to hit them with the anglers. Don't get cocky now, human. You're dealing with not one, not two, but five Herculeo Egyptian gods. Let's make this battle memorable. Prepare yourself. Ask me about my Leviathan, bitch! Oh! There is no conceivable way that this can go tits up. It's impossible. I'm out of fucking anglerfish.
God damn it! Torpal! Torpal! Ah, oh, god damn it! I was so close! Okay, okay. I need my items back. I was not expecting that to be such a tumultuous battle. I wasn't expecting it to be a fucked up super boss. Okay. Need more Leviathan? I'm- I'm so sorry, Torpal. You're- you're awesome, but this is- This is a job for a gay buddy. What do I even fucking do? Okay, okay. No, no curse of raw right now, motherfuckers. Come on. I'm about to fucking beat that ass. Alright, we need Leviathan. We need Mouse in Your Pocket. Oh, fuck. Do I have like a AoE heal of some sort? I want to save the big dick uh, angel anglers for later. You might be cursing me with Ra, but I have the blessing of the Leviathan. I'm serious this time. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let this... They're fucked. There's no way this can go tits up. It's literally fucking impossible. All we needed was a gay buddy. All we needed was the gay buddy. Damn, that's funny as hell. We got the ramen abs. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Heh. Excellent. You've managed to beat us. Who would have thought our blessing is yours? Kyle. We grant you the title of honorary member of the Raw Man. That means in real life, I'm immune to your curse of raw shit now. Like, it doesn't work anymore. Feel free to visit the Raw Man Turf anytime. Uh. Curse of Ra, Kyle. Um. Holy shit. Regenerates a good bit of MP and buffs the shit out of every stat. Okay, we can give Jenna the ice crystals.
Okay, surely we're untouchable now, right? Hum hum. Your blessing got grungled. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh shit. That's what that good pussy sounds like. Am I right, fellers? Poke the bokes? When Joka is out, Joka will shout. When Joka's in, Joka will gin. Yeah! <laughs> the fuck is this guy's problem? Thank you, Artemis, for the 50-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Am I gonna get fucked if I attack him here? Who gives a shit? Let's do it anyways. Cotton Eye. Sans and Joel just eye for an eye, a cute yet powerful magical form. That's what's up. So I could be. I can be Cotton Eye Catboy? Alright, just, just spam. We win. We win these. Oh shit, we, got, we can go back. We can dig the holes up now. I Joker yields, Joker surrenders. But first, a gift for Joker's best friend. A Joker capsule. What the fuck does that do? Summon Joker LeBox to pester the enemy. Okay. That would have been good for the raw man. Man, the eggs don't respawn. I just completely fucked them over by killing all of their progeny. You're not gonna... Don't step on the eggs. He doesn't have anything to say about it. He just accepts it. Hold up. What? What? Okay. That I thought it was gonna be like an item or something. Not like all of these little holes lead to some, some bizarre dungeon with frogs. Frog tablets? Yeah, it must have something to do with that. Definitely. Who is that freak over there? Isn't that the jump scare labyrinth? I, I don't think it is, but I know what you're talking about. That would be pretty fucking funny if they added that. Not Homestuck? Okay, but what is Homestuck about this shit? Or are you, are you lamenting that it's not Homestuck? I'm confused. Did you beat the game yesterday about hunting freaks? Yes. Whenever I beat a game, and I, I usually like to look at the Steam reviews to see what people like and dislike about the game, just out of curiosity. It only had one negative review saying that it was a rage game. I thought it was kind of funny. Thank you, Melanitis, for the two-year resub. I appreciate it. Snee hee hee. It's Sniveling Thrones time. Ah, yes. The inner city. Within the Grat Maw of Scathic, worlds collide and intertwine like mush in a sewer. Sewer, inner city, Yamada. Don't go looking for answers anywhere else, all right? You'll only find pain. Ton. Snee hee hee. That's it. See you in the... Okay. Where does this lead? This thing has pirate idealist energy. Let's talk to it. Uh. Don't worry, you'll do better next time. I got nothing. 
Okay, can we just beat its ass? Wow, holy shit. I think I fought these before. Maybe not. It dropped an apology letter. Dear Kyle, I believe there is some good in the soul of everyone, even if they behave in the most rotten of ways. This definitely was a thing that I read before. Okay. Well, we gotta... We gotta get through this. Some of these chests are not mimics. Do you really want to watch me kill every single one of these? Yeah, no you don't. Don't lie to me. That would take like over an hour. Look at how many there are, dude. Think about the XP. Hello, Waga. Alright, fine. I'll do it. It's not like they're formidable enemies, right? One of them is gonna have a scarab that spits poison and melts all your stuff. God. I still remember that fucking noise they make. That chest hallway from Shiver. Every fucking game I end up playing these days ends up having that. Like the. Not chess, but the Super Mario B3313 has that hallway full of doors that kill you. There's just some sickos out there, you know? Scarab's hiding behind the doors that you tried to break, and it's it's so fucked because they're not like they journeyed from the undercity of that dungeon specifically to hide behind a door in perpetuity until someone tried to break it down so they could melt their shit. They're not just like chilling anywhere in any of the zones where they're hiding behind doors. Like they specifically just want to be assholes. One of them dropped another item. What was it? Was it the cinnamon roll? I don't remember seeing that. Wait, Flynn's diary. My dear friend slash new mom, she's quite the tiger rar. She's full of life and joy and loves to play around. I gotta say, this place rocks. Food's good, water's fine. And my goat, mommy, she is muy caliente. Nah, I'm just joshing ya. Flynn. The fuck is that guy's problem? I'm an, in a nook down a hatch in a house on a hill on a hill on an island in the vastest sea. Okay, we got a toothpick. That's surely a weapon for Jenna, right? Still a little bit of haggis stuck to it. Grants Jenna the gay bulg skill. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, I guess. We're already so strong that I guess, I guess giving her a real weapon is fine instead of the double... The double wet, uh, turn weapon she had. She had a whip that would give her two turns because I wanted her to buff everyone else or heal. But I think we're so fucking strong that it doesn't matter anymore. We can just do whatever the fuck we want. I think if we beat the raw man, then we can... It means someone's... Yeah, no, I, that's how I interpreted it as well. Like, I, I thought that he was lusting after his hot goat mommy. Banjo and Sif had a baby. What would it look like? It would look fucking stupid. You just want to kick it whenever you saw it. Don't god turtle me. I, I wouldn't kick it, but it would look stupid as hell. Wait. I can simply just walk past all of this? 
Like, I don't even... Oh, okay. So, do you think I should break the rest of these? Like, we're good, right? Yes? Oh, okay. This is how you get another stream of this. We're not gonna beat this tonight because we're gonna spend, like, all day going down holes and fighting mimics. We missed our chance in Baby Banjo- No, no, no. I would never want a dog that had puppies, because number one, I would want to keep them all, and I would I would have a lot of stress about them going to good homes. Do you want to level the other guy? I really like Torpal, but I just think that for my strategy that I have, the gay buddy strategy is superior. Because it's basically just like the streamer strat, where everyone is at my beck and call supporting me. It's the me show. I'm the main character. I'm the protagonist. Buff Kyle with every single thing possible so he can just attack a hundred times and fucking kill everything. That's really all there is to it. Life is so hard for us straights. My coworker called an hour ago saying he was gonna be a little late and I'm running around the store doing fuck all. That's annoying as fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, we did it. I think we got them all. How many fucking apolo- We have 33 apology letters. Thanks, guys. Now we have to get rid of all of them. New equipment for Joelle? I can look. None of this looks new to me. Oh, this is from the other guy, but it's not very good. I guess this lets you hold... Oh, oh actually... No, you're right. That's, that's kind of fucking insane. I could just buff his defense even further. Funny as fuck can be used to dig holes, evades, and deals crits. Alright, offensive gay buddy Joel arc is, is well underway. Shit! I have to kill these fucks again? What did it do? It basically enables him to use weapons. He's not normally able to use weapons, but if you give him the mimic thing, he can. A thank you, Wall Z, for the 44 months. What's up, dog? How are you? Dude's got no hands. Do you think all the mimics respawn? I mean, we killed all of them, so there won't be any reason to kill him again. Joel still can't attack, though? Are you... Hold on, is that true? Oh my... No, he can. He... I... Okay. He can't regular attack, but it boosts his offense to where topple over will be. Wait. I need to put all aluminum shit on him. Or like the whale shark onesie. Because I'm going to assume that means stronger the less speed you have. Maybe we need to have a buff our gay buddy Joel strat going on. I mean, he already has the whale shark onesie. I don't know if you can get it below. Okay. Joel Bear. Hey, Explorer, it's me, Speedrun Spook, Adventure Extraordinary. I get a feeling series much harder and say some sort of hard mode, but what do I know? I'm just a ghost. What? Oh, no. Uh, is there, like, a way to put hard mode on that I haven't found? Fuck. <laughs> These things are annoying, dude. Come on. Let me go. 
Okay, this dude's about to get his ass whooped. I got Joel on my team. I had a place to dig, too. We can go back. I just know there's an absolute shit ton of those holes in the fishing areas. Okay. They're not all areas. We got a scrumpus stew from that one. I don't know what a scrumpus is. But it sounds like it's it's fine to have. Okay. Found five worms. Five worms. Okay, surely it's not all going to be worms, right? Right? You found Hector? What the fuck is Hector? Hey, it's him. Okay, so it's an item I can equip on someone. It's a trinket. What the fuck does it do? It seems completely dog shit, so I'm going to give it to Jenna. What if it has, like, an interaction? Like, something happens if you have it equipped. Because otherwise there's no point, right? Five worms. Five worms. such a threatening room put in shitty I, it's tough because I think they would but I also think they would make it a serious thing too I'm studying the pudding rocks think these could be used as some sort of alchemic catalyst this is like going to the grocery store with purple duck five worms okay Pudding magic would be pretty sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Sounds kind of fucking awesome. Okie dokie. Hector, like, the pendant from Dark Souls 1? God, I remember that shit. I remember thinking of what, what, what could the pendant be? What could it do? It must be something really good, right? <laughs> I still think it would be funny if they re-released Dark Souls 1 like 10 years from now and the pendant was actually a thing. But like, don't let anyone know. Just just make it something super obscure. What an amazing excavation location. All this ancient mechanical history. I wonder what happened here. Surely, that I, I thought that was going to give me a good, a good item to dig up. Rotating save files. I've been a little bit. I'm less worried about the save messing up and more worried that I'm going to cross a point of no return where I can't get the morsel. The water here tastes odd. Where I'm from, it tastes like blood. I've been somewhere, it tastes like lemon. Can I use for Quaylog's sister? Is it? Where the fuck are these things? 15 worms? It's looking like we're not going to get any super exciting reveal from these holes. Aside from Hector, Hector's really not that interesting. Like, it's fucked up to say, but... Hector's kind of bitch-made. All right. Let's let's go to the star drop tree. Last chance to do something for me, Hector. Fifteen worms. It seems like there's not a lot here. Okay. The fuck are all these areas? This is the fishing zone. This is where you go to fish. 
But I've already got all but one fish, the morsel, which I'm not... I really don't know how to get the morsel. Did we face the curse of Rogan? Yeah, I looked his ass the second time. I like... I looked at him and he looked at me and then I took him by the hips and then I just fucking... I, I grandpa styled him. It was... it was... obscene. Like, nobody's ever seen anything like it. Fuck off. Did I talk to this fucking thing? Yeah, talking about the music needs a vocal key. There's no hole in here. Besides, uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess the gnome probably has a hole. Do you want more leviathans? Not really. Um, I feel like they're a really, really, really strong consumable. But I have a couple more, I think. One or two. I think the raw guys were like a super boss. I don't know if I'm gonna need more. I hope I do, but I'm not worried about it at this moment. Cross that bridge when we get there, right? This is why I cracked all of your stupid fucking eggs, by the way. Little bastards are griefing me. Oh, come on. Why is it fucking crying? There we go. Wait, auto pile driver? What the fuck is that? Slams the enemy on the ground, effective against bulky enemies. It's the Gachi Mucha maneuver. The ultimate power bottom technique. Okay, now I have to go back because I found the vocal key. God damn it, dude. That means I can go back and... and oh, okay. Okay. That's not a bad thing. This means I'm gonna have to fight some more of these eggs. Did it say that he became harder? What exactly does that mean? Sometimes it's hard to pick up on the small details because of how fast these go. Okay. Leave me alone. Oh, baby. Happy feet. Can we do it again? Absolute fucking legend. Leave me alone. No. Die. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on over here now that we have the vocal key. <laughs> Kyle, I'm drowning. <sighs> I'm dead. I drown. Doubt you'll see any more locks from here on out. That's it for me. I'm like actually done for. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Wasn't that funny? No. Ah, okay. Well, have fun. The monk key gobbles up the vocal key, but you don't really notice. Oh my god. What? It Look at the fucking Hatsune Maikus! What the fuck is this? Okay. Come here, bitch. You ready? What is a shiteyanyo? Sumi scene. Sumima scene? Hey, Shiteyanyo, what do you like on your pizza? Um, Shiteyanchovies? Good God. Ah, yay, yay, Gomen Nasai. What the fuck? Yeah, these things need to die. These things need to be dealt with with extreme prejudice. Okay, I wanted to see if there was more down there. Let's go this way. 
This doesn't look as, as horrible as it seemed. I saw it and my mind immediately went to like the little teleporter mazes from the Saffron City gym in Pokimane. Hey little yellow Miku fan. What the fuck is this? Is this racism? We can buy Miku cream and a Miku board. What is the fucking Miku board? It's a trinket that gives mad defense. Okay. Oh, but that's probably not. Yeah, never mind. It's worthless. What's your favorite Hatsune Miku song? I really like Brain Fluid Explosion Girl. Between us, I think it's about me. Hello, Gata. Thank you for the 32 months. What's up? How are you? Isn't that the suicide song? I don't know what they're talking about. Do you think this game is gonna give us brain damage? It's her! It's her real Hatsune Maiku! Already has? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, you little bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up. Hatsune Maiku from Domino's? I think so. She's like the sequel to Yonoid, right? That was not what I meant to do, but I'm not sure the other one would have had this a different result. I think the one on the very bottom might send me to the spot right before. Maybe. Okay, yeah. You find the best games? Would you believe me if I told you that this is like the fifth time this game has been on my stream and I've played like 10 hours of it and it's never going to end? And it's a saga. Holy shit, Hatsune Maiku burger? But like a turkey burger. Ha 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 ha. Popey popey po. He 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 he. Hi, Sans. Colon and bracket and bracket and bracket. Hi. Huh? Sans? You know this girl? Yes, I never thought I'd see her face again. She, she killed. Oh, Sans, you brother's skull was so cute when it crumpled into dust between my hands, colon, D, D, D. So cute, colon, bracket, end. Huh? What? Papyrus is... Let's get this over with. Ha, 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 X, D. She kind of looks like she's done in the Friday Night Funkin' style. You feeling nervous, Sans? Semicolon D. What? Are you fucking crying now? Pehehe. <laughs> XD. This is like talking to Jenna. It really is. Okay, let's hit her with the Fortnite. Holy fuck. Alright. She's been successfully inflicted with the Eat Sleep Fortnite status effect. We're in capital. Oh, shit, no! Alright, maybe I should start taking this bitch a little more seriously. Mm. Let's eat an egg. I don't know what it does. But it's gotta be something good. 
Let's do meat shield. Strong needle strike that leaves you stuck on your enemy for a bit, so we can play Dragon Dragon Dogma with the Hatsune Miku Minge. Cool. It's buff sands. Holy shit. Okay, we're 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 dominating her. It's completely fucking over. There's no way this can go tits up. We did it, everybody. What? 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 O underscore O. O Sans, you're so mean. Three. Oh. <laughs> to beat me up like this. Just keel over and die already. Oh, like I do that. Nyehehehehehehe. <laughs> Come on, Sans. She's not worth our time. Can we at least get some sort of prize? Prize? Um, he he he, um, colon three. Okay, XD. Miku hands over an apple core. Popey, popeepo, popeepo XD. Gee, thanks. But now that is what I call epic, volume nine. I think if anything is going to result in me going to hell, it's playing this game. So the apple core isn't even like a cool accessory? What, what the fuck is it then? I don't see an apple core. Maybe I'm blind. No, here it is. Given unto you by none other than Hatsune Maiku, clearly useless. Just like me, no, that that can't be true. Surely you're better than an apple core. Oh, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. How? Okay. Where the fuck am I going? I'm worried that if I, if I go, I gotta try it. Like, oh, God damn it. see, I knew that would happen. It's not exactly uh, easy to tell which direction you're going to be sent to. Okay. Right, no, the direction's easy, sorry, I misspoke. Um, some of them shoot you super far, some of them it's just kinda like, uh, so you just have to feel it out, I guess. Alright. I'm being stupid at this point. I have to, um... How the fuck do I get over there, then? Okay. Let me go back over here. Is this, like, a thing where I have to... No. Hmm. Alright, sorry. I know this is probably painful to watch having some brain sludge at the moment. Alright, so presumably I have to get to it from the bottom. I can't see any other way of it going because you're going to have to go on that fucked up DDR mat thing. So I have to get to the orange one there. But the green one doesn't send me over there. It sends me to the, the one closer... I think I've gotten to that little one. There's a chance that's gonna, like, send me all the way to fucking Montgomery. But I don't... I don't know how to get to it. I don't know if I can get to it. Oh, 
I'm kind of... Really puzzled their penis off with this one? Something like that. Do I have to, like... Wait a fucking minute. No. Okay. I think I might be, like... Disabled. Just gotta try all of this shit, I guess. This has to be something, but... Okay, I think I need to try the ones that are obvious wrong answers just on the off chance they shoot me over to Timbuktu. But I can't get to that one. Tolo's brain disabled? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I know this is probably not fun to watch. I just don't get it yet. Let me go over here. Let me, let me see... This is my goal, is to get to this one down here. I'm just not sure, because the green one with the uh, left down right, it just sends me over. What if one of those blue ones, where would that lead me? Fuck off. Is that it? Okay, I don't feel so stupid now. That was not obvious. <laughs> that was... You just... That's what I mean. Like, you see the direction, but you don't know how far they're gonna launch you. So there's a certain, like... You gotta just send it. You gotta just step on all of them. Uh, it should be... Easier from this point, I hope. God damn it. Okay. You found an odd key. Oh shit, we get to jump on her. Alright, alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. That took a little bit. But we got it. Easy peasy. Always easy. Always squeezy. I don't know what the odd key is for. I guess I should look at it and examine it. Because there's a few mysteries I haven't discovered, like what these frog slabs are for. Strange looking key with a weird face design inscribed on it. See, I don't... Nothing is coming to mind for what that could be used for. Monk key? I mean, maybe you could equip the monkey with it and he eats it and turns into, like, Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh!, that would be kind of bizarre, but... No, I don't think we can equip it. Had a smiley face? What the fuck is there to smile about? Try and level monkey? Do you think I should level this little asshole up? Maybe, maybe there is, like, a secret ability he gets when he's maxed out. Maybe there's a secret. Why, why include him, if not? There's no way they would just make a, a character that's just a joke and didn't have some sort of epic secret uh, lore or mystery tied to it. But yeah, he's the worst party member ever. He immediately fucking blows himself up every fight for 36 trillion damage. But his heart's in the right place, I think. We can't judge people by their worst moments. Unless it's like... Cutting your penis off and throwing it at an elderly woman who's jaywalking. 
Want a speed run tip? I'm here for you ever since I was a kid. I've always been afraid of the Hawaiian punch guy. Hello, Sin and Coconuts. Now you know my secret weakness. Use it to your advantage. Oh my god, okay. It's almost time. Songs from Mario Kart. There's a lot of, like, remix songs in this game. I don't recognize that one myself, but I know for a fact there's, like, Super Mario RPG and, like, Kingdom Hearts. Uh. This is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. With that, I'm gonna go piss and get a Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you with this ugly fucking baby for a few minutes. Y'all enjoy. Brothers, I'm back. <sighs> Infinite Poke Maelstrom, I think that this game is the final straw for me believing that the universe is a simulation and none of this is real. Think about it. Why a metal gnome that speaks by going... <laughs> Why the curse of raw men? <laughs> like, oh, it's just why the the woman who who is starts out is like a Gundam model and builds herself. Like it's all too convenient, don't you think? Just let me rust in peace. Greetings, my son. I am Father Parmigiani. I am a resident expert of gods 1 through 5, and also big blood. God 1 is the heart, the god of hardiness and romance. Hardiness not in the traditional sense, neither romance, for that matter, is entire- No, 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 it's more like your personality. I'm not the one who came up with Curse of Ra, right? Like, I did the gnome thing, but that's the only thing that I have in common with it. It's a chat meme. I see this one guy in my neighborhood every time I wear a certain outfit and never see him otherwise, and that's what can- Yeah, it's weird shit like that. I'm not an expert on romantic semantics, but I dabble in hardiness philosophy. Look alive, keep on keeping on, your journey has just begun. O okay, I, I don't really want to talk to this religious freak. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Toby Spirit. Sif died for our sins, Misa. Is believing in the five robot gods punk rock, or is it kind of cringe? If it's not cringe, I'm getting a god number four tramp stamp. I think it would compliment my cute little muffin top. Dear God, I wish I had a hot anime babe in my bed right now. This is how church works, right? I love this place. It's full of odd stories and other such business. Fascinating. Gotta make sure the chapel's nice and clean. I wouldn't clean. I wouldn't want robot gods one through five to get angry at me and pee in my morning miso soup out of spite. God 2 is the god of perseverance and illusion, but also companionship. Mutual respect and support. Like the Sukomi and Boki in a Manzai duo, everything works through synergy and cooperation. What the fuck is this guy talking about? The god of atoms and particles and other stupid fucking tiny shit. So he's the god of the 5 foot 10. <clears throat> Nuclear and unstable, magnetic and eclectic, such is the state of our weird and wonderful existence. Live a little. Go for a hike, write a book, paint a portrait. Who's stopping you, boss? The world is your oyster. Squeeze a little lemon on it and don't mind the texture. I wish that, like, the world was more of a, of a goo dot. God number four is the god of admiration and respect. In the opposite sense, though, they respect and admire us. Funny how that works. Also, metal and twiceness. Twiceness? Nice. What is this asshole talking about? God number five is the god of creativity, inventiveness, and great originality. Yes, great originality indeed, don't you think? Okay, now let's ask him about the blood. Oh, yes, definitely. Very, very big blood. Ha, ha, ha. Actually, several bloods making a single big blood. Get what I mean? Yeah, nah, nah, no way. Think about it like this. When you pour cereal in a bowl, you're pouring plenty of little flakes. But your bowl, it's not cereals. It's cereal. That's the blood. Then you add the milk, and that's the metal. Wait. You pour the milk before cereal? Blasphemous, god number two wet. Anyways, as I was saying, blood metal robots. All unrelated, unless... Okay, let's do ourselves a favor. And never talk to that asshole again. Hoi, I'm Chef Mulatamba. Welcome to the Tem Soup Kitchen. I'm Chef Mulatabo, wanna make some soup together? Cost $29. I think we've been here before, right? This seems familiar. No, I'm a god at this. Yes, I've definitely done this. I've definitely done this. Put that apple core in there. I need to get I need to get a max. A max suit. Fuck you. Holy fuck. What the heck? Sorry for saying that, but this is some real good soup. It's like really goody. Pa pa pazuzu. Okay. Between me and Cool 109 Love, which one is the funny man and who is the straight man? I mean, the straight man's clearly Cool 109 Love. Uh. Young Traveler, do you seek sage training? Not you idiot, I'm talking to the dummy. Uh. Alright, Joel is going to become the Hoka Gay. 
Let us begin No Holds Barred. A good sage must learn to fight even in the worst situations. What the fuck? Fuck you, bitch. I'm just gonna simply own him. Oh. Monkey fucking... Fuck you, monkey! Alright, that's it. Joker Capsule. God damn it. No, 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 Joel Jutsu, you incompetent sack of schlonk, you were the shittiest sage ever. Oh. No, we're gonna kick, we're gonna beat his ass. We're gonna fuck him up. Oh. Winning! <laughs> Winning, dude! Yeah! Alright, alright, so maybe... I've decided we're giving Jenna the whip eel back. Okay, I was just trolling for content the first two times. This time I'm gonna whoop that ass. Fuck you! Okay, let's think about this. I think I'm fucked. Oh, oh, oh. I think we're, we're, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh. There's literally no way this can go tits up now. I've won. Gotta make sure Sans is a cat boy. Chills. Any cat boys in chat? No, this is a cat boy free zone, actually. We don't have any of those here. We did it. We got his cypress stick. Okay, 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 you proved yourself worthy, it's fine, stop hating me. Joel, just, you have proved yourself. I grant unto thee this boon. Joel, just, attained the power of res. That's super good. No need to thank me, but like, how's about a tip? Huh? Yeah, a tip. A tip would be nice, $200. He's mad that I tipped him $200. Fuck off. I thought I was gonna get, like... I don't know. Oh, no. We can get the WAP skill? What the fuck? What the hell is that? 
Revive a friend with a little bit of HP super fast and they can't re-die immediately. Uh. White ass papyrus? God damn it, Misa. Why would you say that? Okay. We have been chasing this fucker for like the entire time we've been playing this game. Is this going to be the showdown? Pretty, isn't it? It was a gift from Madam Marissa. A small celebration to commemorate my brand new body. Have you figured it out yet? What's going on in this place? A brand new world, a brand new reimagination, a glimpse into a small girl's mind. We're all just playing along for her sake. Is the lock in the church? Yeah, he said to let him rust in peace. Hmm? Oh, hi, Marissa. What's up? Hi, Marissa. Kyoko, Nazrin, let's play Undertale. Undertale? What's that? It's like this game where you pretend to fight monsters and pretend to dodge spell cards. And there's some awesome funny skeletons in it. That sounds kind of boring. No, no. Trust me. It's fun. I played it on a happy box, but I think we can make it work in real life. You could be Toriel. I'll be the king of the monsters. I don't get it. Come on, do it for me. We can make our own Undertale. Everyone can be in it. All of our friends, please. Fine. You can bring your homers. You should have said so from the start. I'm in. But if this is another one of your shady schemes, I'm leaving. Thank you. I promise you won't regret it. We'll have so much fun. Are you coming too, Nazrin? No thanks. I've got chores to do. Show can be a bitch if I don't do them timely. Not like she's going to be a problem anymore. You can still join us later if you want. Come on, Kyoko. Let's go. Wait. So you're not a goat? Never have been. No. Kyoko. It's really you, huh? Nice to see you here, Nazarin. I see you did join our little game after all. Well, friends, Kyle, Sans, all of you. We're almost at the end of the archives. The Undertale 2 Ruins. It's just a step through this lovely painting. That's what you've wanted all this time, right? To beat me up? That was the plan all along, Kyle. In Madame Marissa's script, her grand vision, her magnum opus. I thank you, Leonides, for gifting us up the tropical flower. Appreciate it. So do I just jump in the painting or something? That sounds dumb, yet familiar. Check it out and see you there. Let's go, then. Yet another huge block of ice is waiting for you to do something very, very important. Oh my fucking god. Big robot woman in the archives, protuberant pundit pothole. Hi, Kyle. Welcome to my home. Make yourself comfy. Marissa made sure to make this place as close as possible to the original. You see what I'm saying? Like Mario now, too. What have we been playing recently? Take a look around as just as you remember it. Your bed is all made, there's a pie in the kitchen, and the classic Undertale mirror is still- My bad, my bad. I must have hit the mute button accidentally. I'm good, I'm good. This thing's called Brain Rot. I forget where I left off, but I haven't said anything important, so... It's all good. Uh. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Do you ever... Sorry, that was mean. Yeah, there's no need to be a cunt. Fuck off. People like you are why I have to preempt like every other saying by like, I know I don't have to say anything important because I know losers like you are waiting for anything possible to put me down. You can suck my dick. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. 
But it is true. I don't say a lot of important things. I think for me personally, Cinnamon would be my choice here. Toriel produces a clump of cinnamon butterscotch paste from some kind of orifice. Didn't mean for you to take it seriously. Yeah, no one ever does. Just that you get to insult people and say, no, no, I'm just joking. Oh, wow. When you've been streaming for like eight years, you start to pick up really quickly that the people who say these things is just epic heckin' jokes or not usually epic heckin' joking. <laughs> but maybe that's a me problem. All right. Sorry, you're good. It's not a big deal. Oh no. I'm in the fucking text box, dude. Fuck off and he's trying to molest me. Thank you, PKO Net, for the two-month resub. I appreciate it. Uh, Getting kind of sleepy, I should take a nap. There once was a Lancer from Rune who never had the patience to sit through Doom. He got good at fighting, casting spells, and blighting. When he'll be done with you, you'll be as wrinkly as a prune. Alright. Talking about the cinnamon challenge? Yes. But it wasn't me who brought it up. It's like Autumn talking about it. I need to go chills. I need to go chills. Catboy. I didn't get to see Catboy Sands, and now I'm sad. That is not a sentence I ever thought I would say, and I feel like I've lost part of what makes me a human being for uttering it. Okay, let's go to Mammy's. The Comfier Beto Weehy. What the fuck is this? Taken aback, taken aghast, what is the world coming to? Marissa's generosity knows no bounds, generosity knows no bounds, bounds, eyes peeled. I'll become the queen of the monsters. 38-second frog. I feel like I need to screenshot those times. Spec the shit. You didn't even get to see, like, the two-hour-long fishing minigame. Where you get to catch fish, such as Cum Buddy and the Sands Fish. Oh. What the fuck? It is, it is a Homer mimic. I'm not gonna give this thing any of my words. We are just gonna go fucking nuclear on this asshole. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Anryu VT. Please kill it. I'm trying, bro. Oh, I fucked up. Why are we null to biting? I'm kind of feeling like stare dad right now. Thank you, Homer Mimic. Okay, so real quick. Kind of want to look at some of these. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Waka. Okay, what about... Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Undertale 2, Die Hard, Need I Say More. You ready to go through 50 of these? Holy shit! Come on, dude! Good god!
now I kind of feel like I have to go through all of these. Congrats, you're so fucking cool. This one pisses me off. I don't own Cool 109 Love. Like, he's a part of my chat, yes. But he's not one of my possessions. Oh, no. Ah, uh, I remember the mirror from Undertale 1 is the same as I've left it. I want to see Prison Master. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. Uh, well, that's kind of cute. Holy shit. That kind of looks like a shipwreck thing almost to me for some reason. Oh, hi Kyle. Fancy meeting you here. Doesn't this tall ass flower kind of look like me? I wonder why... What was going through Marissa's head when she made this place? Shit! Leave me alone. What the fuck is this thing, dude? I think it's about to whoop my ass. This thing is giving me a sinister sort of energy. I think this is going to be a difficult battle. What the fuck? Am I watching a Five Nights at Freddy's playthrough now? What the hell was that? Okay. Maybe we have to parlay with him. Will you stay fucking still? No, leave me alone. Got him. Just hit him with the anglerfish, baby. You know what? Whatever. I'm tired of you. Just let me dart around in peace. This is what you wanted, right? We got a tutorial key. love playing with my Mario games. I mean, he's not even an Atario or anything. Man, it's like being like the big brown or something, but you don't even have to have a big Rames or anything. A big Thames, on the other hand, boy, howdy, do I have something to tell you. Beep, boop, oh man, I got an A-plus on the test. Mm, what? Oh god, what a big ma What the fuck is he talking about? She seems like an awful person. Is that true, Toho Heads? No! How fucked is this, man? Also likely a lesbian. All right. So, what am I doing there? Yawn? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I'm about to be apprehended by some weird fucker. He, 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 he. Hi, Kyle. What the fuck? You know what? Sometimes I feel like this is how people see me. Like, in reality, I'm, like, the bottom left. Like, that's my face when playing RuneScape, but some people have to have, like, seem to have the perception that I'm more like the, the one on the other side. Evilly grinning as I torment the Tolomites. <laughs> like, plotting against every one of them. Cavort. Okay, so let's talk to him.
That was you watching viewers in the Minecraft. I can't deny that. Yeah, you're right. In the dungeon that I made to torment them, that was absolutely true. You, yeah. Owned by JFC, I guess. Ooh. Hi, Kyle. Remember the Ice Wolf from Undertale 1? It was there an Ice Wolf in Undertale 1, guys. I need a lifeline. I don't remember. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. Yes, no. I know there were like white Samoya dogs, but was one specifically the buff one? Throw Okay, yes. Damn, se okay, so we know a lot about the sort of person who answered yes to that question now with this response. Damn, sexy, hot, bear of goodness. No, don't you agree? I mean, he's a big guy. For me, I hope. Kehe, <laughs> just joshing you. I like to joke around a bit. Yeah, I am a little distressed and unnerved with that attack. He's right. Okay, we need to Fortnite him. For real, for real. Wait, I'm grounded? Fuck you! You're not my mom. I just killed him. Who is me? I just killed myself by Fortnite Dancing Sands for 69 damage. This is the only fucking game where something like that can happen. Do yo 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 yo. I'm just joshing you. I don't actually sound that cartoony. At least not usually. Here you go, buddy. Swell being with you, okay? I need to get my health back. I need to save, brothers. So can I go sleep in the big bed? Can I find some weird shit in, in mommy's bed? I really like this rug. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't comment about it too much, but this is a. I would have this in my house. <laughs> Get out, Bart! I'm pissed. I forgot about that. Oh my fucking god. The succulent, truly the most coo deer of all plants. What's that? It's some shitty 4chan Simpsons comic where she says, Get out, Bart, I'm piss. Three keycaps. Okay, so we need three keycaps for a numpad. There are also three of these. Wait. Do I have to, like... Go to the YouTube video for... No! It, it has to do so with this for sure. Like, it's got the exclamation point question mark. Yes? No. Okay. Do I have to, like... Those are time codes. Let me close the chat for a bit. I think this is going to be a spot where people are going to get antsy with me taking too long to solve shit. Uh, I want people to be able to talk in chat, so I want to state that I'm not mad or anything, but I also want to at least give it an attempt. If I can't figure it out myself, I'll just probably stop playing. Uh, I'm generally of the opinion with these sorts of games that if you can't figure it out on your own, then you don't really deserve to continue. So I'm going to at least give it a, a shot. Okay. I should... I should work on the keypads and the uh, red coins for now. Although the keypads might be related to that note, but the red coins seem like something I can do right now. Alright. No, no, fuck off. Go away. I like that little art over there. Sniff, sniff. Is that butterscotch cinnamon cake? No one will notice if I serve myself a slice, right? 
here he is, the Mighty Lancer makes his grand appearance on guard Lemonhead. Okay. Let's do this. Irritating letter, let's see. My dear Kyle, or should I call you Tomato Boy, that's all I have to say, lest we never meet again. Yours truly, with love, hate, kisses, bites, Lancer. P.S. Fuck you. Tomato Boy is a fucked up insult, for sure. I would not be happy if someone called me that in real life. Cake. Tasty. Why the fuck does he have no arms? Okay. Let's go ahead and mouse and pocket everybody. I don't know why they have to make those animations so fucked up. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go Catboy mode with Sans. There's so many different things I need to be doing to be, uh, efficient. Shields. Hold on. I need to put this shit back on. Wait, 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 wait. My main character who I buffed to shit is just like unable to attack forever. Ah, uh, okay, that was fun. That should be that. Have a nice day, my friend. Please be on your way now. Is this Mr. Breaking Bad? Never thought I'd see your ugly mug anytime soon. I miss you, Uncle. Soy Golem pointing. Is that Breaking Bad? I want to get in here, but I'm not sure there's anything to it. Okay. I want to get over there. Oh. These things just decide to lunge at you. It's fucked up. Alrighty. Please leave me alone. Can I, can I get something here? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I have the three keys, so let's see. There it is, one of my funny little keys. So you met one of your brothers, huh? They're not blood brothers, obviously, but they're more similar to you than you can imagine. Oh, I have to... Oh, you popped in another key. Well, there's one left. What am I working towards here? You'll see, I guess. Uh, I don't like the noise it makes when I put it in. That's it. All three keys. Congrats. Go check the fireplace. And don't forget to kiss your brothers goodbye. What the fuck is that? I don't... Uh, Come here, let me kiss you goodbye. You're going up on the roof? Let me know if there's running space up there. Pick up a numpad key. Love playing with my Mario games. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see, does it say anything for the numpad key? Seemingly innocuous key cap, what could it be? I have eight red coins, but apparently... Wait, I'm blind. I'm not even paying attention to this guy. Uh, thank you, Satu, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, dude. Just about four years and still haven't been scared off. <laughs> That's impressive. 
Hello there. The name's Hintus Bintus, here to bint you with a puzzle Hintus. That keypad, huh? Did you gather the three numpad bits? There's three of them. Maybe your funny siblings know where you might find that. Okay. No, no. Hi, Kyle. Tutorial's on the roof waiting for you. Better go chase after her. You fucker. And he called me a lemon head. A lemon head. Maybe he's projecting. His head does kind of look like a lemon. It's just projection and gaslighting, right, guys? Right? We gotta avoid these fucking things. I see the fireplace, but I want to do the keycaps. Hey, buddy. Tutorial's on the roof now, I guess. Oh, okay. I want to do the keypad. That seems like the intended direction. And I just noticed the rug on here gave her tits. Or maybe those are supposed to be arms, but they kind of look like really weird lopsided tits. No, no, fuck off. Okay. All fixed up. Enter combination. Oh, God. Ah. Okay. There's no way it's just, like, adding them up, right? That would be kind of stupid. Uh, thank you, Lids, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't think that's it. Guess I could have gotten it wrong. I'm not exactly uh, good at basic elementary edition. Like I said, maybe we will see... Maybe we will get something about it up here. I don't recall any sort of... Oh, God. Okay. Salutations and plucky shells, the Ion of Bale. But Belphegor does not smile upon you. Even worse, actually, you're flat out being ignored. You could stand to learn something from them. I have nothing left to tell you. Hey, bud. Room hours spread fast. You've been doing some impressive stuff. One more thing left to do, kid. Godspeed. Okay, let me, let me turn the chat back on. Trade 69 or 420, I have not. Little yellow hero, I see some crazy stuff up ahead. Want some of these? Wish you guys the best. Set the inhabitants of the archives free. Kyle, my number one rival. It's been fun chasing you around through the archives. I'm far from done. I'll never stop, clearly. We're arch enemies. But just for once, I want to wish you good luck. Who will I bother if you die? Go beat the final boss, dumbass. The view from up here is amazing. You can almost see outside the archives. Hoi hoi, I'm Chef Mulatambo. Rem remember me? I have a bad feeling -y up ahead. You beat her, take these. He spills one all over the floor in the process. It's the thought that counts. I'm Chef Mulatambo. What was your name again? Papyrus? Yeah, I'm the barista from the Slungy Skungle. Remember me? Ha ha ha. Aha. Four Monster Zero Ultra White Energy Drinks? Holy shit. Bit afraid of heights. This is it. We're at the end. It's just you and I, Kyle, and the dummy and the skeleton, etc. What a conveniently dramatic battle zone. It's what Marissa wanted. All right, it's time. Let's get this over with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is like when you're you spend all week fixing other people's problems, and someone comes out of nowhere to dump more shit on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
let's attack. Although maybe I should just joke. Just yokes. I feel like I shouldn't be able to frisk her. It's been a pleasure, Kyoko. Likewise. So she's just puffing, huh? I don't think this is real. I don't think this is the actual fight. There's no way, right? It just can't be. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. All right. Cool stuff. Who's banned now? I don't think anyone's banned. I didn't ban anybody. Who got banned? Let's come to this, huh? All right, time for you to witness my special form. Feast your eyes on Madame Tutorial's ultimate form. What do you think of the ace in my sleeve? Isn't Marissa wonderful? She certainly knows her way around steel and servos. Oh yes, Jesus indeed. Think you can get behind my multitude of barriers? You're a human, right? Then you should know what the meaning of security tape is. No entry allowed. Throw an empty can. Fuck it, dude. Wait! Hey, safety tapio, don't you think this behavior is kind of, you know, NSFW? Nah, mate. God damn it. The can actually has what I think is. Wait. Got my tape. Well, no skin off my back. I'm still wrapped in steel chains. Hi, Kyle. Remember me? Lock the lock. Yeah, hi. Let's see you get out of this one. As far as I'm concerned, you're stuck between a lock and a hard place. I'm just gonna mash. I'm not even gonna use any element of strategy. I'm just gonna mash enter. Well, I'm out of here. My chains, my lock, we're finally face to face. Not exactly. I'm still behind this mask, aren't I? Hey there, friend. Savio can sneak in a little recovery for you. Fuck yeah. Okay. Now this is where we're gonna... Fuck talking. I don't want to talk to this bitch. Wait, she snapped her fingers at me and now, now the gays are crying and shivering? Is this the power of an elder queer? I've never seen it in action before. Shit. Okay. Um. Throw a fucking empty can. This ends now, don't get cocky. She's immune to cans. I guess that makes sense. She is quite heavily armored. Ugh. You can see her face now, she looks fucked. 
Aw, oh, shite. You've done? You've gone and cracked through my doggone mask. Good thing I still have half of it left. Come on, give it up. You're falling apart. No way, I'm still raring to go, and I've even got more tricks up my rotoscope sleeves. This is... It's gonna be like you had to break the mask, and then the left hand, and then the right hand, and then the left horn, and then the right horn, and then the ear, and then the left hit. Break her nose? I'm working on it, man. I'm just gonna go all in DPS. What's up, Ghost? How are you, dude? Wow, this boss is easy. What a pussy. The last form is gonna be completely fucked. Ah, my mask. Whatever, who cares? I feel great. This is just like when a Gundam purges its arm hour and fave hour of speed. This rules. I'm all revved up. This is it. The final phase, put him up, bitch. Undimensioned? It's not even the first time, dude. Look at that face. Fantastic. Oh, God. Fucking damn it. Damn it. Damn it. He he he. Lamal, you obtained Kyoko's blood. <laughs> Holy shit! Come on, kid, what's done is done, let's go. She's dead, huh? Is it actually the end for her? Kick her off! <laughs> Kick her off, dude! Hey there, friend of Savio, you were very brave back there. Savio saw everything. Savio would love it if you saved to another Savio file just in case. You wouldn't want to miss out on anything, right? Okay. I was going to do that anyway, but the consideration is appreciated. Croak, croak, is this the end with tutorial? No longer among the living, what will happen to the archives? The homers will get all dusty, I guess, and the Bart moles won't get bullied anymore. Bart mole. We did it, everybody. We win. We win. Oh. That was pretty brutal what you did back there, Kyle. How you stabbed her and stuff. Don't worry, though. She was just a robot. She doesn't have a soul. Or didn't, I guess. Say, what's that vial of blood you've got there? Is it hers? It's pretty fucked up. But finders keepers, I guess. You better hold on to that. That seems mighty important. Back to the killing thing. What a total 180. Here I was thinking you were gonna go ahead and spare every enemy you'd encounter like you used to do so many years ago in the underground. But check out those experience points. You've killed so many enemies. What level are you, like 10? Ah, you're level 7. Still... Marissa, am I right? Who'd have thought? This whole robots thing is getting serious, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm with you. 
I'll just stay here and shuffle my little legs in place because I'm a funny little Undertale 2 sprite. Wa la 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 la, shuffle shuffle. Bye bye, go out there since that's what you did in Undertale 1. What's gonna be out there, Snowden? Fuck you, sucker. Quit staring at my hips! I wonder... Is there anything that... I mean, there's surely some shit that changed, right? Ugh. Ugh. Wait. What's up, Rafa? I want to know what that smiley key is for. Maybe there was a, a door way back here that I forgot about, but it's been so many years. The numpad door? I'm not sure what to do with that right now. There's a lot of things that I'm confused on. Like, where is the morsel? What do I use the smiley key for? So I'm just gonna go back and look and see. Uh. Clearly stolen this humid homer. There's nothing for the decor of this place. Negative feng shui. If you could get your dick surrounded by fla- Surrounded. Sucked by flowers, which you have tried it at some point. Um. No. What if there's like a bug in there when you're getting sucked off by the flower and it's like they spit up a tonsil stone in your urethra, but it's not a tonsil stone, it's an insect. That doesn't sound very cool to me. I don't even remember this shit. It's Undertale 2? It is. We need to find this fucking door. Mm -hmm. This truly was the Undertale 2. Right! I forgot that Marge was there. Holy shit. Loki, what do you mean? Loki? Where, where the... Hold up. Not the sons of Loki? I don't remember who Loki is. Truck freak. She had big solid wheels and a cargo bed. Cargo bay. What do you call the big behind part of a truck? You fish them? Yes. I don't know who Loki is. That's the part that I'm not remembering here. Whoa. Room before with the pond? Hold on. Oh god, yeah, this- okay. Is that one of my children? It's amazing, where'd you find it? My kids are constantly getting lost, thank you. Oh. $75.10 coins. Fuck yeah. Wait! Go away! Is he shitting out money? Maybe. Okay. Is it even possible to bet? No, this is something a lot of people have played. I just think a lot of my viewers are not familiar with it. Well, not- there are clearly some. There's a category on Twitch that has like 3,000 people following specifically this category. Um, I've decided I probably just won't do whatever the numpad is. Uh, I think what they said spoiled it for me. I think the... thing- like the solution must be in a YouTube video, but like if- I don't really wanna... I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way, like having things solved for me. Okay. 
Like, I, I guess I'll suck it up and do it because people want to see, but it's so fucking annoying that people do that. Okay, uh -huh. let's save here. I need to make sure to just save in that slot from now on. Does this... I'm gonna pee in your house! Okay, what if we go all the way back to the beginning? It's beckoning for you to insert an empty gun. Yes. Okay, but what? Hey, nice going, dude. You're gonna outpace my best runs if you keep it up. But what? Fuck you. I'm not sure what that accomplished. Are there more guns? It won't talk to me and it stops spinning, so maybe, but it looks like I, I did what it wanted me to do. Okay, so let's go back. I guess we can go do the flowey thing and see. And then we can go back and look at this extra shit. From my experience, backseating Misakoko and Ocarina of Time, it feels good to help. Now, why they get offended when told to cut it off, I don't know. No, like, I get it. I just don't like the attitude like, where I'm like, Hey, don't tell me that. I don't want to know. And they're, like, insistent that I have to listen to them. It's like, no, dog. <laughs> You're being a dick. That did rub me the wrong way, but it's not the end of the world. Shit. But that is okay. Maybe they just don't understand, like, the social thing. What about if we go over here? Probably avoid stepping on the spikes. Seen the actual bunny yet? <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Ooh. I mean, we should be able to just completely demolish these fuckers at this point, right? I'll go back and try talking to the tree at some point. Thoughts on Elden Ring DLC? Uh, I don't really have thoughts on it. I haven't watched the trailer or anything. Okay. Goodbye, tired sloth. Uh, uh. Just making sure I'm all healed up. Thoughts on garlic bread? It's pretty good. Thoughts on angel hair pasta? I don't know if I've had that. I'm not a huge pasta eater. A wah wah, a wah wah wah, ah, uh, little child, have you any idea what you've gotten yourself into? What precious territory you've trodden. You insolent fuck, I've had it with you. Kneel. Okay, so this must be like the frog tablets are talking about this bitch. Because it was talking about like some lady frog being like an evil fucked up tyrant. We don't like tyranny here, so we're going to make sure that we fuck her up. Don't at me, Sokoko. No, not you, tyranny. No, I know you as bitch, which sounds worse. Like, I know your name in the Discord is bitch. 
So like I, I see you more in the Discord. That's not a, a slide either. Just I don't know. Madam's Chalice. Good fucking lord. I yield. I yield. Pesky Brad. I like your style. Here you're looking for this, right? An odd key. What the fuck? Another one? Now I have two. Oh my god. Okay, what does the chalice do? I guess there must be three. Uh. Combine them to make the really odd key. Combine them to make the even key. Okay, well... See, this is one of the, the problems with having played this in so many, like, really did, like... There's been weeks or months in between, like, instances of me playing this. So I probably have seen what I need those fucking keys for, but I just don't remember. Fuck off. These guys are such assholes. They won't just let me explore. I just want to be like Dora. First time you played this was back in July. Yeah, it's been a minute been a little bit. I remember because I think Autumn's brother was here and watched that stream and thought this game was like the best shit ever. And I felt really bad because he's like 14, 15? And I, I feel like 14, 15 year olds should never be here. Especially someone related to my wife. I found 999... No, wait, 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 no, no. $9,999,000. Okay. Did I just get trolled? I think I just got trolled. Shit. This game has no intention of ending. But what is the face back there? What if you just have to wait like 30 minutes and he wakes up and moves? That seems like something they would do. This game makes me feel like King Cobra with his GF. Well, what does that mean? Overwhelmed? How could you be overwhelmed? You're the one who usually overwhelms people, right? Like, you were the one who knocks. There's no way they would do this, right? <laughs> There's no way, right? See, we have a lot of dollars now. Alrighty. I just got owned. E fucked. Live Jasmine. Did it, do I even have the second odd key? No, it's been a while since I saved. I really didn't expect there to be like a... Uh, another... Uh, like a reason to save. I thought it was going to be like a haha fuck you idiot. Lamau owned eat shit. I don't even know what I'm saying. I wasn't expecting that. It's what I'm saying. Sorry. I'm like really out of it right now. I think the heat is getting to my head. I might be having a heat stroke. It's so fucking hot in my room. I smell myself. I think King Cobra's penis would like a squid's beak. I don't really want to think about someone else's penis, bro. I'm sorry. I only have eyes for my own wiener. Shit. Get the fuck away, pea trooper. Oh my god, and then we have this little freak too? Why are you guys just running into the meat grinder? 
That's selfish? How? How is it selfish to not care about another dude's day? Like, maybe if you said I didn't care about vaginas, you could say that's, that's shellfish. But, like... I don't know. Don't worry, I don't bark. XD? Yeah, I'm here all night, man. Fucking comedy master. That's fucked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. I'm just a big old fuckhead. You gotta worry about the homie schlong- I'm not. You do have the energy who knows how to take care- What the fuck are you talking about, JFC? What- Ener Energy of someone who knows how to take care of a vagina. If you say so, yes. I'm like, oh shit, you're a basic bitch. That means you, uh, you need, you, you, you need more acidity in your vagina's diet. Duh. Like, what are you doing, sis? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't fucking cough in a Vandy and Lele me. Hate cares and sex? But that's like the unsexiest thing in the world. Hey there, baby. You ready for me to take some good care of your pussy? It's gonna meow for me, right? Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Gross. I wanna cry? Yeah, me too, dude. Like, I'm not enjoying this shit either. I don't even remember how to get back to where I was. Vagina trick number seven, yeah. I'm not supposed to- no, no, you're- you're- Thank you, JFC, for the compliment. The vibes are atrocious. Shit. Okay. Alright, get it together, Tolomino's. You got pizza to deliver, right? Probably, like, I don't know, right fucking here. Right fucking here. What are the vibes in the first place? I don't know. Probably sinister. I don't really operate off of vibes. I will fail the vibe check. Have I been here? What the fuck is this place? Ui uhihi ahun. Hey there, I'm talking to you. Fancy getting me out of here. It's awfully humid in the cell. I want to stretch my legs, pound some puss. You know what I mean? I'm horny as fuck. If you find any odd looking keys out there, oh, thank God. Give me that shit. Hehehe <laughs> ahun. That's what I call a key, but I need two more. Uh oh. I was right. I do need another one. I guess that means I'm I'm pretty much certainly going to have to figure out what's going on with that keypad. Or maybe it's the morsel. Man, this music's so good. It makes me want to play Super Mario RPG. Beat Undertale. I have beat Undertale. I tried playing Deltarune, and I really did not like it. Um, I don't know. Like, I think for me, the reason was, in Undertale, you mostly just had a party of one. In Undertale, or Deltarune, if you met an annoying character, chances are they were going to be annoying you in your party for the rest of the game. Like, that stupid purple crocodile. I don't know. Wasn't for me. You just a croc racist? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Just like, I got the impression that everything she was going to say was just going to be a croc of shit. And I don't like that. Like, I don't want that on my team. Hey, bitch. Wanna go for a spin in the Naughty Child Wiggler? 
Wait, is this the Wiggler room? Is this where I find the Golden Bingus? Uh. What an enriching experience. Uh. Racist against Croc for PS4? No, I've never played it, but I'd probably like it. I like Gex. Gex was fucking awesome. At least I remember it being awesome. I haven't played it in like 20 years. Uh. Where is the, the Bingus? Bad and naughty children go in the pear wiggler. When is I want to hug that gator part? I don't know if I want to play that. It seemed really slow. Like, really fucking slow. I have a lot of patience, I think, but I don't really... It's the combination of being slow and it primarily being me just reading text off to you. Instead of, like talking to you or, or accomplishing anything. This felt kind of whack. The vibes were off, sis. Uh. Picking up what I'm putting down. This is the dog, right? Yeah. I wish I could get those little Homer Simpsons. Too slow and solemn for a Tolo- Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's beat this uh, respectable woman's ass again. Queen, she is no queen. She's gonna be a surf when I'm done with her. Oh. And Logan Paul's hat? You know, sometimes I think I've seen some fucked up shit on the internet, and there are things that I know that I will never, ever, ever be able to get out no matter how hard I try. And I am thankful in this moment that one of those cursed knowledge bits is not like any sort of awareness of what kind of hat these jack-off YouTubers wear. Thank God. <laughs> what do you think Undertale for straight people is? Fear and Hunger? But I don't know, I feel like since Fear and Hunger got popular, uh, uh, maybe not. You do get to, like, fuck other dudes in the ass in that game. I don't know. And then I thought Lisa, but Lisa's also really fucking homoerotic, too, in a lot of points. Jimmy? Jimmy is about... Well... I don't really want to get into what Jimmy's about, but it's not really... I don't really feel like it is I, it, it, a game that has any sort of sexual tones that I can recall. Except for one OST where it was like an anime girl going like... Ooh, 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 in the background. Hello, Floor. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm sure I was around. I mean, the VODs are worth watching, I think. It was pretty good for the most part. In my opinion. It's just long. There was a lot. It was like fucking 40 hours of VODs. No, we're not doing this again. Undertale for straight people was Kanye Quest. Maybe. Uh, thank you, Linus Dog Tips, for the 37 month resub. I appreciate it. I never played Kanye Quest. Undertale for straight people. That's like the genuinely kind of a hard question to answer. Fuck. You know what? Off. Final answer Undertale for straight people is off. Is Undertale too real, or is this fan-made? It's fan-made. Off what? Hello, Samurai Arconex. Off is very much gay. I don't know, I think that people who are gay like it, but I don't remember any sort of, like, inherent gayness of the game. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm not recalling it properly... 
but... Because if, if we're just going based off of... There are a lot of gay people, LGBT, in my stream chat. Does that mean I'm gay? I, I would like to think the answer to that question is no. You are whatever you say you are, King. Chat is an unreliable source on this question. Try not to... No, that is the gayest one. You are what you eat. Straight Undertale is a Stanley parable. That is not, not even remotely the same thing. No, no. I have the perfect fucking answer. I X Ross Generations is the Straight Undertale. X Ross Generations. Final, final, final answer. Not an ounce of homosexuality in that game. And if you question that one, then Pokemon Island is number two. And Sean World is number three. Yeah, I played Hylix 1 and 2, like, a, a pretty long time ago at this point. Played Dujana. Um... Which is bisexual Undertale? Lisa. Lisa. Work Harder is definitively the bisexual anthem. Why are you uh gut turtling me? What's Pokemon for non pedophiles? Um I'm not sure I agree with the, the initial framing of this question. But probably SMT. But also maybe not, because then you have Persona and you get to date like little girls in Persona. So I'm not sure. You can also get groomed by older people, too. Pokemon games that actually challenge you? I, I played a Volt... Blaze Black, Volt White, or some shit like that. It was a ROM hack. It was really good. Liked it a lot. The ROM hacks people make for the Pokemon games are pretty good. I think I would like off. Maybe. It's turn-based like this. You probably would if you could get over, like, the combat system. I'm not sure how big you are into turn-based. Okay. It's fine when an older woman does it. I mean, it's not, but I think that they... It's not seen as, as, as awful. Um, I think that's pretty clear to see. Uh -huh. Nice, yeah, yeah. Like, when, when it's like, 16-year-old has sex with homeroom teacher or whatever, it's like, yeah, woo, living the dream, yippee! <laughs> it's weird. I feel like I'm starving. Persona? No, they are good, I agree with you. It's just, like, weird. Like, that aspect of it's just kind of weird. I don't think that anyone who plays Persona is like a pedo fork or whatever the fuck, but... So, no, I, I'm not disputing that glitch, Wizard. I agree that it is still statutory rape. I just think that there is absolutely truth in uh, it not being taken as seriously by a lot of people. I don't think there are going to be a lot of people in here who feel like they're all that different, but in the general uh, grand scheme of things... Shit. You gotta remember that this is like a microcosm. Statement wasn't necessarily aimed at you. I got gotcha. you. Why am I going this way? There's nothing over here. I like the idea of being able to hook up with their hot teachers, but in reality, it's pretty horrific. Yeah. Looking, 
No, I know, I know. I'm going- I need to get back to the painting. I'm not sure why I'm going this direction is all. I need to do the little key code thing. Good night, Salty. It's almost all straight boys will think about having sex with a woman. I mean, you can say the exact- like, you- I know you don't think that teenage girls don't have sex drives. Like, you've seen how they fucking, like, react to, like, BTS or whatever the fuck. They want to fuck older people, too. That doesn't mean it's right. Like, it's a natural urge for both men and women, but it's the responsibility of people older and more intellectually developed to not take advantage of minors. Okay. Uh. I wanted to get fucked so bad by my gym teacher and he was a dude, so I gotta give the heterosexuals a pass. Okay. Uh, Alright, dude. Like, when I had crushes on, like, 20-year-old women when I was, like, 11 years old. I, like, I wasn't thinking, yeah, I want to rail her from behind, grandpa style. But I still was, like, attracted to them, right? Does that mean it's okay? it would have been okay for them to be like, hello there, little Tolomeo? I can be your new mommy. Hold on, I gotta find something. Give me a second, I'm not looking in the chat right now. God. Hold on just a minute, I'm sorry. Okay. Let me go over here. Okay, so I found the trailer for this game, and if you go to the right, it's like King Girl was saying, cheating? No, no. Um, when we were here earlier, someone told me, like, I did cheat in the sense that I knew it was in a YouTube video, but King Girl fucking told me, despite me asking them not to. But if you go into the Undertale 2 trailer, and you go to those times in the note, like, little numbers flash on the screen. not working anymore. I didn't... Wait, hold up. Oh, God. You found a M-Tech brain link. A small note is attached to the device. Commune with the robots. Alive or dead. Explore, discover, learn. But most of all, don't forget. There's a tape inside. Long ago, two friends had fun in Gensokyo. Marissa and Kyoko. Come on, Kyoko, hurry up, we'll be late. Wait up, I'm coming. Wait, where are we going exactly, Marissa? He he he, you'll see. I started working on the game a while ago. What? How'd you do that with no arms? I got some friends to help me. Big, scary friends. Wow, Marissa, this is so exciting, you're the best. You're making me blush. Here we are, Kyoko. This is my special lab. You'll become Toriel and we can start playing Undertale. You haven't explained who this Toriel is. Who will I play as? You'll basically be a yokai girl. 
Uh, Marissa, I already am a yokai girl. Y yeah, but like a goat yokai, a real big one. Now get on the operating table, now! We need to get you in character. Uh, okay, will this hurt? Well, have you ever passed a kidney stone? Hey, Kyoko. Kyoko, are you okay? Kyoko, Kyoko, your new form is so cool. Why am I even still calling you Kyoko? You're Toriel. Me when I wake up in the morning. You found Toriel's DNA. Oh, good. Okay, well. Ah. Uh. What kind of DNA? We have Kyoko's blood, Toriel's DNA. Make unpleasant memories return if you squeeze it. Oh. Okay, hold on. Where's that other thing? It? Am I blind? Hold on. I always have such a hard time, like, looking for one singular item whenever I'm... ...going through this shit. Okay. Oh, here it is. Amtech Brainling. Freakishly allows crit rate, makes you bleed HP, allows you to sync with robots. What's Super Mario 64 for people who had sex? Probably Banjo-Kazooie. I guess maybe I've gotta, like, get that before fighting the robot Toriel, right? Fuck. Alive or dead? Oh, did it? Hold on. No, it's it's a head item. I thought it was a trinket. Okay. So, I definitely want this. If it freakishly increases crit rate, I want this on my main character. Let's save really quick. Rhetorical. It's always rhetorical. I will say this is me asking and there will be no confusion about it. There have been like two times I can recall in like eight years where I've been like, please chat, help me. Upload your consciousness to the Undertale 2 servers. Oh my god, okay. What the fuck? Downloaded code thing. Oh, that is a very nice bird. That's a very nice Groudon. That is a very nice Golden Retriever. I want to see what else is in there. I'm just going to beat your ass. Fuck off, dude. Life is like a Jenna, you. What does that mean? Is that- are you trying to say life is chaotic and kind at heart? Getting to Jimmy and the pulsating mass levels of sub-areas? Yeah, this is a long one, for sure. Jimmy had a ton of shit, though. Is Jenna even kind? Yes, but she's not forthcoming with it. Okay, what's... We got the Groudon, we got the Puppet Dog. Shit, alright, well... November 11th, remind yourself to figure out where, all, where to store all the data mem chips without making a fucking mess all over the workroom floor so that it doesn't get on my fucking case again. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Addendum, great job, asshole. The chips are still on the floor. 
and guide eight got mad at us so no dango for a whole week i hope you're proud of yourself fucker status check interesting okay so these are all the robots there's a hmm idea.txt papyrus should have 3d vision impossible so we can use red and blue attacks fucking awesome i need to heal my guys if i i might actually die if i'm not uh paying attention here Yeah, Pez Candy, baby. I fucking love Pez Candy. People shit on that shit, but I think it's delicious. I'm go for some Pez right now, TBH. Other random ideas I'm spitballing are Pauldron Spikes, Cool Accent, Sidekick, way better. Britney Spears, Toxic, Flow Ride a Whistle, Timberland, If We Ever Meet Again, Crazy Frog, Axel F, Crazy Frog, We Are the Champions, Crazy Frog, Popcorn, Crazy Frog, Last Christmas. That's a nice flower. That sucks. That's your opinion, man. More for me. Project 11. If battle complete, go to yes to drop checking, else do nothing. Okay. Something prints out of Kyoko's mouth. Obtained number zero place holdio. It's kind of fucking gross. Buy list, metal scraps, refined oil, micro use, ship base, HP, and MP processors, turn order effector, I7R defini definer, mini chip base, ultra microcontroller, bi helium mini reactor, and coagulator. I wonder if that's a literal map I need to be paying attention to. Reminder cut the crap, reminder to myself to patch up the fucking holes in the beach area because there's a mimic warehouse easily accessible. Okay, we've been there. If it's still there on release, I'll fucking fart on my own balls. Damn. Well, we were there, so, uh, got some bad news. Me. Dot bitmap. Design final, final, final. Toriel prototype. Plans, plans. Okay. We we're here already. I think that's it. Let me just check stuff again. Yeah, okay. So that was the main directory. What about docs? Cat picks three. Only one dot bitmap. This seems extraordinarily important. I feel as if I should screenshot this. Map, bitmap. What the fuck? It looks like a lizard on crack. Okay, maybe I should screenshot this as well. Gonna get a, another schizo document going. Let's get the code guide. Let's see what ooh, .bmp is. Yeah. Yeah, that's about... Yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. Then there's the cool folder, which is not cool at all. There's a million motherfuckers trying to own me. And then there's art. Okay. Nekochi. Nekochi, the kitty cat girl. Age 38. Likes strawberries and hates popping pills. For Marissa, less than three, my BFF. Wow. Nekochi can fly in the sky. Nekochi is as pretty as Marissa. Here's how you draw super good manga eyes, Marissa, and maybe someday you'll be as good as me, hee hee. Wow. Less than three. Love you, bestie. Can't wait to become a robot, then I will draw much better. Candy the bunny girl, holy shit. Look at those fucking things. Age 35, likes carrots, hates blog me. Awuga awuga nosebleeds, hee hee. What you think, Marissa? Less than three? Too much. 
Karasu the Crow Boy. Age 27. Likes darkness. Hates ham. He's so cool. H high time we gave Neko Cheese some friends. Right, bestie? Wow. Neko Cheese is so cool. She's so strong. Why did he reject me? What an ass. This is like the Neko Sugar Girls. That's what this is. Like, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be evocative of the Neko Sugar Girls. Yep. I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's go to Memdom. Oh god, this is a lot of text. So fucking bored, guess I should catalog my new collection stuff. Oh, a yellow child, huh? It's unexpected. Well, hello there, I'm Tutorial, Keeper of the Archive. Ruins, Toriel. No, I'm afraid you're confusing me with someone from Undertale. You're mighty cute. Wait, is this just... I think these are text, uh... Like, I've seen this before. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm in danger. Yo, let's give Kyle some nice cream. Have you ever heard Sen Bonzakura by Hatsune Maiku? Yes. Haha, <laughs> yes, it's great, isn't it? Screenshot this and share it on social media. Thanks. I don't think I'm gonna do that. No, no, no. If the human comes out of the area from the left, the rubber homer will still be in the camera shot like this. It has to be a bit more to the... No, fuck. You're moving it to the right. Move it to the left. Just... Okay, okay. God. Ah, oh, Lady Marissa truly is wonderful. The new pieces look absolutely stunning on me. Wish Blukey was still around to see them. Sigh, Blukey. Lady Marissa is truly wonderful. Oh, God. This is... Okay. Lady Marissa, my dearest liege of all lieges, you should reconsider the component choices in some of these new Mondroid models. For example, the copper fiber pipe nodes on the new proto Froggit models are absolutely unacceptable. Maybe find some new part suppliers. Also, plenty of components of my new robotic body are falling apart at an alarmingly fast rate. You don't want me to be any less dashingly fabulous than I should be. Now, do you? Oh. Well, that didn't look good. Okay, okay. Washua, where are you? You dirty little child. Look what you did, my homers. I think I've... We can have a civilized chat between civilized little pixel sprites. What? You didn't think this horrid purple zone was the archives? The hole to the sunken library is open. The spike path is clear. The rest should be fine. I hope Guaglione and the others are, are in position down there. Okay. Let's go to save. Private, do not fucking touch, and visual boy advance. Help.bitmap. Hey. I saw Notori play Pokemon Ruby on her computer, and I want to do it too. Can you help me please? I downloaded the files. Thanks. Also, what do you think of this awesome font? It's so pretty. Touch it. I am, but this little dude's playing fucking defense. God damn it. Heart has bloody sim energy. It just keeps going, you know? It's the game that never ends. Okay. 
There is Raymu one dot bitmap. Sexy. Raymu two. Oh shit. Damn, someone's getting boned. Eight eight nine seven. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, dude. Ugh. Yeah. What the fuck? Why is there like Kingdom Hearts shit in here? This bread cost me one how many zeros is that that should be 15 million moogle points i don't know how long that would take in kingdom heart okay now we have to go to etc marissa i sent you all the code things you asked they're all sparkly and orange be sure to store them in a safe place adios Hey, Marissa, thank you for downloading Sin Cleanse, the premium software for cleansing yokai from their worldly skins and sins. If the included antivirus backflip.exe is acting up, don't worry, we're here to help. It's real simple. Gather your code things, throw them at him, open his back door, and beat the crap out of him. Just don't use the same code thing twice. Uh. Oma Mori? Okay, hold on. I need to heal, because I'm guessing this is uh, gonna be a... Uh... No, don't high-five me. I want to use a lot of you. Your hands are so soft. Have you ever been to Ikea? Shoutouts to Simple Flips. Your hair looks great today. We should trade friendship uh, bracelets. Okay. An intruder and my pestilent bastards haven't gotten to you yet. Quite impressive. Oh, yes. What are your orders, kiddo? Run. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, we're starting with 3838421. Pop it up, remember that. Someone remember that. Do I have to use them in any sort of order? Or can I just do whatever the fuck I want? Code thing? Oh, crap. Ow! Fuck! My friggin' back door! Okay. Can I just kill him? I think it's this one. Let's do the last. Let's do 26. I used it, but it didn't have an effect, so I'm gonna guess that, like, I can still do it. I hope. Okay, am I... So, I can just fuck him, then. All right, Sans needs to go into cat boy mode when he can. All right. I don't know why they give you so many then if you it's just to make them vulnerable. Just on the off chance it causes something bad to happen, let's use 38. Does that happen to gay people when they get backdoored? Like, they just, like, smaller versions of themselves, like holographic clones, start spinning around the room? That's pretty fucking cool. Let me 
makes the backflip guy gay? A straight person can't be that cool. It's impossible. Alright, he's done now. We did it, everybody. Oh, yo, yo. Now I've really had enough. Marissa, grant me permission to die. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I can't fucking take it anymore. This limiting form, the digital realm. This guy's got a fucking backflip in heaven, baby. Verboteen Ascension begin off wider has seen Woo yeah woo yeah woo yeah woo yeah woo yeah woo yeah Fuck yeah And so ends the tale of backflip.exe The settings have been unlocked that was fucking awesome Okay wait Set name Frisk? Yeah. Set fun? Set mystery? Yes. Torment is currently disabled. Yes. Backflip.exe is now suffering in hell permanently. Think of what you just did. Was it worth it? Yeah. Listen very carefully, Kyle. Go to your room and go to bed. Go to your room and go to bed. Your room, your bed. Got it. It's time to sleep. Hell yeah. It's a lot of fun. Ring, ring. Oh, it's your phone. Hey, dude, it's me at Notori. You know, the Death Metals girl. Wait, we haven't met, have we? Fuck, I totally wasn't watching you with my sick $3.99 drone or anything. I want to remind you that there's a bunch of stuff in Undertale... On the Undertale 2 server settings, it could be pretty cool. And by pretty cool, I mean Super Ultra Dengeki Kira Kira Important God damn it. I'm in the Super Dengeki secret area at the border check. Mwah, mwah. Wait, you already activated the final lullaby? That is so waku waku kira kira mogu mogu dengeki wonderful. How efficient. Come visit me anyways. I love you, babe. Slurp tee hee hee. What a freaky bitch. The fuck is her problem? Order. Goodbye, pop it at. Have fun at dinner. Oh, 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 oh. May I peel your eyes? Wait, why do they look like Nicolas Cage now? Have they always looked like that? I need to explore everywhere now. Shit has changed, so I gotta, I gotta be looking for secrets. The mystery has been unlocked. This music is like... I like Mario, but this particular remix is like... Ouch. It's time for one final nap, of course. Blood Wanted... We will convert your original flesh bodies. One third of your original self will be yours. We welcome kin of any kind, so please send us your body. Would you like to sell our game at your store? We are looking for dealers worldwide. We are not open to discuss discounts. Fuck you. Pay us. The year 2017 has arrived. I heard a fucking ugly yukai are rushing to buy Undertale. Japanese translation skyrocketed. Toby Fox is rich. Therefore, Marissa called Seraphim's relative for the creation of Undertale 2. 
Entropy Machine sell all 1.2 billion of the Undertale 2 softwares. However, in Undertale 2, there is a secret project in progress. A project to transform the deceased underground monsters into an ultimate weapon. Static, not the buzzy screen static thing. Static. Absence of movement. Kind of sounds like a Castlevania game title, huh? Well then. Many, many years in the long forgotten past. On a lonely island in the middle of the Pacific, a knight was singing a lonely song. A lonely, lonely lullaby. In a nook, down a hatch, in a house, on a hill, on a hill, on an island, in the vastest sea. But why would you sing a lullaby to yourself? Thought the lullaby knight while listening to the melancholy melody uh, echo inside his helmet. There has been a... That text was somewhere else. I remember reading that. The lullaby knight wasn't that good at singing, but hey, you do what you gotta do, right? Then suddenly, the knight fell asleep, as you do, when you listen to lullabies. In the meantime, in a distant world hundreds of years in the future, a young witch plays a video game that was recently released in Japanese. This game rocks Dazi. There's, there's spell cards, there's yukai, it's just like real life. This is so fun, but her fun didn't last long. It ended as quickly as you'd be able to shove your arms in an active wood chipper. Angels are powerful beings. Seraphim, the angels closest to God, are powerful beings. So what is an angel doing here in Gensokyo? Asked Marista. No answer. Just a smile. But a smile is enough for friendship to bloom, and so friendship between a witch and a seraphim, where will this take us? The lullaby knight drew his sword in a single fluid motion. The bells dangling from his helmet jingled ever so slightly. The sound wouldn't have woken up even the sleepiest of Bart snoozing hard. What? But what it did bother was evil spirits. Shadowy beings hunched over under the weight of their sins. Mares. The lullaby knight's sword tore right through them like a butter knife through warm oil. Splattered with grease, the knight made quick work of the beasts. As they retreated to an abandoned brick structure, the knight didn't hesitate to follow along. So I should just draw what I want and you'll turn it into a game. That's so cool, so very Dengeki cool. Tee hee hee. So, um, about the drawing part. How do I do that with no hands? You just do, thought Marissa's big friend. It's not that hard. Marissa wiggled her nubs in the pencil's general direction. Is she in a cave with crystals? That's not gonna work. Drawing while holding the pencil in her mouth was a bust as well. This is hard! Help me, help me! Fine then. The Wish Beast. It's said that thousands of years ago it swallowed a magical crystal that can grant access to the dream world. Lullaby Knight Onironot. Was that such a far-fetched ambition? The Lullaby Knight clutched his sword tight. No holding back, it's time to go in for the kill. Cherno, ever thought about becoming even stronger? Show. Wanna watch Die Hard. Natori, can you help me program some stuff? K Key, let's drink some tea. Moko, show me that cool backflip you've been practicing. Seija, how's your radio voice? Reimu, let's watch Die Hard. Really? Replied Reimu. You've already watched it like four times this week. You really want to go for a fifth. Innards. Shiny silver innards. This is what the Wish Beast was hiding. Where is the Dream Crystal? How does the Wish Beast grant access to the Dream World? What's going on? The lullaby rubbed his helmet. Squeak, squeak. Tink, tink. Echoed a sound through his helmet. I need a drink, dude. Hold on. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of reading. The sound of blades tapping against his head. He slowly turned around. Ha 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 ha. Look, Kyoko. You look just like Toriel. This is my best attempt so far. Ha 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 ha. Who said I needed arms to play video games? This is just like Undertale. Ha 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 ha. Toriel stumbled off the operating table, avoiding eye contact with the laughing witch and the massive creepy being she ran towards the nearest mirror. I'm so confused. Okay, I'll give you a TLDR. In the Toho universe full of anime bimbanoids, one of them, a witch, really enjoyed a video game and was approached by a seraphim, a angel that is closest to God, and the seraphim seems to have taken her arms in return for making her desires for a video game into reality, and she's turning all of her fellow Toho's into weird Undertale 2 video game characters. 
That seems to more or less be what's happening here. Good night, most creative name. Marissa, what happened? Why do I look like this? Marissa kept laughing. Toriel held on to her name. Kyoko, Kyoko, Caso Danny. This is the best. Thank you, Seraph. You bastard, what are you doing in my video game? I'll have you know it's Toriel you just killed. The lullaby knight stood in a confused daze. What the fuck? Who is this? A single eye. Scary claws. A scary wheel. A gulp echoed through the lullaby knight's helmet. This is not how Undertale plays out. The mysterious creature inched forwards ever so slightly. First off, Frisk falls into the mountain. You climb down. Also, you totally ignored Flowey. Dumbass. You don't even look like Frisk. Ugh. You're not worth my time. We're playing Undertale, not whatever the fuck you're doing. So long and good night. Ugh. Seraph, you lazy bastard. When's Frisk gonna get here? That's the last piece we need to complete Undertale 2. I want to see the story unfold. Kill, spare, kill, kill. The wait is killing me. This is so boring. I want Frisk. I want Frisk now. A thank you, A. Lamau, for the 20-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a fishmonger rides a raft. Destination, Itoy Island. On the top of the volcanic mountain at the very center of the island is said to be an ancient temple inhabited by a mythical beast. Kai Degama Onironat. Is that such a far-fetched ambition? Wan Wan Zzz. Dreams of eating spicy cheese fries. Mmm, yummy. Someone made Undertale 2? What the fuck? Hmm. I don't know about this. Sketchy, suspicious, whatever. Z, Z, Z. Damn. I really messed up the font size and kerning and whatnot. Kyle. Or rather, Kai. It's time to go back to your roots. It's time to go back to the beginning, to the very beginning. In the words of a certain wise young fellow, don't have a cow, man. Uh. What the fuck? Uh. Well, Sans, who am I? Who are you? You're Kyle. Fuck! Sans, this is your goddamn fault, you piece of shit. Did we just have a collective stroke? I think so. That was a lot. Sans, who are you? What's with the questions? I'm... Let's get going, okay? Yeah, let's go to the very beginning. And we still haven't even gone down that route fully, so I don't fucking... There's still so much shit that I need to do in this goddamn game. Fuck. You're still missing one key? Yes. At this point, I think that must be the morsel. This is the most effort that's ever been put into a shit post. Is it me? Am I the dummy? Feels like none of our current- Yeah, it's really difficult to, to get an order of operations going at the moment. There's no doubt about that. Oh god, let me over there, bro, please. Crystal walls and crystal cups don't get splinters in your fingers. Thank you. Hello, Ghost or Sin. What's up, dude? Hello, B. That was a brilliant fucking uh, little bit of advice. I appreciated that. Okay, so this must be the very beginning, right? 
Oh, hey, nice going. Okay, so... Entrance is currently sealed. Open lock. Okay. I bet you if I interacted with that first, it would have been like, you're not allowed to take guns into the enclosure. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, my, fancy seeing you here, Kai Dagama. Kai, huh? So I'm not... What, you really thought you were Frisk or Kyle, I guess? My boy, Undertale, isn't real. What are you talking about? I'm Kyle Undertale! Oh my fucking god. That's who I am. Went to a birthday bar crawl tonight, but didn't really know anyone. Damn, well, hopefully it was fun, regardless. I remember everything. Toriel, Papyrus, Metaton, Undini. Oh ho ho, sorry you're not the only one who went through that. Why should I even trust you, Frog Slick? Frog Slick, ee hee hee, my name's Mayor Slick. I'm not a frog. Don't tell me you never noticed. I wouldn't believe you. So I'm... Let's take a walk through here. Some sort of warehouse, a backstage, if you will. Plenty of unused stuff stored around. It's all too creepy for me, honestly. I'll just hang around here with my pals. Ooh. Hey, uh, Yerp. Oh, good, we can play blackjack with him. Oh my god, there's so much left. Holy fuck. I don't know how to play blackjack. Damn, okay. Close to 21 as possible, all right. Fuck you. What? Fuck off! Damn it. I have a feeling I have to get, like, really, really close or he's gonna fuck me. Okay. This- this feels like it might be- Okay, no, I'm just bad at this. It's not rigged, it, it is a skill issue. Is it too much to hope for, like, a five? Okay. Stand, yeah. 20. The fabled 22 card. Taking, I don't know blackjack, and I don't think there's fuck you 22 cards in blackjack. It's, it's rigged, bro, I swear. I got him. I got him. That's it? I watched Die Hard again today. Show was on the edge of her seat the whole time. She clutched hard onto my nub and wouldn't let go. How sweet. Show made for a terrible Toriel. Die Hard remains so... So when we did those relaxation things and there were multiple versions of Toriel, I guess that's what that was about. It ruined her, it spoiled her, she's garbage, disposable, I'll just chuck her into the ocean and forget about her. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. The cold is quite unforgiving for us low-level mares, we do what we can to stay alive. Ooh. Replica gun. Rusty shard, rust blight! Holy shit, rust blight. I need to give that to Sans. That sounds like an upgrade. Yeah, I think so. Rust Blight, aka Tetanus. You. Why do you care? I'm Threadmare, I'm ranked. Oh. Okay. My face isn't allowed to leave the ground. I'm not allowed to shuffle, shuffle. Everything sucks. Oh, this used to be a mare nest. Now it's a storage facility. I don't like it. There's this constant howling and murmuring coming from the side rooms. Shit. That thing. 
This big metal thing, I don't know what this is. It scares me. It kind of reminds me of fro glass. Don't tell her I said that. It's so cold down here. Up in the archives, there's warm air being pumped, but it's unnecessary down here. The human... Oh, wait, doesn't seem like there's death in your eyes, just blood. Hey, buddy, speedrun spook here. Heh <laughs> heh What else can I teach you? you come so far already. Go out there and make me proud, Kai. Please buy the monster. I'm sure... Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Like... Oh, they, I have four of these. They're just like Phoenix Downs. They should make a Phoenix Down monster collaboration. You are now entering forbidden territory. Proceed at your own risk. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. So what's going on with this thing? Is there no end to this toil? I can't do it. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, n hell no. Kyle? Kyle, is that you? Oh my god, Kyle. Thank god you're here. Is that really... Oh, you silly child. You never changed, didn't you? Of course it's me. Marissa's been keeping me here for god knows how long. But you're finally here. You came to rescue me. What's good, Recon? Mom, it's really you, isn't it? Mom? Oh, dear sweet child, come here. Come on, dear. Calm down. Everything will be fine. Die Hard 3! Oh my god. Alright. Let's go ahead and frisk. Meat shield. Okay, okay. Sorry, I gotta get the moves here. Gently pats my head. Mama! Ma mama! Mama! Alrighty. Let's do cat and mouse. Oh shit. No need to fight it, dear. Stay still. Shields. Fuck yeah, baby. We're about to dominate this whore. Respectful. Respectful. Like, horror in a respectful manner. Hold on. What the fuck am I doing? Is the boss attacked one? It's done head pats, but I don't know. It looks quite dangerous. I don't trust it. My poor sweet child. This game has given me a lot of trust issues. Okay, let's try talking and joking now. Everything will be okay. Just stay still. Toriel, I... That was the worst joke ever. You're a bit over-leveled? Uh, probably. Probably. But I deserve to be overpowered because... I I defeated the raw men. It hit me with snail facts at the end and made everyone bleed. There's the lullaby sword and the Otta's diary. Okay. Overleveled yet again. Yeah. Mummy is very sweet with me. She bears... Bakes the yummiest cakes. She knows so many snail facts. I love my new mummy. Me plus mummy running together. Woo wee by Ada. Only the super bosses really pose. Yeah, yeah. Seth. Can we see the Die Hard 3 card? Yes, sorry. I'm getting overwhelmed with the dog card here right now. Oh. Chat, you would. Chat, you would. You would. You would. Oh, um, yeah, hi. Die Hard 6 is ready. After countless failures, Die Hard 6 is ready. There was, never was a Die Hard 6, was there? Die Hard 6, Toriel, my very own Toriel. Now I need my very own Frisk. 
I wish I was still young, spry, and frisky. <laughs> it's the Undertale 2 kid. It's the fishmonger. Cough. Hack. Wheeze. A wish gem. That thing has been stuck in my throat for ages. You keep it so you'll always remember dear old Marelass. I think this game has more content than Undertale 1. It does. It's not all good. But it's there. I almost... I almost feel like maybe I should just fucking stop. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to beat this today. Thank God for flames. I just have to pick it up on another day. Like, that's that kind of reminds me of a YouTuber I used to know. Hey, buddy, I'm a patch mare. Have you heard of a little thing called Mimic? Yes. Yeah, we already have one, idiot. Fuck you. Oh. Well, I have four of them. Yeah. Mimic so long. Let's you hold all weapons. Okay. Okay. In a nook down a hatch, in a house on a hill, on a hill on an island, in the vast sea. I believe... How many streams have we been on this game? Oh, God. Like, well, it, the thing is, up until tonight, it's always been, like, a part of the Sunday stream. Like, at the end, where it'll be, like, 30 minutes to an hour to two hours. Apparently, I think this is the fifth time I've... Fifth or sixth time I've played it since July. It might be the hardest thing to, like, watch all of I've ever done because of how everything's placed. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get some tea, and I'm going to need a Diet Coke. I need some more aspartame if I'm going to keep reading this shit. <laughs> Fucking turn the AC on. Get ready for more.
shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Took some migraine medicine. The game's uh, induced a little bit of a headache in me, so. Got Diet Coke and migraine juice. Ah. Oh. How's tonight been going? It's been going. Not much to say about it, playing through this shit. There's, uh, this game is a nightmare. It's very funny and also a nightmare at the same time. Uh -huh. It's hard to explain. It's like getting caught watching midget porn by your parents, and you have to explain to them the virtues of midget pornography. It's, you know, there's virtue there for sure, but, like, it's just an uncomfortable thing to explain succinctly. Shot a bunch of bullets at her in this big semicircle shape, and yeah, I killed her, of course, in one hit, clearly. Sounds unbelievable, what do you mean? Okay. A calm Toriel with a good disposition, won't object to anything, follows orders, no problem. She's just heavy and loud, who cares though it's faithful to the original. Okay. So, I, I guess like the very brief TLDR of what this is, is I, in the Toho universe, a, which is some weird anime shit universe, I don't know much about it myself. A witch named Marissa wanted to turn her reality into Undertale and became friends with a seraphim that enabled her to do just that. She turned all her friends into weird Undertale, like, roleplay LARP uh, fuckfest creatures. And I guess some, like, fishmonger from who knows where managed to get sucked into the universe, and that's my character. So I am a fishmonger from, like, the Pacific Islands trying to defeat a witch from Toho with Undertale as the stage that has been set for our showdown. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Legendary Kyle Undertale. Deep lore? It is, it's weird. I wasn't expecting it to take that turn. At all. I thought this was just gonna be memeography till the very end. Recharging Frisk Drive, FDD 75%, Kai Dagama. Someday I'll be just like you. Don't think anyone. Yeah, no, I definitely did not. It had a really good fishing mini game. I guess that relates to me being a fishmonger. Holy fuck, look at this thing, dude. Good god. Is the soundtrack good? It's mostly remixes of things like Super Mario RPG or Kingdom Hearts. Or just Undertale. Oh. Marissa. I guess we've gotten into the portion of the game where everything is just like fucked up and unrecognizable and like terrible. Oh, I was- uh, dude, what am I doing? It's like, imagine you're having, like, a fucking heavyweight boxing match against, like, a literal coughing baby, and you're sitting there doing your stretches and your push-ups and getting ready, like, slapping your face, like, <laughs> doing your jumping jacks, getting ready to fight the coughing baby. Okay, we got Lullaby Bells and Nico's Diary. I also never checked what the sword I got from the other one was about, did I? I don't know if everyone's capable of using it or what. Is that an off reference? Some of this kind of seems similar. Um, the baby keeps asking for just a little, little nibble off my fingernails. I'm unsure. It's very, very insistent. The baby should practice patience. Patience is a good thing to have. Oh. See, and if you're curious, this part kind of brings the idea that even the Toho shit is nonsense, because that's the Seraphim, I think, up in the corner. 
and he's thinking of Marissa, Marissa's thinking of this. So it, it might suggest that the, that version of Marissa is a conjuration of the Seraphim's mind. I'm not sure. You thought you saw a door here, but it was just some sort of optical illusion. Despite everything, it's still you. Oh. What's up, Kangles? Has there ever been a JRPG fight where it's like a you mimic, and if you don't run away and kill it, you kill yourself inadvertently? That would kind of be a cool and funny mechanic. Especially if it was at the end of like a three hour long dungeon with no save points. It's... it's Kyle. The baby or die hard for? Need I say more? <laughs> it's me, dude. Is that sweet bro and hella Jeff? Is that what that's a fucking reference to? I'm pretty sure that's what that is, right? I told you about stairs, bro. <laughs> like, I told you about stairs. Oh, fuck. Man, some of this shit really fucking brings me back to like 20 years ago is it so isn't it so fucked that i recognize that but not like toho references like yeah that's clearly sweet bro and hella jeff everybody knows that but like the things everybody actually knows i got no fucking clue man don't have the faintest fucking idea is this it is this the end Despite everything, it's still you. <laughs> Die hard. Oh, you know, I thought it was like a soy golem and like the little thing alive was its mouth, but it's actually just some weird little like homestuck thing. Gross. Let's dispense with this thing as soon as possible. It's off to the mirror with your corpse. Well, it's a good thing we inflicted it with Stinky. Oh, God. Did I just get molested? What the fuck was that? This shit is, like, so weird because so much of it is just, like, completely fucking asinine. And then they come out with random, like, really good animations out of nowhere. And it's weird. We gotta hit him with the Fortnite dance, I think. <laughs> Game is so fucking stupid, dude. God damn it. Okay, we got Nim's diary and the lullaby helmet. Let's see what the diary is. What's up, Dak? How are you, dude? What the fuck is right? Reimu does not play nice anymore. What do I do now? This game rocks. In, in, in a way... It's something. The fishing game is genuinely really cool and good. Hop, who, hop, who, how many hops can you scotch? Will I ever find the morsel? Will I ever find the third key? For now. The X's? What? Oh, like... Good fishing, good game. Yeah, the fishing legitimately took like two hours to get all the fish and stuff. I'm debating if I want to go back and try to figure stuff out, but I can go down the elevator. That almost assuredly is going to be the end, I would imagine. 
but we haven't e this is like apparently the secret ending and we haven't even done the normal ending and there's two big secrets I haven't figured out so I'm going back sorry bros I gotta blue ball you shitwreck 2 maybe I don't think it's gonna be on that level, but there's really cool things like that. You get to a computer, you mind link with like a robot corpse computer, and it has like a file directory, and it's a level that you go through. This game is like the worst shit ever and the best shit ever. It's really hard to encapsulate my feelings about it succinctly. It's such a meme, dog shit, shit post, but it's actually really well done at the same time. But, like, explaining... If you took, like, a 30-second clip of virtually any part of this and tried to explain that it's actually good, people would look at you... Like, look at this shit. There's fucking Homer the Simpson right there. I've got, like, a little rat woman. There's actually three Homer the Simpsons surrounding me in a triangular formation. This is the Bermuda Triangle of the digital age. Doing the C... Oh, I got you. But there is a lot of really hard-to-figure-out shit. Not on that level, but... Homer the Simpson? Yeah, Homer the Simpson. I tried to show it to a friend and he thought I needed sleep. Do you want to commune with the water filter? Yes. In a small cubic room with a floor and walls covered in fiberglass, a young filter sits on a chair. On a table next to her, a kettle and a metal cup. Okay. I'm not gonna read all of this out loud. Like, I'll give you a second to read it, but this is a lot. Hello, Joelle. I'm not sure this is important to read. Come on, dude. God, why? Uh, yeah, said Nekochi. I'm here too. A young middle-aged cat girl pops into the filter's line of sight, spry eyes wide open. Everything before that was basically like a like a human filter describing the process of filtering. Nekochi spins around in a fancy flourish. Ta-da! Oh, hi, Nikochi, mumbles the filter, placing a hand on her own cheek. Nikochi puts on a pouty expression, sensing that something is wrong. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is a, a Neko Sugar Girls reference, or whatever the fuck it was called. Come on now, Keiki. She grumbles through puff cheeks. Don't be such a Debbie Downer. Grumpiness is contagious, you know. If you want to be grumpy, then I'll be grumpy too. The filter size. Nekochi, it's not that I'm being grumpy. I'm just starting to lose hope, you know? What the fuck is that drawing? Look at it, dude. There's something wrong with her tits. How many years has it been? Five, ten, one thousand, um, a hundred million? What's even the difference at this point? If all I've been doing is choking back sewage, why should I cling on to any form of hope? You really don't have to be so negative, Keiki, interrupts Nikochi, stomping her foot on the cold fiberglass floor. You're always acting like this, always talking about how everything sucks, always. Filtering out the good, what good is there, Nikochi, yells the filter, holding back tears. That's an insane fucking sentence out of... Like, it's an insane sentence in general, but imagine reading that out of nowhere. Do you even realize what situation I'm in? Good night, Magnet. Use that goddamn brain of yours. Open your fucking eyes. Put yourself in my shoes for once. Nekochi stands back in silence, avoiding eye contact. But Keiki, you're a filter. You don't have any shoes. I... 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Keiki. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. Nekochi skulks away with her head hanging low between her shoulders. Keiki tries stuttering something. Nekochi, I... But she has nothing to stutter. The kettle starts grumbling. Oh, God damn it! Whatever, she'll be back. She always comes back as if nothing happened. You bet I do! Exclaims Nekochi, jumping out from behind Keiki's chair. Oh, no. Keiki pats her own chest while trying to cough out some stray sludge. Hi, Keiki. Or, hi, Nekochi, Keiki gags. Oh, God. Keiki clasps her hands together. Nekochi, stop. You know I can't smile. I'm a filter. You know I would if I could just for you. Hey, Keiki, asks Nekochi through teary eyes. Am I your friend? Your best friend? Your bestest bestie in the whole wide world? There's silence for a while. Keiki ponders her reply. I think the two girls I was with all night are gonna bang. If you need an aphrodisiac, not an, what is the opposite of an aphrodisiac? A libido limiter. A libido phage. Make them watch this, Joelle. Very, very carefully. Very, very thoughtfully. Of course you're my friend, Nekochi, replies Keiki, putting her hand on Nekochi's head. But... My best friend, you know who my best friend is, Marissa. Nekochi hangs her head down. So I'm not your friend? Keiki silently clenches her fist. Of course you're my friend, Nekochi, but Marissa... Gah. Hey, Nekochi, do you remember when I first drew you? Marissa and I were in the spirit garden. She brought this massive pink box with a colorful screen alongside a pa plastic tablet covered in letters and a small oval with two buttons and a wire. We used it to draw a bunch of pictures. I drew lots of them and she kept them all inside this neat machine. Neat machine is right. All these pictures were of you, Nekochi. I made you for Marissa. Nekochi perks up. So in a way, mutters Nekochi, fidgeting with her fingers, I'm your daughter. Keiki thinks for a second. Yeah, I guess so. Then if you're my mom, you're setting such a bad example for me. I'll grow up to be so, 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 so grumpy. So, 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 so grumpy. Meow. If you keep filtering out the good, none of it will be left. You'll just be left with the bad. Think of happy things. Think of me. Think of the good in your life. Think of your favorite color, think of me. Think of your favorite animal, think of me. You know those people who have it worse, right? Think of me. Meow. I want to die. There's people who have it worse. Yeah, probably that's a given, but it's not making her feel any better. The good in her life, nothing really. The memories of Marissa, maybe, but those are just memories. Colors, animals, come on now. But if she's been reduced to nothing but a filter... What about the others? What about Marissa's other friends? Remu, Yuyoko, Natori, Cerno, Kyoko. What happened to them? Are they... Are they filters too? Hey, Keiki. Hey, Keiki. Are you thinking of me? Please, oh, please think of me. Think of me. Keep me in your thoughts. Hold me tight. Never let me go. It's just you and me in here. You and Nekochi. Nekochi? Okay. Uh-oh. It's about to break. Don't you feel bad for that poor water filter? Hey, chat. Damn it, I was hoping I could talk to it again. You should smash it. What's that smell? Holy shit, wow. Poke the cheese. Woof, 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 woof. What the fuck? I never did this. I'm about to get my ass whooped by the table mimic.
Joel, if you're still here, you carried against the super boss of this game, against the raw men. A group of strong bronze Egyptian men with no shirts. Wolf, wolf, wine, wine. Received table summoning pellet. What the fuck? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Infinite poke maelstrom, yeah. Yeah. Shit. No, no, fuck off. I hate you with every single fiber of my being. Collect lots and lots of cards, okay? How can you trust yourself if you can't even tie your own shoes? Hey, your shoes are untied. That's true. I think if I ever met someone who was completely incapable of tying their own shoes, I would not trust them. Why do you have a can of Monster Zero Ultra? I have a lot of dumb shit, bro. I have four cans. I have prison ramen. I have a singular tic tac times eight. I have donuts, gravy granules, tissues, placebo, cinnamon rolls, shorts that you eat. Rehab. That's like the only one I like. The monster rehab lemon tea is really fucking good. Absence of something is something. Nothing is absence of something. Everything is nothing. So I want to see if a specific encounter has changed at all. Let me save. I'm not feeling good about this. Yay, I'm rich. This is a shit pit. Like, you can't... As far as I can tell, once you once you drop that chest, it's over. Ugh. The raw man would never do that to me. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, I need to... I need Because we were using our new character, Torpledook, and I said, this is a... This is a job for Joelle. And I we completely dominated the raw man. Like, it was... They could not even... Like, you were literally immune to their damage. Like, they would poke you and it, nothing would happen. Oh, this bitch is gone. I love you, madame, but do I also love madam? There's gotta be, like, some new shit I can do. The morsel might spawn now that I activated the mystery thing on the computer. Hello, Hoifs. What's up, dude? I know nothing. Nothing worth knowing, at least. <coughs> Master Lancer told me to sweep the floor clean, but the dust settled in so well that it's impossible to get out of the carpet. Thank God that guy fucked off forever. I'd listen to what he said if I were you. He's thick-headed like that. There, there are few feelings better than being able to say with all of, all of your heart, thank God that guy fucked off forever. That is such a primal, viscerally good feeling that it's hard to put it into words. Oh shit, okay, there's like a... There's secret knowledge over here. We gotta get it. It's probably not going to be in an obvious place. Shit. Walking on air, hands of an angel. May I see an angel? Show the eye an angel, fish. There's no turning back. Ah, I see. The 
the three five of what numbers mean i don't quite know what even makes her happy I, what the fuck is this this seems like similar symbols to the ones on the computer but they're mostly legible hold on i, I need a screenshot and then i'll pay. i'm afraid if i do another angle you show the eye and angeler i see This game is schizophrenic. Yeah. Two, three, f oh, oh. Two, three, five. What do numbers mean? I don't quite know. Whatever makes her happy, I guess. Two, three, four. It looks like it could be either. It looks like it could be either. Um, I'll trust you. There's only one keypad that I'm aware of in the entire game. I literally don't think I've seen a single other... Maybe I have, and I'm forgetting. But there's only one that's immediately springing to mind. Also, someone asked about a chest in the fire. It's just a dust bomb. You just go on an invisible wall to get to it. But I don't really need it. Wares for sale, scares for sale. Won't you buy my wares? Okay, there's a strange item called Burgo Shopping List. We also have a wish gem now, which seems important. How is going down there? Are you eating enough salt? Are you doing your daily wasp training? I hope you are. Since the day you left the town, everything feels different. The water feels green. The blueberry sausages feel red and I feel sad. I hope you come back. Goodbye, my friend. The letter became human. I thought that was Detroit's job. What the fuck is this letter doing? Okay, so now I have... Uh, I absolutely have to go to, like, every place I can for those eyes. Because, like, I thought they were just giving random schizo text, but I'm getting, like, humans now. Where does this guy go? Honeycomb Beach Rest Zone. I do need to go to Honeycomb Beach... But not right now. Okay, let's go into the naughty child wiggler again. Maybe something mysterious will happen now. Uh. Nope. Okay. I guess we're going this way now. There's gotta be an eye symbol in here. I also, like... This is such a bizarre image. Poland did not just get nuke sushi. Shut up. This is still the realest thing in the entire fucking game. <laughs> I don't know why that, that tickles me so much. Okay, no eye in here. Okay, can you give me another one of your things? Yeah, I need the jelking capsule. Oh, Joel, dude, these are the raw men. All the stars in the sky twinkle just for you, Kyle. Whenever you want, we can go eat some Sobek noodles together. 
Hey, 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 you ever seen a pyramid cry b blood? Let me tell you that shit's mysterious AF. Let's we already did, dude. You know, I'm not even actually a raw man, I'm a their man. Is the raw man the natural opposite of the it girl? No way painting some letters is better than Buzzuzito Flipperini. No way, sorry, I was just looking at a YouTube of top 10 Undertale 2 characters. There's a, a, a certain place I need to go back to. He said that this was going to be a worse place in hard mode or something to that effect, right? How do we do that? There's gotta be a fucking way. I don't think it's simply a menu option. Mario Kart song is your favorite? Probably Rainbow Road. It is the road that you go, after all. It's got Mario, Princess Peach, and the Toad. Turned on Torment? But that, that sent someone to hell. That was different. Dude, RS3 is awesome. That's what I'm saying, bro. Thank you for the raid, Chernobrog. Hope you had a good stream. I should probably go down there to see if something actually changed, but it didn't look like it. Hello, Ravezon. All right, let's get it. What? Wait, wait, wait. What if I have to talk to one of these things? What if I talk to them and it's like, oh yeah, hard mode, haha, <laughs> woo woo yee! I'm not like other frogs, I'm a nice guy. Then why can't I find a cute and faithful big titty emo girl frog? What the fuck? Yawn, not really up to this whole- Okay, I don't think they're gonna be helpful in this circumstance. Okay, the weird little eggplant person is no longer there. Hello, cool. We need to get King Cobra to make a game of Vetus. Can you fucking imagine? Got tendies and whole milk? Hell yeah, dude. I'm with Jenna, like, milk? Milk and tendies doesn't sound like a never dream combo to me, but you like what you like, right? You dip the tendies in the milk? Nah, you need to stop. That's not real. Oh shit. I still liked milk. Not a big milk head myself. But there was never a point where I was like, woohoo, yippee ki yay, I love milk. What is a love kick? Oh, I know there are milk heads. Like, I remember when that one dude who would post about his cum pills came into my chat. And started talking about Go Mad, and I thought he was just making shit up, but Go Mad is gallon of milk a day, and it's what people do. Like, they do it to bulk or some shit. Uh, it's crazy. See, this is the aquarium for all of the fish that- Wait, wait, wait. These fish are so beautiful. Give me the morsel, you fucking bitch! This is our cum, buddy. Where's Suchinoko? He's right there in the bottom left corner. Being fat as fuck. Oh, $473. See, if you donate, it says it's looking for a morsel. It's a 30th fish. It must be the final one. 
But I've yet to figure out exactly how to find it. Can you interact with the anglerfish? I guess I could try. Maybe he wants to talk to me. No, doesn't look like it. Tolo, what? What did I do now, Joel? What's my what's my hate crime this time? Nothing. What? Washua is friends with a little bird. Just fucking with you, okay? Fish up the final odd key. I feel like there would be some sort of indicator or like a new fishing area where you would reasonably be expected to get it. Not just like, hey asshole, fuck you. Joel just like saying your name? I don't know if that's true. He seems like he's a little tipsy right now. I wish I was a little tipsy right now. You got me? Yeah, I know what's up, sis. Party. Sometimes I wonder about extremely specific things, like who said the word skeleton the most times today? Who was the person who thought, like, we should call this a skeleton? Like, it's a really good word. Don't get me wrong. I don't think any word would be better, but probably because I'm used to it being called that. But that's a strange fucking thing. It's clearly a crab. We need a cum buddy. We do. April 18th, 2023, an airstrike drone will carpet bomb PewDiePie's house. His internet presence will be completely wiped to cover up the accident. I don't think that happened. Happened, but it was covered up. I have never watched Bojack Horseman. I think it's kind of crap. I know some people where if you said that, they would not be happy at all with you. Washua Sands number one fan. God damn it, where's the morsel at, playa? Maybe something new has happened at the star drop tree. I wonder if there's a pirate RP Discord where people voice chat and... It's a simulation! I'm telling you, dude, he's talking about Captain Crow. There's no fucking way the world is real after playing this game. I'm 100% convinced. There's just too many weird coincidences. What the fuck? Next he's gonna start talking about- Oh, wouldn't it be cool if a guy was talking about how 109 fairies really, really liked human sweat? I heard that there was a huge desperado problem over in the east. Their leader is apparently named Joe. What? It's a, uh, a reference to Cool 109 Love. Chat member. Sometimes I wonder about extremely specific things, like how many times has Markiplier had his heart broken? The game is being written as you play. It's just strange. It's a big bone day and everyone- I- I'm- I'm not big boned, I'm fat, okay? 
I swear. Seems like this area has had the fewest changes. I hope there's not some fucked up eyeball and Miku Miku fuck fest. Sans the prison stab skill. That sounded like a. That sounds like I missed an opportunity. I never even interacted with that fucking thing. Okay. Looks like an arrow pointing right on the Miku robot's hand. Okay, I'm gonna trust you, Splitten. I'm gonna beat you soon, uh, cool. I haven't eaten shit in like three days. BK? Yeah, I did, but like that's the only thing I've eaten. No, you took care of me, you got me food, but I mean in general I really have not been... Dead robot? That's actually a pretty fucking good idea. I didn't think about that. Because you couldn't interact with it before. I could definitely try it. If it's the one I think you're talking about. I fucked it up. The stupid fucking Hatsune Maiku Maiku bitch. Did I fuck it up? No, I, I... I'm so confused right now. Brain worms. Brain worms. That was not... Okay. I'm having a fucking aneurysm in real time right now. You can see... You can see the gray matter pour out of my fucking... Eye sockets. Okay, I, I never had that happen before. I didn't know that was a thing. Oops! That's alright, we got this, we got this. Easy, shrimple. Simple and clean, just like Kingdom Hearts. I don't really remember the route in which I went here. What it feels like it's... What? I see the four arrows. Is there a fifth one splitting? I took the purple one and it sent me down to the shop. Are you talking about the blue one? I don't think I've tried that. The one that moved you to the arm. I gotcha. Okay. We can leave this hellscape. Can't get my head around these hoppy Undertale one trailer tile things. I don't know what he's talking about. My bad. No, you're good, dude. We're chilling. Can we go back to prison? I want to go to prison. Tra la la, my favorite hour at Pokemon has got to be Laron. That's not a terrible choice because it evolves into Agron. Agron is pretty bitchin'. Oh my god. Riddle me this, Kyle. What is a human? I'll give you the answer straight up. A miserable little pile of broken bones when I'm done with you. Man, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy and his bone spurs. This motherfucker needs to get the fuck out. I did not miss the giant marsh. I I pointed her out earlier. When I see that marsh, I know I know what CWC felt when they celebrated Mother's Day. You know, there's just something about like a limp husk of a human being that's just exciting. 
I'm gonna throw up. I didn't mean any word of that. I don't want to go through here again. But is there another eyeball? There goes my- Why'd you have a boner, homie? What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna cry, piss your pants, maybe? Maybe shit and cum? I like my wife in bed the same way I like my fish. Weird. Why can't I drive that? Okay, okay. God damn it. Let's get on with it, dude. We gotta go. I think maybe I should go the route where the normal ending was seemingly going to go. Just in case it's not what I think it is. So I'm pretty sure that fucked up area with like the little infant that we killed is going to be the true ending in some form or another. So I think I should probably try what looked to be the bad ending. Hello, bear. What's up? How are you, dude? But first, I want to go back here a little bit. Oh, there's something I want to try. It's not working anymore. Okay, so it must be a different keypad. You were the smartest ever. You are so epic in intelligence. Harry Potter Obama 10. Yep. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't but Kyoku together again. But what about the king who will put him back together? Doing all right? That's good. I'm doing okay, too. Except for the brain damage I'm getting from, you know, playing Undertale 2. This game count is schizo. Wait! I never even went in here. The dude left. No, okay, fuck off. No, dude, fuck off. Alright, bitch, you ready? <laughs> I can't do it, man! Shit! He so he has his whole life ahead of him. Maybe we can parlay. What the hell are you doing? Hey Goomba, is your house clean? If not, you should totally get a Roomba. All right, he must die. Wow, holy shit. He had two whole Tic Tacs. No, no. I have to get that eye. There's gotta be like... Okay, I think I know what to do. Can you jump? No, it's just like a normal uh, RPG Maker style of map. But there's gonna be shenanigans with the movement. Like, I should be able to just walk up at some point. Like, so. Oh god, but it actually has like an animation for it. Because there's gotta be a fucking way... God, I hate how I can't go to the other side. At least these are easy to kill. Music is so good. Yeah. Jump ability in combat? I do. I mean, you think that'll work? That's a very creative way of thinking, but... Why didn't he die? I literally jumped on him. Game fucking sucks, bro. What the fuck? 
Time to take a piss. Wait, who's that? Who are you? I'm Kyle, the human. A- a what? I'm a motherfucking enemy. Why aren't you jumping at me? That's what you're supposed to do. Ugh, fine. Let me pull up my pants again first, and then maybe I'll jump on you. Maybe. Maybe? Are you out of your fucking mind? No, jump on me now, motherfucker. It... What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Like... It's got the pissing noise in the background, too. Okay, we gotta talk to him. What the hell are you doing? I'm taking a piss! Would you teach me some Italian? I know about the entrance that Ice Cream just told me about. That's what we need the keys for. Oh, of course. Buono means good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, no, no. It is not time to take a piss. Fuck off. Did he really get, like, the fucking plus pissing stat? <laughs> he just pissed on Joel! No, you can't do that! Come on! Oh my god. Not my gay buddy, absolutely not. We gotta go femboy on this hoe. You didn't even let me get my pants first. Whatever you can have. Yes! Dude, the odd key. I got the last one. We have all three. I don't even fucking care about that little eye in the sky. No, go away. Literally die. Everybody hates you. There's no point. You serve no purpose. A singular ant has more value than you. Die. I had to take a piss. And then we're gonna see what's in the secret swamp area. We have all three of the keys. Gotta see what's behind that door. Let me make sure I have them all. Okay. I still need to see what the human item does. It, I might be able to use it in combat. Please do not post Shrek at me. It scares me. So basically the TLDR for what we're doing now is there's three odd keys which are pretty difficult to get like they're inside areas sort of tucked away there's a door in the swamp with some asshole who says they're horny as fuck who's locked behind all three keys i already put one in and i have the other two now so we'll be able to see what's going on with that hopefully and they'll probably try to fuck us Welcome back, Papa Dap. Uh, 
Hey kid, got any more odd keys? Un, ah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. One more, one more odd key and I'm out of this joint. There it is, there it is. Wee hee hee, doors all unlocked now. Come back when you're ready to open it. Hey kid, wanna come in? Our options are yeah and no fucking way, dude. All right. Wee hee hee woo ha ha. Hello, friends. Cut the cripe. Who were you? Wee hee hee, your worst wet dream. You should have known better than to trust me. Little old spark, you'll find me to be quite charming. Wee hee 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 hee. A hun. No, Attila's not here. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Stop talking about this shit. Hey Spark, I uh, Okay, he doesn't he doesn't like Sans very much. Hello, Sad. What's up, dude? Wait, the Leviathan has a duration? Oh, no. I wasted that. All right. It's a lot of HP. We're getting the setup. We're getting the setup. We need to be a Sans Cat Boy. I'm all warmed up now. Time to bring in the big guys. What the? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm getting my ass whooped right now, dude. Holy shit. Is Jenna gonna die? She might. Okay. Okay, it seems like he's done with his little tirade. Sick flip, sick flip, it's Finger time. What the fuck is going on? Uh oh. It's not looking good, brothers. Holy shit. Okay, I need to get that fucking Spark Jr. thing off of him somehow.
Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. I think I'm- I think it's Rip. Need to bring Monk Key to the fight? Trust? You, no, that doesn't make any sense. You're just trying to troll me. Back to grinding- No, we're max level, so it's a strategy issue. I just gotta, uh... Get better damage. Raise the level cap somehow. I think I just gotta be better. Okay, hold on. I just realized that I have this fucking hat that makes my attack insane. Lowers my defense to one, though, which obviously isn't ideal. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to use the human item. I have no reason to believe it will do anything worthwhile, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, so that doesn't do a goddamn thing. He's got a lot of health, holy fuck. Oh, here we go. Alright, we got Catboy form. I still don't really know what the, uh... Okay, not that. We 
You gotta hit him with the Fortnite. Fuck. What do I do here? Okay. We need to kiss Joelle on the cheek. And I, I guess this? Oh my god. <laughs> he just has so many turns, it just... There has to be a way to dispel. There has to be a way to dispel, because that just seems like it's... It's completely fucked. Like, once he gets that, uh, ability, you just lose. You could use the Leviathan. Like, I think if you were to do a situation where you got... Like, ten Leviathans and use them every single fucking turn, which Leviathan is a party-wide auto-res, then maybe you could just brute force it. I feel like that's probably not what you're intended to do. I could use the Pazuzu to get a shit ton more HP. I haven't been doing that. Okay. I also have to make sure to keep the debuffs on. Alright, he's immune to, uh, concussion. Let's do finger guns. Let's see if I can charm him, perhaps. Probably my favorite track of the whole game. Interesting, okay. I'm trying to think right now. I don't- I don't have very good thinking abilities, so it's hard for me. I need to manage my mana a little bit. I haven't even gotten this asshole to half health, too. I'm gonna need to, like, farm fucking leviathans or something. Unless I figure a better strat out. Damn. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it. What if I... Jesus Christ, I don't know. Like, it's funny now, but how many times am I gonna have to listen to this shit?
okay, okay, okay. Alright, this is where it gets completely fucked. God, see, if I had another Leviathan here... I think this is where he's literally just gonna roll over me and attack a billion times and I die. So I'm not sure what I should be doing in this situation. What if I... Sick flip, sick flip, it's finger time. Okay, okay, what if I... Oh my god, it's going again! I have something that will make my uh, mana better. That would be really good right now. Coming straight from Donut Simpson. I'm a very generous fellow. Here you go. Let's keep him coming. Jenna, no! first this time. God damn it, if I had more Leviathans. Okay, 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 okay. Please do not kill Joel. Joel, please! Survive! No curse of Midna! This is not a, a curse of Midna situation. At all. God damn it, I need more Leviathans. 
That was a lot better. That was a lot better, but I need I need more I need to not use mana on Jenna. I need to save it for I need a few more Leviathans and I need a few more mana to uh I need more mana so that I can sit there and spam the fucking uh the whole attack that stops it from from owning me immediately. I think I should also uh this is such a curse boss. Yeah, I need to get more of those. Good night, Autumn. I probably don't absolutely need the Leviathans, but it would certainly fucking help. And I need to manage my mana better. Couple things I can do that'll make it a lot, a lot more, uh... I shouldn't go here. Did you ever fight Jevil and Deltrune? I don't even think I beat the first dungeon. I was like, what the fuck is this shit by Dr. Seuss? Who the fuck? <laughs> I never played it again. So... You crucify a dog? Yeah. That's just how it is here in Undertale. It was the sands of that game. You filtered me when I played it. Dungeon, area, whatever the first area was. Like, whether it's an area, a dungeon, a country club. The first big area of the game where you're, like, fighting shit all, all of the time. Okay. Lost to him multiple times. The next, Yeah, I, I, I've heard he's hard and I've heard Sans and Undertale 1 is hard. I haven't done either of those things. I did beat Undertale 1, but I didn't want to play through Genocide. Maybe one day I need to do that. Okay. I need to make sure that everyone's as fast as possible. But I need to make sure Jenna is just a little bit slower than Sans and the main characters, so like they can attack and then she can do the whole. It all comes back to the fucking fishing, right? <laughs> it all. What's up? Good night. Oh, I did Fuck. a genocide. Sorry. Huh? I did a genocide run. Well, um, and. You should you should do that as a stream. Your vengeance. Yeah, you should. You should. You should get your revenge on that stupid little fucker. He has cancer now. You know that, right? Like it's the perfect time. I think you can do it. I just need. Let's just say five Leviathans. Oh fuck! I'm almost dead. What's funny? What's funny about it? It's scary. It's scary, dude. What are you talking about? I should probably heal, huh? A new gal is wanting to get flown out, but yeah, yeah. I've heard whisperings of it, but I haven't had time to watch the video today. Someone told me about it in my Discord like five minutes before I started streaming. God damn it, fuck off. Has Otter ever jump scared you? Yes. And I tell her not to do it because my initial instinct is to punch whatever scares me. And I don't I I don't think it would ever happen, but like if you scare me at a certain angle, I'm gonna like swing my arms and maybe like yeah. get an elbow I'm, to the face. I'm very, very scary. I <laughs> 
have only done it once to you, so... That was funny, though. That was really funny. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I didn't even hear that it was a legendary. I, I took the headphones off. The, actually, those give permanent stat boosts. If I want to, I can sit here for the rest of my life. I need to give them to Jenna. She's, like, by far the weakest piece of shit. I think I've mostly got all the good shit. I think this it's just meant to be, like, a fuck you, everything you've got fight. I think it's safe to say we're probably not beating this today. <laughs> probably not. Because I... I Basically, if you're curious why I'm back to fishing, there's a fish called the Leviathan where it gives you, like, auto-res for a couple turns, where if you die, you'll immediately resurrect. It's going to be extremely useful for that fight when he's attacking, like, 20 times a turn. So I kind of want to get a few of those. But, uh, yeah. This game pisses me off. Game fuck of my ass. Good night. I love you. Okay, I got two Leviathans. I should have a total of three now, right? Yeah. So if I. It's max HP 32. Yeah, and the MP. Okay, yeah, that's a big... That's just fucking buff Jenna to shit. Let's get those Suchinokos. Let's get Suchinoko gaming. But I don't know exactly when to call it quits, because I don't want to be like, Oh, I farmed off stream for 500 Suchinokos and gave all of my characters 999 HP and 9999 manners. You know? But I do think I need a little bit more bulk in that stupid rat bitch. I'm not calling Jenna the- like, the character is literally a rat. I'm not trying to be mean to- to real Jenna. Like, she's a little Toho rat, I guess. Whatever the fuck that means. An angelers are good grenades, yeah. Fishing is just, like, the most overpowered shit in this game. And it makes sense canonically because the dude is like a fisherman from another dimension, so he has to truly become himself and use his fishmongering abilities to overcome the adversity that he faces. Shit. Truby might take Jenna's place? What the fuck do you mean? Who the hell is Truby? I've never heard that name in my life. You mean Torpal? I... I think the dummy is just too fucking good to go without. Honestly, if we were to replace someone and put Torpal in, it would- I feel like it would have to be... Sans. But that doesn't really make sense either because he gets hella buffed from the little combination attacks. And the MC is too good. Maybe that would change if I leveled up Torpal. These things need to fuck off. I need Leviathans. I need Suchinokos. Oh no. Okay. It's gonna be a long fight. Maybe Torpal unlocks some cool moves? Maybe. But I think I can do it with my strategy. I just have to get... I have to be more prepared and be better. Like, I got him to about 30-40%. And I didn't have shit for Leviathans. I, and I wasn't really planning on... I, I started using the whole strat midway through. Now, what would really be helpful is AoE healing. Thank you, Jerg, for the 45 months. What's up? How are you? Fuck yeah, got another Leviathan. Okay, I, 
can actually hear that it's a legendary now and it's gonna be harder because now I'm stressed. Yep. AoE heals, but it's like 90. Like, it's like not even one turn of damage. Yes, if you had two, you could bring it up to 180. Okay, another Leviathan. I think that's five. weapon that buffs healing items, but her weapon gives her two turns. Like, turn economy is the most important thing, especially against bosses that have, like, a hundred fucking moves. Um, so her weapon for this feels non-negotiable. It probably isn't. Like, I'm, there are other strategies than the one I generally use. But I don't think I can make it work with only, uh, one turn with what I'm doing right now. Because being able to do, like, a heal and then the whole attack is really good. Okay. Come here, you suchi fucko. Hell yeah. Suchi no Kori- oh no, fuck this. This is just like a- I don't think that was a worthwhile one. I don't know off the top of my dick how many hearts the Leviathan has, though. Come on, asshole. Is this the life in? No, let's see. Okay, the angelfish is like the max heart one. I think this is Leviathan or Pisces. Reese's Pieces. Okay. Rate this fishing mini game to starters. It's fun. I was very confusing at first, though. I had no fucking idea what I was doing. It's a Leviathan. Nope. Okay, this is an ang angel fish for sure. I'm just gonna send it. I think this is a, a, a Reese's Pieces. Desire sensor. Well, they all have different hearts, so I should be able to just... Okay, yeah, this is Leviathan. This one's got five. I'm gonna have so many fucking Leviathans, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna get... Maybe I should get the angelfish, too, just so I have, like... Consistent damage. I think they're like 250 a turn or some shit. 500. Honestly, seem like they out DPS a lot of my my normal moves. Unless I get a crit, I can't get like a respectable damage level. Come here, bitch. I should pay attention. Okay, well, this is Leviathan. Another Leviathan. Just simply play as normal and use a Leviathan every single turn. Dot com. It's like some Prima Games magazine. Bullshit. Oh my god, three in a row. Night splitting. Oof. 
scroll in a little bit. Okay, we got enough. Let's try it again. I think we should be okay. Honestly, wish I got more Suchis for Jenna. Um, but I think I need to try avoiding doing, like, the double turn on, on Sans and Kyle every single time. Trawling real. When I watch Let's Plays, I talk to the Let's Players, I give them hints, participate in the conversation, you know. What game has the best fishing minigame? In my opinion, Stardew Valet. I'm done. Okay. Can I buy some, like, crazy shit somewhere in terms of consumables? I don't really want to go through that fuck fest. I'm going to use the bus. Stardew LA? Yeah. Stardew Los Angeles. Flicks allergic. Regenerates a bit of HP. Costs $69. What does the human do? I really couldn't tell you. When I used it, it didn't seem like it was doing a whole lot. As the man tried getting out of bed, but the bed came alive and have came out, holding him down, and said, I love your body, he'd stay, and the bed sheets tightened, and they felt it become flies, and Sinu, they were stuck as they became part of the bed and sank into the bed, never to escape, to be seen. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You alright? Do I need to file, like, a Reddit cares thing on you? Huh? It's a thing you can- you can report people on Reddit for being, like, suicidal or some shit, and it's almost exclusively used to fuck with people you disagree with, because it, like, limits their account or does some shit. I don't know the specifics. But something of that nature. The shop. Please give me goodies. These all fucking suck. Okay, I mean, I've got- I've got Leviathans now. There's no way this could possibly go tits up. Let me look at my stats, though. Speed, 48 on Jenna. 81 on Kyle. 40. We need more speed on Sans. Like, this is... Not good. Damn, these are... He's just slow as shit, I guess. Unlucky. Sans kind of fucking sucks. Now that I'm looking at his stats... Maybe we should bench him for Torpal. He can be a cat boy. Yeah, I think he gets buffed when he, when he becomes a cat boy, but I don't know exactly by how much. Does nothing for Sans. Grants a max HP for, okay, or MP for each face. All right, sorry. I know this music is probably super grating. Funny attacks prone to being attacked. Wait. So like. Oh. That... Ooh. <laughs> that defense penalty, holy shit. Oh. 
All right, let's give it a shot. I don't know if I've actually tried talking to this stupid fucking freak. Does allergic do anything to this fucker? Nope, not it. Okay, yeah, he has no desire to speak with me. Understandable, quite honestly. Just spilled tea on myself. It's on my nipple, my left one. It's cold. It's very cold. Alright, let's start angling him then. Gotta keep everybody topped up. Hit Sands with the nice cream. Why can I not do my little, uh, combo move? Thank you, Night Owl, for the 39 months. I appreciate it. Wait. That's, yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. What do you mean, my love? Oh my god, Jenna acted way too late. Fuck off, Jenna! It's ogre.
Oh. I think that might be it, brothers. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. It's over! It's done, bitch! How taste my pee piece? Oh my god, okay. We did it. We did we got him. We got him. We don't have to listen to that Midna thing ever again. Hun, who boy, that was fun. What, you want some sort of special prize? Well, you're gonna have to ask my friend painting some letters for that. Oh my fucking god. I agree entirely with that sentiment. It's actually remarkable how the main character mimics my feelings on things. If you're not sure who that is, it's the mop that sits there and talks for like 50 fucking years. Pains? No, no, he's not. He's not. He's the worst, dude. He sucks. He's dog shit. I wasn't even paying attention to his health. I didn't realize how close I was to kicking his ass. He almost fucked me with that final attack because I got fucked on the Leviathans because I was going to use it and he, he, for that turn only, he got to move first and killed two of my guys. So, unlucky. Were the drops good? Ah, uh, he's... Grants Kyle the Spark Jr. skill. That sounds good. That shit sure was amazing when it was used against me. So it probably sucks. Did you Pisces? Did he? I have Pisces. I got six of them, as a matter of fact. Let's look at his stupid-ass card. Where is it? Metal Gnome, Plammy. You... Do you like Waff... Fle... What the fuck does that say? Waffle? Do you like waffles? Oh my god. Fuck off. Suck my dick. I hate that you made it so fucking hard to read, so I sat there, like, actually thinking about it, only for it to be, do you like waffles? The dev is a sick fuck. Like, I legitimately believe they work for the CIA, and they're trying to find ways to, like, make you read stupid shit and piss you off. But waffles are pretty good. I didn't go to the right place, I'm pretty sure, but we gotta go all the way to Bone Bay and talk to that stupid fucking broom. If you told me this game was a collaborative effort by Chump Comp and Truby and Jenna, I would believe you. It almost feels like whatever nightmare human being made this is some sort of gestalt of the three. Although I don't think any of them particularly like Undertale. I guess I, I don't know, but... Also, an, I think that was a different one. But maybe. Good night, cool 109 love. Fuck you. I guess he's in the archive. All brooms- yeah, I'm racist against brooms, sorry. I heard Jenna streaming Undertale during the day tomorrow- I would watch that, that'd be awesome. Dude, I would- God, like, imagine a Jenna Dark Souls stream. How fucking awesome would that be?
every single time she would die, she would relate it to some sort of Maple Story or Genshin Impact anecdote. This is just like the time I spent $500 on Maple Story and didn't get the pet I wanted. Damn, Jenna. Unlucky. Best Idol Master Girl, you know it, Kyoko Igarashi. Whatever the fuck that means. Never streaming again? That's what's up. She's in the Shadowverse collab? What's that? Shit. Well, what the fuck do you mean? Okay, so which version of this asshole broom am I supposed to talk to? Suck my fucking cock. Fuck you. Maybe... I think it's in Hot Den? Shit. Shit. So we gotta check all of them? Yeah, we're, we're on the fucking hunt, dude. Can you use human on the ninja? I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, you need to die. Shit, I'm almost dead. I didn't realize how fucked I was. Oh god, have I not saved? Dude that attacks you out of nowhere? What if that is what it is? Like, you just... The rain link thing is draining your health? Is it? Oh, I guess it is. Oops. Fuck it, dude! <laughs> I have 700 health, fuck it! One defense, baby. Maximum damage. Fuck it, we ball? Yeah, dude. Okay, let's try the quote-unquote hot den. However the fuck I get there. To check all of his spawns. She looks fucked up because her name is Lisa, I get it. This is the right way. I have a remarkably small recollection of this map as a whole. Wait. I'm starting to think I'm getting trolled. Next broom for sure. I wanna I wanna talk to the fucking broom because I bet he's gonna be like, hey, fuck you, asshole! Here's a morsel. I need that morsel. <gasps> Sup, Peyton? Spark sent me. He told me he had a special prize for me. Special prize? Who boy do I have a special prize for you? I've had it custom made just for you, just for this occasion. Drum roll, please. Spinny lights on the curtains. Ooing crowd, ta-da. It's a chibi painting. Uh. 
Glad you asked. It's a special custom ordered paint and some letters plushie. I got it made on Alibaba. If you shake it really hard, it says one of the 25 most famous paint and some letters quotes, such as Holy Cripes, These Ain't My Cans of Chickpeas, or A, Let the Moon Shine Bright on this fearsome night, because baby, I was born to fight you. It's one of a kind, and you'll never. Find it anywhere else. Peyton, they're already selling bootleg versions on AliExpress. They're what? This? This fucking sucks. This was supposed to be like a cool, unique prize, and now fuck. How many people bought it? How many people bought the plushie on AliExpress? It should save the amount of orders. Sorry. 98,357. 98,357 people bought the bootleg version of your plushie, Peyton. I see. He, 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 he. He, he, ha, 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 ha
it's gonna be revealed that like the seraphim who's conjuring all of this is actually like hero brine from minecraft and you have to sit there and build a structure for them but you have to mine all of the brown bricks and with the sense of humor this dev has it's gonna be like brown bricks brown bricks minecraft brown bricks brown bricks like the entire time and it's gonna be like a five hour segment And then, just when you think it's over, the camera's gonna pan over to Notch, who says that Hero Brian really was his dead brother, and talks about like their childhood memories about the one time, you know, they found mushrooms in the woods and they stuck them up their asses and made ass mushrooms like Hellwinda. Alright, let's see. He doesn't seem particularly talkative. It was a good idea, but we will have to we will have to try tomorrow. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Alright. The penultimate episode of, of Undertale 2. At least we beat that stupid fucking Jester's dick off. Next time we'll finish it for sure. I hope you like the stream. You know, if I don't see you tomorrow for bingo, have a, have a good start to your week. I'm gonna go fuck off and play some Rooney. Later.